Keith. You're welcome to our show. There's so much going on. I'm, we're trying to focus here. I'm sorry about that. It, yeah, yeah. Good morning. And you're listening to the Opie and Anthony show. There you go. Patrice O'Neill in studio. Good morning. Yes. How are you? We Good got, morning, fellas. We got uh, morning, one of the Patrice. cleavage girls still on the couch. We're calling them the cleavage girls. Girls. They don't really want to talk on air, but they, uh, they're here to look pretty for they're us, I guess. Lovely ladies from the Hard Rock. They're here, here to New be York objectified. City. Yes. Yes. Is there any other reason for them to be here? Well, cleavage is in this year, and I couldn't be happier. When was cleavage? Yeah. Out? When was it out? No. All the articles are saying it's, it's really in this year. Have you been walking around the streets of New York? It, it's more noticeable this year than than past summers. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to shut up. I don't even know how to make this not bleat. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I I noticed throughout all the years I've been alive that you notice the girls that are showing a lot of cleavage. So you, it's hey, almost well, like by default every year is well. Here's year. the problem. Here's the problem. This is why. This is why you notice that it's it's more than usual. Mm -hmm. Like average girls are feeling brave enough to do the cleavage thing this summer. Oh really? And the girls that have the really over the top freckly cleavage area and just just cleavage areas that should be covered up. Covered up. Yeah. They're f feeling free and exposing. Yeah, it's kind of like when the. Uh, you know the low-rise uh, jeans mm -hmm. came out and became you know very popular. At first, it was just like the the supermodel, right? And then like uh, nice slender girls, slender girls, and then it becomes so popular that every girl jumps on board and decides, okay, I, my my uh, my ass looks good in these as well. And my body's good enough for and this. You get some horror shows, and you what get I'm getting at. the muffin top. <laughs> yeah, the mu I love the muffin top. <laughs> now, does she wear that because it's in style? No, she she wants uh, better. I mean, is this is this a? I'm saying is the way she's dressed. Is this a, a like you said? Is it a style thing? Like it's in, this or is, is she just because she does it? This is more to get uh, better tips. She's a bartender. So during the day you wear sweaters or whatever, because you don't want to be defined by your cleavage, right? No, this is this is what I'd wear like during the day. During the day, you look like a dude. Mm. Like, whatever, yeah. Yeah. Whether I'm working or I'm not, I'm walking down the street. How do you want to be defined? Well, <laughs> well, it's not like I'm going to be able to have a conversation with someone. So, yeah, when I'm walking down the street, I want to look good. I'm yeah, but how do you want to be you know? defined? Defined right. Defined? As a woman. As a woman? Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> She's as dumb as a branch, and I. that's why I love her. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a lot of pressure to talk. Oh, God bless her. That's why we're calling her cleavage Just girl. Just cleavage it up, baby. Just stay it's objectified. Hard. Be like. I like her. We had two cleavage girls. Now we're down to one. So the other but, one left. The other one has a has this the, the shoulders of dignity. <laughs> but she, <laughs> she has some weird integrity I don't like. And are you intim intimidated by the two girls from the Bunny Ranch that showed up? No, not at all. Because they're showing a little more than your show. That's okay. They're walking around in just uh, panties and, and bras. That's okay though. Stop. Stop. I bet you do just fine at the bar. I really do. Like yeah. I don't, yeah. I'm not intimidated name, by name other two chess pieces. Cleavage. I, I don't know. I heard you talking about that before. I don't Good know what girl. That's what I'm talking about. Stop know. with the integrity thing. You're pretty enough to deal with those two. Trust me. You have Thank like you. a Long Island regular girl look. Those girls Thank are. You. A lot of guys don't like girls that look like that. The tall, not only super is, duper yeah, yeah. girls. Not only does she have good cleavage, you know she gets scrapped. Yeah, she's something real about her. Yeah, you, she can scrap. Yes, yes. Please <laughs> dive across the bar and take care of some guy that's giving her a little trouble. I had a, I had a theory if I was blessed to be a young woman that I would be a whore so no one wanted me no more. I would make millions of dollars till I was 45 and then I would better myself when nobody wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would learn a skill. Go to skill. school at 45, yeah. 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 Wow. I want to better myself. I got a $10 million, yeah. took advantage of my sexuality. And then, bam! We, that make that sense? is a hell of a plan if you were abroad. <laughs> if I was abroad, I'd be like, here you we, go. We did that show. We all uh, talked about what, what kind of broad we would be yeah. if we were abroad. <laughs> it was pretty funny, man. I think we all decided we were going to be whores. <laughs> I think I said I wanted to be kind of uh, like a tease. You want to be a, a C tease? tease? Yeah. yeah. You'd be coy. I would, <laughs> yeah. I would bring the property value down to nothing. <laughs> if any woman didn't give up none, they'd go, boy, there's this slut Patrice that will give you some for a glass of water. And it, it don't even have to be spring. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to meet Bear next. Uh, yep. The girls from the Bunny Ranch, Patrice, are here because we're giving a lucky father a trip to the Bunny Ranch for Father's Day. Lord. And the guy for Bear. A date. The guy as Bear. They say. There, there's the other cleavage girl. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, wow, see, she just stopped us in our tracks. Yeah, what what were we like talking she has about? hopes and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> what's your hopes? What's, how do you want to be defined, beautiful, in your life? I'm sorry, what? How do you want to be defined? 
Um, Good girl. Another <laughs> idiot. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there my go. God. It's nothing better than that, dude. They're not ready to talk. <laughs> I'm just... Can we can we call them idiots like right here? Or is that yeah, yeah, subjugation? No, you don't have to worry about that. Can, yeah. I'm just playing good right. No, no offense. Right. I find that to be very sexy. You don't need to... That's what you gorgeous. Take advantage of that. Because okay. we're going to... No matter what you do, that's what we're going to think of you anyway. So just be bigger than that. Okay, I will. You know what I'm saying? All right. Name two chess pieces. <laughs> Um, the horse and... Good girl! <laughs> Cuckoo! That's what I'm talking about. Good girl! Little sexy nincompoops. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, sir. For fishing these two, uh... Good girl! <laughs> the horsey. The horsey? And the finger majig. <laughs> the X and the O. Hey, speaking of which, uh, this, this makes sense here. Uh, Wally from Harrison, New Jersey. Oh, my God, you guys got to see Jill Nicolini's fun bags today. Oh, we were really talking nice. about that in the office. Uh, the the uh, the traffic girl here in New York City, she does uh, local traffic for Channel 11, and uh, she's trying to find conservative outfits in her closet, and she just can't. Good luck. So she, I think what she does is she she finds two slutty outfits and puts them together to make one conservative outfit. But it's not working because you can no. still just see all of her wares, <laughs> and it just it annoys the anchor woman to no end. The anchor woman and uh, Linda Church, we love her. She's a fan of the show, but she's getting a. Uh, She's getting a, Don't say a it. Don't. she's getting a bit up there Don't in say years, it. and she knows it. She's a fan of the show. Yesterday, Girl. Jill Nicolini's uh, traffic outfit. Oh, she has. They have her doing traffic like it's weather. Yeah, because it's like beginner traffic, a uh, beginner weather, I guess. You do the little traffic, and then they move you into the the weather position. But that never happened on TV. They they would do weather like that in that format. But traffic was always done by either the helicopter or you know uh, a big fat guy just kind of sitting in a room with TV monitors. And he would tell you what the traffic is. Yeah. But she's doing it like standing up like you would in front of a weather map. Yeah. She's standing in front of a bunch of uh, uh, animated streets and uh, little animated cars that are driving by and telling you where the, the jam-ups are. Yeah. There's no reason for her to do that, no. aside from the fact that she looks great and they just want to put her yeah, they're uh, on TV. They're, they're getting her ready to be the weather girl. It's yeah. so obvious. And Linda Church knows that. And the other morning, uh, Jill Nicolini was wearing something just completely ridiculous, yeah. like a tight-fitting like uh, sort of light sweater thing. And yeah. everyone's eyes were just staring at Jill uh, in the office. And then they went to Linda Church to do the weather. And we've been in that studio. Linda Church kept having her eyes move all the way to the left as she's trying to do her weather report because she's still looking at Jill Nicolini going, how the hell is she getting away with this what is she on wearing? TV? What is she wearing? Do you think she just comes in because for the most part you only see her from the waist up that she's just wearing little boy shorts? <laughs> <laughs> Just killing everybody in there, the cameramen. And none of the executives are going to tell her no. not to just come in. in, in she should be shorts. able to wear whatever she wants. Harumph, 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 Give her a promotion. I like that girl. She's got spunk. She's on the fast track to be an anchor woman. <laughs> she, oh, yeah. She doesn't seem like to, seems to be that bright. <laughs> Passing a lot of judgment on the intelligence of pretty women hey, today. Man, she's a Long Island broad. We love them. You uh, know, anyone from Long Island? Yeah, you are. Yeah, what town? There you go. Uh, East Islip. East Islip. Wow, come on. I live there. There you go. I went to Timber Point Elementary School. Oh. Is what's if, yes. if, what's the uh relativeness uh in terms of uh black and white neighborhoods? What's what's at that but when when you I know, lived there though, it was, it was a long time ago. It was uh it was very white. Is it still no, very white? No, I know white? white people are there now. Yeah. But I'm saying in terms of what area would it be? Would it be Upper East Side? Would it be like the middle of the Bronx? It's for so white, hard for white people, to. It's so hard to equate city <clears throat> to suburbia out there. Yeah, it's just middle class white. It's equivalent, let's say, to black people. I don't know. It's very local, so I'm sorry, but like it's equivalent to white people as wine dance is to black people, <laughs> which is probably the blackest area of um, East Islip is very like very upper. Uh, middle class white people. You were living. Uh, I lived there. We're, we're talking now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I would live. I would live there. I would live there. You would live in East Lake. You, you buy a house in East Lake. I slip. Yeah, Patrice considers that a good gauge. But then again, I lived in Central Islip, which is the opposite. Which of, is a different of that. thing. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. There's, I, I listen, we there's take... like a Mason Dixon line in between the two. <laughs> You're being very careful. <laughs> well, we got to be for a while. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just trying to get a gauge of yeah. what East Islip is. I know it's all Long Island. I'm just trying to figure. Yeah. Out. Why are you tempting us? You. you <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> you got to yeah. move back into this slowly. Don't you understand anything ever? Uh, Patrice O'Neill is going to be at Jones Beach tomorrow night. You looking forward to the show? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> just... Finally, some honesty. <laughs> Make it look good. We're trying to sell a few extra tickets, you I idiot. Know I would. Come on, man. You know I'm always down with Opie and Andy. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Ready to... <laughs> hey, Andy. I, hey, by the way, you, you can walk right up to Jones Beach uh, tomorrow and get a ticket. So uh, the festivities start when? It's going to start very early afternoon in the parking lot. Then it's going to move to the ONA Village. And then I think the actual show starts at 8, I believe. Yeah, and, somewhere and, around And the weather's going to be very, very nice tomorrow. So we're expecting a lot of people to walk up and get their tickets as well tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the tailgating's uh, 3.30. The Village opens at 5, and the uh, show starts at 8. Do we have tickets to give away today, Thad? <clears throat> sure do. Why don't we give away a pair of tickets and a meet and greet so you can meet Patrice O'Neill? I'll meet him. Ah, yeah. Listen, can I ask you a question? I've never been to this part of the world. How how much time should I give myself to leave? Uh, On a Saturday? Out of Saturday. Uh, let's hour. see. Wait, with Saturday, uh, yeah. nice nice weather. No way, more than an hour. You get a lot of people driving out to uh, the Hamptons and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Shouldn't be that bad. I yeah. For help. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I'd, you want I'd, I'd invite you over to spend from Friday night to Saturday at my house, but uh, what? The neighbors won't allow it. I'm sorry. You can get a joking me, man. Just, you can get a special pass. I have a I, yeah. I, I, I have a very white acceptable truck. Dude. You really right, do. Listen, listen, you guys you are, do. All right, you're killing us. We got to take a break. All to catch right, up. we do. We got to catch up. And then we'll up. be cool as we went way too late already. <laughs> uh, pair of tickets and a meet and greet for Jones Beach tomorrow. Uh, brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. We'll take a random caller right now. You got to know the password for the meet. Oh, what, what is it, Jimmy? We discussed it. I don't yes. want to give it away again. Oh. oh, it's no, it's not just a... No, for the meet and greet, the password, if they want the meet and greet, is um... <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. A random caller gets the tickets and the meet and greet. 877-212-5762. And don't be cheap. Go get your own tickets uh, through Ticketmaster or walk up to the venue tomorrow afternoon, okay? It's Opie and Anthony. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony radio program. <laughs> Jimmy's bringing us back. back Opie's mouth video. is full. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating. I was just listening to the interrogation that Patrice was giving oh, wow. the two lovely uh, young ladies from uh, the Hard Rock. I just got to uh, quickly say, we have to eat like cavemen yeah. during the break. Oh, the cavemen that reminds me. That's, that show is going to be great, <laughs> isn't it? Well, oh, that uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. the uh, it's, caveman series. Don't change wonderful. the subject, though. Anthony was on to something, and I interrupted him. Uh, Patrice just uh, interrogated. There is an interrogation going on. Well, Patrice. we got the cleavage girls on the couch, Ann. Cleavage girls? They're uh, girls from the Hard Rock. Yeah, cleavage One is a girl. server, one is a bartender. I don't define them as cleavage girls, by the way. They're beautiful, beautiful women. Yeah. But Patrice says something like, uh, here's a bartender. What's your name? First first name, Deborah. Deborah. Deborah's sitting there. She's a beautiful girl. And and Patrice works in this, I, it's not even like a backhanded compliment. I don't know what it is. He said you're a beautiful girl, but you could tell if your father turned sideways during, like, conception that you could have been retarded. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sitting there looking going, how do you see that? Because her, we was talking, I was, like, going, I was trying to fish. She said, because uh, E-Rock... Know yeah, her. you're being concise here. So I was, I was trying to say, hey, look, you know, what's going on? You're trying to be. I thought E-Rock was trying to be the. Hey, How does E-Rock know her? Yeah, E-Rock. What's Long up Island, with that? Right? Hold on, what? E -Rock. I'm from Long Island. No one, uh, everyone on Long Island doesn't know everyone else. Yeah. How do you know her? It's not like a black thing. Every black guy knows every other <laughs> black guy. There's no shake in Long Island. What's no. happening, babe? What's happening? All right, no. E-Rock, go. Oh, we're well, on TV. Hey, look at you guys. Look at us. See, I took oh, the fake angry. phone call. I took the fake phone call first. Now watch Opie rip me off. Watch. Oh, fake phone call. <laughs> Look, ah, fake phone call. 
Holy he even fuck. made the face oh like God. he even <laughs> made the face like you could feel it vibrating, like <laughs> like like he was annoyed he had to take it. Dude, we both admitted that it, we both took fake, fake phone, phone calls. Call. We were sick of them following us every day. We're like, well, we'll give them something different today. I didn't want to answer anything, so I figured I just to hold up my phone like I was talking. And, and then they start asking Opie questions, and Opie goes, "Oh damn!" Like he's all annoyed that his phone rang. He made the face. Like, that, ah, yeah. Now he, had, he was just miserable, and then he made the the he he like went back like, "Whoa, phone call!" <laughs> <laughs> like he did really sell it, <laughs> like a Kramer. Whoa, phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Big phone call. So anyway, hysterical. E Rock, yeah, we, we E-Rock. noticed you were flirting with the cleavage girls, or one of the cleavage girls. I wasn't flirting. And then we called you out on you, like, no, I know her sister. You know Deborah's uh, sister. Yeah, she said where she was from, so I was asking her where in East Islip, and it turns out that I graduated with her oldest sister. Coincidentally, but what made you go over there anyway? Because mm. she said she was from East Islip. That's where I'm oh. from. So you just took a stab that you would know someone. That's <laughs> I'm, no, I'm from East Islip. I never she even was attempted. 25, you would have went over there and just said, like, hey, you. Me, that's what I was people. catching him in. Right, I was right. catching him being the Mr. Hey, I'm not like these guys talk thing. Yeah. Right. And, I, and so he goes, she goes, I know her sister. What does her sister look like? He said the sister was a mess. Yeah, he so, openly said to everybody in the room, right in front of her, too, in front yeah. of the cleavage girl, that her sister is a mess. She didn't disagree and defend her sister not one second, by the way. <laughs> I, so I did not. <laughs> not one second. I just said I looked different. No, you from, didn't. When we said she was a anybody. mess, you just went, I guess. I'm now, an I'm an exception. Now, she, now I, that's what I said. Now, if the, her sister's a mess and she looks lovely, I looked at her for a minute and go, okay, I see where... At the by the mercy of God, she could have been retarded looking. You understand what I'm saying? Like Are you going the Patrick Swayze, Patrick Swayze's brother thing? That's what I'm saying. All like, right. She she got an extra gene that her sister didn't get, and, mm -hmm. and you can see where it is. You can see her face is is there as you know. It's could Are you be, trying to say if you squint, she could look uh, half retarded? I'm saying if you were her boy, <laughs> if you were her boyfriend, He's on a roll. He's af, if you were her boyfriend after or whatever, if you were somebody who was with her for a few years, you eventually would, you, you go, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> but not. But that's not. How that's, the hell does he even say something like because that? Because women, first of all, they're not like us. I know you look at me. I'm a fat mess. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about lady. I'm saying guys are visual. She's lovely. But I'm saying you can see. You can do. If you turn your head sideways three times, you can see, okay, she could have been her sister in the blink of an eye. By the grace of God, she's not her sister. Well, what are you? Because you were trying to say something. But you okay, don't seem too happy not. with that analysis. Oh, she, I know she's like, she just don't. I don't want to. I like, under, all, I understand what you're saying, but I don't see it in her. Right. I understand what you're saying, but you I, just keep. Is it the forehead? But she can just keep going on and on with it. Yeah, she's just like, she's getting upset with what it. What bothers you, Patrice? The forehead? Where are it, we at? It, it's. You're, well, yeah, she's a little. She has a mongol, like a. Uh, <laughs> she's beautiful, you Oh, idiot. my God. She's beautiful girl. basically saying you were this close to being a waterhead, and I want to know why. <laughs> Waterheadness. See, they set me up good cop, bad cop, but OB yeah. sees the waterheadness I'm talking about. But she lovely. There is nothing. I, I don't even Let's understand what you're way. talking if about. If I was her, I would have had her. <laughs> her. I'm saying. All right. Thank you, Don. not leaving me like that. Oh, she's got a, <laughs> look, she's got a ponytail going. I would be so right proud now. to be with her. But I'm saying, after a couple of years, I'd be like. I Any of us would be lucky yes. to be with one of the Cleveland girls. Yeah, she's, All right. four, she's exactly. lovely. All right. <laughs> wow. You're saying that because you're just a hater. I'm you're not a, a hater. Cell. I love you. Okay. I love you too. I do. I, I really but do. But you shouldn't be able to fit my hat, it. though. <laughs> oh my God. She's so mad. This is what I like. This is what I mean. I want them to hate you first, and then you bring them down to love. That's all. You can switch it up. I want her to have some feeling. Because I know she's used to the goofy Long Island guys going, You know, hey, uh, Jennifer. You looking there really hot day. So right. that's what I'm saying. I right, let them be for a little while. Hard Rock yeah, Johnny brought the cleavage girls in. And brought the, the food in today. We we thank Hard Rock Johnny from the Hard Rock, and uh, we got the girls from the Bunny Ranch. Get on the couch. Ooh. Oh, oh, now we got oh, like twist uh, this around. Wow, this could turn into a WWE match. We got the Cleavage Girls, and we got the uh, Bunny Ranch, and the Bunny Ranch Girls. Dignity versus no. smart moves. That's the, that's the name of this group. Smart moves and dignity. <laughs> in this corner, 
dog <laughs> and 120 pounds doing what they should do to their 50? <laughs> <laughs> the Bunny Ranch Girls. Bunny Ranch Girls versus uh, the Cleavage Girls. Versus I will not be objectified in any manner. <laughs> Can we get a cat fight going on today or something? No. Who wants the cat I fight? I think that's doable. Do you have any Jello or so like and or KY <laughs> jelly? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. They didn't even have to say. All right, now ask the Cleavage Girls. You'll get a different answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's, no, no response. I'm gonna tell you the, the I didn't the, the the server girl. She's she's complete. She's she's a trooper, but you can see her face. She yeah. has hopes and dreams. It's yeah. just it's useless. Hey, Bunny Ranch, it's useless. You're already saying it's useless hey, for them to hey, want to be something in life because the, women are always defined by how we feel about them, but they're always fighting it. Why not be an object of desire till you're not? He's then bartending. He's saying that one is futureless and one's retarded. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> You're destroying it. And this show started by us saying how beautiful the Cleavage Girls are. By the end of the show, they're going to be messes. That's just my own All right, low Back to the Bunny out. Ranch Girls. What I love about them, we asked them if they would catfight. They didn't even have to say yes. It was like, well, what are we going to catfight in? That's their. Isn't that's that what great? they need to know. I like Bunny Jello. Ranch. You like Jello? It's flavorful. <clears throat> Do you hear that? Jello, yeah. We and it's not. A, lube. Listen to her voice. There's not even a sense of like I'm making myself look like a fool. She's like Jello. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her the other night at the Comedy Cellar, and I, I said like, "Yeah, we're talking about Big A and what they did with Big A and how she got her hand like." <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, that's right. <laughs> I'm All like, right. wow, that was really cool. And she goes, did you hear it on the radio? <laughs> I'm like, no, oh, God. I was there with you in studio. <laughs> hey, oh, you I dummy. I didn't recognize us to begin with. Hold on. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, me. Okay, I didn't recognize her. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Jimmy brings up a good point. We got we to gotta tell the story again. The, the last time we saw them, <laughs> they came in to help out Big A. Big A is a... A nice guy. <laughs> uh, uh, monstrosity, were you going to say? Good match for his sister, probably, or her it, sister. Oh. Ooh. Now, Big A, uh, he's, he's a very big gentleman. He has a speech impediment. He, uh, he sweats <laughs> profusely. He sweats like an animal. He um, makes his hair look greasy. Oh, and, and yeah. He's a, a bit overweight. Not to mention a few things were retracted inside, <laughs> like deep. In yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Well, well, really? well uh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes uh, fat people, people that are very overweight. Oh, man, don't qualify a stink to any other fat people. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I work very hard to get the no, crevices. No, no, I'm not even talking about that. Sometimes people uh, uh, get so big and the fat collects around a certain area that it becomes an innie. Oh, becomes an innie. And, that was the uh, least of his problems that day, by no, the way. No, it kind of was because it was almost like they were, uh, what, what is that thing you got to do with the catfish? Oh. <laughs> where you... Noodling. <laughs> noodling. Oh. noodling. Oh, noodling. It was like they had to noodle. Oh. <laughs> it was like they had a noodle for it. They Pushed had a down. noodle to find the catfish. And there's the picture. Push down yeah. the fat around That's it horrible. to get it to kind of Right. Yeah, 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 Like yeah. a balloon uh, animal. All right. Where you twist it and it goes... <laughs> and then... <laughs> we just felt like we needed to take care of Big A, and the girls happened to be in town from the Bunny Ranch. They're beautiful, obviously. And um, after about two hours, they had to give up on Big A. Nothing was going on. <laughs> yeah. And then, after my knee got tired and then my arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, what's your name? Bunny. Bunny. Bunny <laughs> <laughs> uh, ran out of the studio crying. I wasn't crying. I, I, was had, I went to go wash my hands. Yeah, her and eyes then, were watering from and, just gagging. And, and, that was the smell. Well, we followed you into the bathroom and there was some puking or, or attempted puking going on. <laughs> that is so sexy. The bad choice she made in her life and it's just she's dealing with it. What a soul. <laughs> yeah. She did oh, deal with it. Soldier. Her, her eyes are tearing. Uh, it was it was like when they d put you through basic training and make you take the gas mask off in that room. <laughs> and <laughs> just, not to mention everything's running out of her eyes. Not to mention the entire bottle of hand sanitizer I went through afterwards. After I oh, washed my hands like twenty so, times. So yeah, and guess, then the bottle. I guess the point I'm trying to make here, Bunny has pretty much seen it all. Oh over yeah, the, over the last year or so, right? Oh, look at her face. And She's really making a, a a hostage face. Could that have been one of the <laughs> worst experiences you've had to do since you've been in the business? Yes. <laughs> it was the smell. No, I'm Glad not. Could have I, I could not. I don't know if I can answer that. Wow, really? There have yeah, been like be, worse. It had to be worse. Could have been worse. What, what yeah, was the worst I one? What what, worse. what what was worse? <laughs> what was worse? Not than, a mammal. What was worse <laughs> than running out of the studio? We thought crying, but you were gagging and puking in the bathroom because there was a smell and there was also something that was was just left on your hand that has never some, been seen before. Some wealthy terrorist. <laughs> but he couldn't have been. As I don't. I don't know if legally I can say it on the air. Yeah. Um, what? Your worst experience? It's, yeah, it's a little. 
It's a little nasty. It's really nasty. Now, what was the dude? Well, it's you know, scarring, traumatizing. Do you know how to write? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> do you how about know we how place charades, to... buddy? <laughs> All right, if you know how to write, write it down. Right. Make a spell jello yeah. first. What's your rhyme with? J e l l o. Yeah. Jello. Write it. Write it down right, a little. Write and it for um, our worst experience. It's... I'm, I'm gonna look uh, on. Sweetie, you, you don't write. hold a pen in the fist. You gotta read the... <laughs> yeah. Take the pen out of your mouth and write. <laughs> Use your index finger in between your middle. Finger. Why is she making a lot of hearts? <laughs> we need letters, not hearts. She only, and not, she know, she only knows how to write numbers. <laughs> I'll just uh, look at her. <laughs> With an HR and a dot after the. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Yeah, I remember this one. All right. It's a role She had to do a little yeah, role playing. She had to pretend to be um, some somebody. Hold on. Okay. Um, and <laughs> it was not uh, a priest and an altar boy. Uh, 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 I didn't know. Oh, this is part of the role I didn't playing. Know Ant knows how to read bimbo. Uh, yeah, 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 he's fluent. I'm fluent. He's fluent and slutty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took a college course on on uh, on that. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, so he wanted. <laughs> Uh, mm. yeah. the, the letter four. <laughs> Where are we at, Ed? You're doing real good over there. Uh, oh, I like her because oh, she's man. smart and she still made bad choices. I like her better than that. <laughs> How did I make yeah, bad choices? She's pretend- wow. <laughs> you pretend- she's pretending right. to be nice. <laughs> That's she a good money. one. You, All right. you own a house, yeah. don't you? Well, I'm about to. Mm, I knew you were smart, baby girl. Yeah. I see you. I they're, see you over there. They're both I very happy. Every time I see these two, they're very happy. She's smart girl. We've had a lot of girls uh, over the years in your profession, let's just say, and uh, most of them are miserable. No. You seem to be really enjoying your lives. <laughs> no, I don't suffer in silence. If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be doing this. All right, very good. What a For creep sure. this guy is. Can we say this on the radio? <laughs> yeah. This is her yeah. worst experience? Yeah. Worse um, than Big A. See, Big A's listening right now. Big well, A, uh, they're going to forget about you in bad. about a minute. But this is more mentally uh, scarring. Wow. That, that was physically, <laughs> like the Big A was physically. You know, gag reflexes, I can, I can get over, but. Yeah, this, this is more like I'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life. She yeah. had to um, uh, pretend that she was this guy's uh, stepdaughter, mm-hmm. is what it is, and he <laughs> caught her being a hooker. <laughs> so he wanted uh, her to allow him to be a client, so he wouldn't tell her mom. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's from a movie, I think. It was the worst experience because it, it, just, just, it was the worst experience. Oh, oh. Wait, that, what was that's that? why that's the that's worst the experience. whole thing? <clears throat> no, that's not all we do. Oh. But. The, the, you, know, you know why it's bad? It's before she even got into the business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, thank you. That's even, thank you. I was trying to be clever about it, and thank you. Yeah, that was, uh, that, that's why it was Yeah, it's, what, that's what scarring, but we do things after that. Actually, me and her, we share him. Yeah. And he's in, <laughs> yeah. he's in our stable, is what yeah. he likes to call it. And so he brings us food. He's and our he little slave, and... basically. He does whatever really? he wants. He wants to be one of our many men and cater our to fool. our needs. A lot but, of cash. Yeah, what our are... fool. I mean, he comes in, and it's basically our job to make him feel like this big. He likes being humiliated. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? What? Like being very vague. What does like, he? What does um, he do for a living? I mean, do you know? Oh, you know, honestly, you I know, but he looks like know. your principal, Mr. Something. Rogers. Yeah, he totally Mr. looks like Rogers Mr. Rogers. Type look to him. Like a librarian uh-huh. or something. Probably, wow, or a federal white guy. investigator or somebody. <laughs> yes, white somebody guy, pervert. That, a yeah. How do y'all teacher? get away with it? How do you get away with being white guys all the time? No one ever questions you. Just some. <laughs> hey, no dude. one said he was white. He's not uh, black. Yeah. I'm assuming, but is he black precious? <laughs> no. Exactly. Not stop it. it. Let's stop it. Mr. Rogers gave it away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not Mr. Leroy. He's black, Mr. Rogers. Exactly. Has he ever mentioned uh, about being in the FIC? No. He could be a federal agent investigating certain explosions. Is your most famous client a a actor, uh, uh, sports guy? Who's your f- most famous regular? Um. What genre is he in? Oh, I don't know if I could say without giving the it away. The genre news? What? Yeah, just the be, genre? Just the genre? Just maybe? Mine's TV. TV? Yours is a television show? Popular or... or... Yeah, very popular. Really? Oh. Wait, what kind of TV? <laughs> Sitcom? Network? Drama? Or... <clears throat> uh, news? 
It's like entertainment. A, uh, you know, mine's Frank. Mine's in entertainment, but not in television. Uh -huh. It would be too. Some uh, producer or oh, it's too oh, it's too like it's too specific. Obvious. Yeah, it's yeah. too specific. Rich Voss. Job. There was some yeah. girl. In, <laughs> <laughs> there's a story. No, out. she said entertainment. <laughs> there's a story coming out of Vegas. One of the girls is talking and said that uh, Clinton, Shaq. Who else did she mention? Were, were clients? These are uh, her uh, accusations. Well, accusations. That's why accusations. Of you after I, hope, I hope Bill went first. <laughs> That's why the guys come see us because they may be paying that little bit extra than they do on the street, but we won't tell. Yeah. Ah, our paycheck is bigger really? than the the pay the payout yeah. for telling. So I'm beneath you. Do you guys Damn. have to be quiet about who the clients are, right? Well, it thing. depends. It's their choice. I mean, some people are yeah. at places in their care. life where they don't care, and then other ple other people want it. Uh, yeah. You know, kept really confident. Some people, it helps. Like Carrot Top, I think it helps them a little bit. I yeah, mean. Carrot Top. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, oh, Carrot Top. Well, he was on the TV show. What's yeah. happening? Yeah. He was on the TV show, right? Yeah. 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 Carrot Top. Carrot Top has no problem admitting that he goes there. Going he down loves there. it. It makes his life better. People can think I, he's gay. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is he doing that to prove a point? Or you or you, no. or, or you can smell the testosterone? Oh, yeah. Yeah. crazy. Does he look like Ronald McDonald eating a hot dog? No, but he's like... He's really buff, like yeah. he's really yeah, muscular. That, yes, oh, he's a lot, oh I, I love Carrot Top's body. All the ladies out there, he's much better looking. <laughs> he is person sexy. Than he is. <laughs> if you put a paper bag <laughs> over his head, maybe or like <laughs> just put it in a ponytail. <laughs> he's built like China now, like. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and I saw him in the lobby of one of the hotels in Vegas. The guy is ripped. Yeah, he yeah. really is. Uh, he's, he is. He's got pecs. You don't want to be. What else do you think he's doing in Vegas? He's yeah. going and doing a show and going. You don't want to be. You don't want your ass kicked by you know Carrot Top. Carrot Top. I'm staying out of this one. Now, when you first fell in love with. Any of the what do they what do the guys that you really like what what do they bring to the table? What? The ones that hmm. you go, man, if I wasn't who I am, I'd be with him. Yeah, are there <laughs> they are there guys to the table? Are there nah, guys no, 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 no. I mean that taps into than... your girlness. Come on now, yeah, man. I For think real. we have. There's plenty of guys that come in and they take us out to dinner. You know, they wine and stop with us. this. Stop. We're talking about your mind and your soul. Stop with the goofy no. roses. I'm talking about a dude that talks to you and you get goofy and you're like, woof, I'm, I'm losing it here. You know, I have a guy actually just um, recently. Yeah. <laughs> And all the girls butt. are so funny because he's so, so fine. He's so hot. And he'll come in, and the first time he came in, and, and that's what he wanted. He just wanted sex. And then after that, he realized that he liked me, and he just he wanted more of, like, a, he's getting out of a divorce, and he wanted more of a relationship. Uh -oh. And so I can't really upfront. Mm. I can't just say, give me this money. I've got to, like, melt it. <laughs> and I like him, and I really enjoy being with him. But now I'm past that lust point. And I've kind of realized that, I mean, You're he is what he is, and I am what I am. And are you still oh, there's money? a fine line. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can this really guy can get whoever. Him. If this guy's listening, he thinks he knows I who have, he is. He, he can get this girl. He can I get have her. a wow. lot of regulars that come in and see me that I get very close to. But there's a fine line, and you know not to cross that. We line. know that, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. Have you ever caught yourself like no, just slipping? I I'll put you this. Way. I I used to see a girl I met on Craigslist, and oh, yeah, oh, no, she was a good was girl. There's sting operation. Oh no, no, no. Of course, we find all the good girls on Craigslist. She was a good girl, and I saw her for a while. I love it. And then she uh. We, I saw her in Los Angeles. She goes, you know what? How about no more pay for play? We know each other. Let's just hang out. And we started hooking up for free. She wouldn't. Was take, she high? Uh, no, she wouldn't <laughs> take the money anymore. She oh. wouldn't take the money. Look at well, that, huh? You must be that good. No, not at all. Mm. Like Are you a tripod? No. <laughs> no. No. Yes, my leg cut off, maybe. Okay. <laughs> yes, he is. He makes me sick. Yeah. He should not have the jammy he has. It really bugs me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if you come see me at the range. Why have we all seen Jim I might Norton's get jammy, that, by the way? little connection you're talking about. Whatever. All right, listen. We're gonna, we got a break. We got a break. I'll make you commit suicide, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, after the break, we're going we're gonna to meet Bear in person. Yes, finally. He's one of the fathers that is hoping to get a, a trip to the Bunny Ranch. Is that Bear, the mafia witness that's been standing Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was about to, I thought he came in with them. I'm sitting there going, why is Chuck Zito all mad over here? <laughs> Look enough of him. Oh, wait till you hear there his you story, go. Patrice. It's going to drive you uh, nuts. Yeah, he came into yeah, the just... diner before uh, The Sopranos went black the other day. <laughs> <laughs> he walked in. And also, we have another bear coming in today. We got uh, the dude from uh, Man vs. Wild. That was the show yes. you turned us on to.
in studio He's today. He's coming today. Yeah. Yes. Because uh, the star of Man vs. The English Wild. dude. Yeah. My because God, Wild. that's fantastic. He'll be here in about a half hour. That's, that. And he's swimming with alligators uh, this season. So. That is, G this guy's. Uh, we love this guy. Pick. Have you seen Man vs. Wild, Jimmy? No, I've not. It's a great show. It really is. We'll get into that as well. But uh, and you got to bring up Survivor, man. We must. We must put the challenge. Sub oh, Survivor, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll talk about that. It's Opie and Anthony. We have a real good hang today, that's for sure. Tomorrow's the big day. The Opie and Anthony Traveling Virus Comedy Tour hits Jones Beach on Long Island. Patrice O'Neill in studio helping us uh, pump the show. Jimmy Norton, of course, here. Uh, later on, I think Bob Kelly's stopping by. Rich Voss. Uh, Bob Sag is supposed to call in and uh, and talk about the show a little bit today as well. Uh, tickets still available. Yeah. I know after the show today, if you could find us after this portion of the show... Uh, we have 100 tickets to give away to the show at Jones Beach tomorrow. Right. Brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. We got the girls from the Bunny Ranch. They're doing a great job uh, this morning for us. They're now on the Pal Talk camera. Who cut their heads off? I <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> fingers. It's E-Rock. E-Rock. What's the matter with you? Well, I, I went with the long shot. And uh, Erox has got the tight shot, so oh, okay. it, it works out. All right, all right. I see what you guys are doing. You're working together as a team today. I was saying they look like the girls from The Shining all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Come play with us, Kenny. <laughs> also, we got the Cleavage girls over there. Uh, we're leaving them alone for now. And uh, and the one girl's really mad because she doesn't want uh, people to really think that she might be close to a waterhead. Oh, she's very absolutely nice. not. She's beautiful. She's very attractive. Yeah. So I, didn't, I didn't come Both up with likes this. Both girls, watch out. I bet she does really well behind the bar. Oh, I bet you really like you 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 get I mean, like regular guys that are always in there like uh, trying to pick you up and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's a tourist area, so it's kind of hard. It's like you get people that want to talk to you. They don't speak, you know, they don't really speak English. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I'm going on to the next person. Like, <laughs> well, how long have you been working at the Hard Rock? Um, Voss? since our grand opening in August 2005. Okay. Wow. Very good. And uh, if Voss was a woman, that's what it would look like. <laughs> 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 the insult. It's not an insult. That you're what? flinging it. What you think? You think, think Voss would make an attractive girl? <laughs> Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Voss is sexy if you yes. look at him. Oh God. Voss is he's a dummy, but I mean he's there's something attractive about he's, Voss. He's, he's great sexy. little body. Voss will be here any minute oh. too, so we'll have to beat him up a little bit today. Patrice had a very good observation about uh, about catch a predator and then we gotta move on to Bear <laughs> and the other fathers <laughs> hopefully giving away the, the, the trip to the bunny I'll just say real quick, me and my man was just talking about this like because you watch it is getting repetitive the, the guy coming out. So instead of like having him come out and interview just when they set him up and the guys come to the door, just have a 50-year-old woman come to the door and the guy goes, you ain't 13. <laughs> <laughs> just hangs himself out to dry right but there. you said you was 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, None of that stuff, I, but the pictures I send you of me naked and what? <laughs> Who are you? How great would that be? Who are you? Or a, a fat retarded girl. Hi. <laughs> like, wait a minute! You, uh, yeah, they got to get a you little more type? clever. Are you? <laughs> yeah. As far as catching he didn't know guys. what he was there for. Yeah. Exactly. God, that's that's really a funny. damn good point. <laughs> hey, let's meet Bear. And then we got the uh, we got Bear from Man vs. Wild coming in in about twenty minutes. This show is way way too packed today. And we have Steve, who's a bear. A lot of bears today. Yeah. Patrice, like Bear Den. Meet Bear. We met, Cleavage man. girls meet bear. Bear, bear. Ranch girls meet bear. Uh, this guy, uh, no offense, bear, but but pretty desperate. He's uh, married with four kids. He's got the big house. He's got the wife still. Hasn't had sex in 12 years because... Uh, Wait, you're married and you haven't had sex in 12 years? Yeah, my wife and Sounds I haven't like slept together in 12, about 12 Not even slept in the same bed, right? No. No, there's yeah. too many cats. And there's an update on the cats. You said 15, 3, and then I tried to get rid of They found their way home. Oh, oh. no. 18 uh, cats. He's a dude's dude, now. by the way. Too. 18 a, cats. Wait, so the 18 cats just roam the house? They roam the house. Uh, say... Go out in the yard. They, they roam the neighborhood. Oh, that's so you married the, the cat lady? So you give your neighbors yeah. a BB gun. That's what cat, you do. You know? Yeah. When they the roam the neighborhood. She me, if she feeds me. Bear, what do you think oh. of these girls? Like, you, these are potentially some girls. My that heart's pounding right now. <laughs> are you, are you yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. pounding right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pounding. Patrice. And we had his <laughs> wife on. I know, look at, uh, this is, I knew this would get to Patrice. Oh, just wait, We had his wife on the on the show a few days ago. Yeah, last Friday. And Last Friday. And she's like, yeah, if Bear wants to go to the Bunny Ranch. I'll welcome him home and uh, with a big hug. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. You have a wow. you have a very like 
you could be in the mob type of look. You have a very like uh, a tough guy thing that you can ride. That I don't understand why you just said forget life. Like why is life done for you? Why do you stay with a, the cats and the chick? Get out of here. Well, because my four daughters, kids. Uh, I, yeah. How old is the youngest? Twelve. So, and that was the last time you had sex. Jesus man. Wow. Just was last it's all time. about my daughters. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to like. I know we're not on Oprah, so I don't want to get deep like that. But it's I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, but not, see, that's his problem. See, he's a dude's dude, dude. You know? But you should get deep. If like my kid needs a band aid. I want to be there to put it. You on. have you know, a, I, I just I want that male yeah. figure around. You I'm definitely. Not around. If I were you, your wife would need a lot of band aids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's had one over a crotch for twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say he definitely has a has a, 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 a fetal <laughs> position cry in him. Yeah, like no, it's, uh, he's a nice it's guy. Not, though. It's not easy, you know. I, I, you know, I work hard. I take care of my kids, but basically in my relationship, I'm a paycheck. You know. Did you? Oh. Do you have the basement done up? Is the basement done? Where well, she actually has the den downstairs. That's her room. I sleep in a room. Can you I, bring women home I, if you want? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't disrespect my kids. No, like no, no. That. I'm just saying, sneak the them up. You know what I mean? He doesn't care what I do. I mean, about three in the morning, baby. Patrice. I, no, it's not even about that. He's he's had opportunities to cheat, and he will not do it. Wow. So not even bringing girls. Well, over you know what it is. To the house, he could do this. To try to get a relationship going with somebody. Now you're taking money away from the kids. You know, and well, we're not talking relationship. Yeah. Well. You all, you men all pay for it somehow, so I see what he's saying. Look you, at you this. Pay That's for true. It. Angry, <laughs> angry mess over here. You're I'm in love with her. You just to take it all out. That's true. Oh, oh, you. But she's right. If it's just out to dinner. You, and, yeah, and you, stuff need like to strap, you need to be strapped to our bed Daddy. with our sports sheets and whipped profusely. <laughs> That's what you need. Wow. Excuse me? I said you need to be strapped to our bed with our sports sheets and whipped profusely. You need my giant black hands around that pony. Detail, getting <laughs> reparations for slavery. <laughs> we can do that afterwards. <laughs> so, so the only thing I'm concerned with, I mean, Bear is a great candidate. This is our Father's Day uh, giveaway. Uh, Lucky Father's going to the Bunny Ranch for, for two days, which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> He's losing his compulsion, it. boy. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And your wife did say we got the tape. She don't care. She doesn't care. She don't care. I just don't want to give you a great trip and then you come back and all of a sudden you're you're facing a divorce and that's it just wrecks happen. your life. That's Stop the press. That's all right, happen. Patrice. Uh, Stop Patrice, the let's go. Think about right. it. Even if it did. Hold on, Bear. I love this How guy. How damage can be done? Exactly. But yeah. his 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 story has a problem here. Mm -hmm. The kid, you're on radio. Talking about how you get ready to go to the Bunny Ranch and do your thing at the Bunny Ranch. Your kids have radio. This is what I'm saying. The whole thing where I'm a great guy. You're getting ready to go to the Bunny Ranch, which is a it's a, it's a, it's a cat it's house. A cat house. Oh. It's a brothel. Well, we're so it's like yeah. I know you're not using his real name, but it's like if you if your kids heard, they'd be like, "That's Daddy." So why not get a square broad to just come on up and sneak up every couple of days and, and do the square thing? Because they're drama. Because we're whole professionals and we do it better. Ah. He probably told his daughter he's going away like the guys years. were doing there in no, prison. I like I was away working for the government, honey. He'll just say he's going away for work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm with Fick. <laughs> yeah. no, the kids think it's just a, a, a trip to Las Vegas. Yeah, Bunny Ranch right, sounds no, like a fun place with about. rabbits and Easter-oriented you know. things. We raise you know, furry little yeah. bunnies yeah. for kids with You know how many calls we get on Easter to call and see if we have bunnies for sale? Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. <laughs> this oh, we do. I just don't want him to suffer after this. Yeah, that's what. That's He's the suffering only worry right we have. now. The man oh. hasn't had sex in 12 years. That's All suffering. Right, Bunny Ranch girls, so talk to Bear a little bit here, will you? I think these two days at the Bunny Ranch are going to make up for at least or. You know, you made up for about make seven it. years right now, just looking at you right now. Well, oh. for the next, I just don't understand the next ten how years you go afterwards. Years without, I mean, there wasn't any point in time up. where you were like, <laughs> if I was married and I wasn't getting laid, I'd be like, no, you have to have sex with me. You, you have, have to. No, I'm gonna rape you. Right, hold on, now. you <laughs> didn't hear, you didn't <laughs> hear the wife. You didn't hear yeah. her. We heard her on the phone, yeah. and she is miserable. Yeah. She all she would talk about was uh, taking care of the kids and her big house. And then we said, uh, we actually asked her, do you love bear? And she went, ah. Ah. Oh. and then and then it was like, why? Said so why does we'll why don't you, you give him some some sex because it's so. your you know marital duty or something like that? And she was like, she goes, because I don't need it, I don't want it. Is she makeover sexy? Like if you she's gave supposedly one a good looking uh, lady because she I thought she, she saw her. She, I no. thought she was oh, oh, she she explained her she explained herself. It's and, only fair. <laughs> she's a very good mother. 
What? Oh. Where did it all go wrong, though, Bear? We still can't get to the, the bottom second of that. One of we those tried kids for an hour the other day, uh, last week, and we kids still don't know. ruin everything. It's, it just went out the window. It's just uh, we had the kids, and mm. she just didn't want to give it up anymore. She lost total interest. You know, and then you, you fight about that and things that. You know, I would send her flowers at work when she was working. I, I would get yelled at for that. Well, you know, you're wasting money. Uh, well, you know. oh, hey, oh. Can I, hey, let me add, by the way, because we got into his wife's uh, deal. She's not seeing anybody else, doesn't want to see anyone no. else, and doesn't even uh, take care of herself. She was raised she religious. Has no so, religious. So it, could, so it could be a physical thing that's going on. She has on no her. want for sex no want. whatsoever. No, it's religious. She was raised whatsoever. very religiously, she said, and she was that, that crap was drilled into her. She doesn't And, and like didn't sex. she say she's had three guys in her life and yeah. bears in third place? Yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, that's right. She had three no, guys no, in her I'm entire in uh, sexual she, experience. She about the guy from the bus station. Yeah. You know? Oh. I feel She had three guys. I've already taken care in the bathroom Take care of him. Patrice. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, we're catching a flight at one. Can he just come back with us? Yeah, <laughs> well, we're, really... we're going to another place in about an hour that we could get some things done. <laughs> if you yeah. guys are serious. So don't even mess with us with this. But she, his wife had three serious. men in her entire mm -hmm. sexual career. And then we said, uh, you know, what place he comes in. And uh, third, I tell you out why. of the three guys, because of flowers and he, yeah. he was, he's, you're the least favorite. You know why? Because you're the best dude. The mm. other two guys treated her like garbage, and that's why she's in love. You are, you're a good dude. It's time to do a little living for yourself, Big Bear. I'm <laughs> telling you, after you do this this thing over here, this situation here, get I'm some praying. old broad from Long Island who ain't getting it from her husband and smash her. You understand? <laughs> Bring her upstairs. Forget the kitty stuff. The 12-year-old is probably dancing somewhere, showing her butt. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You should <laughs> stop this nonsense. You don't have to suffer. Bring it. You're not Jesus. Bring it. You're some dude from Long Island with a faded tattoo who needs to have sex. Bring, Are you all right? Bring someone home and do it right on right. your daughter's I'm telling toys. you, man. <laughs> Some lonely Long Island broad. Right. Some lonely broad who thought it was all going to be okay when she was young, and now she's a mess, but she's a sexy mess. Take yeah. it to a bear. I'm telling you, man. Forget this. We, we, we're we really feeling for bear. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, we got Mike in Paramus. Uh, Mike, you're on the Opie and Anthony show. What's up? Hey, guys. Um, there's, there's nobody else that deserves it more than this guy. I'm sitting in my car wondering, like, what the heck do, do all these guys deserves a, a treat like this and after listening to this story you, you gotta give it to him yeah what else like could somebody come up with and and well, have we a got, better more we got Josie's uh, dad uh, and I think Josie and his dad uh, bring them in because uh, this story is amazing too <laughs> but Bear was so excited <laughs> to come to be able to give this gift to my father but he's, he, he at least has sex with my mother yeah ew <laughs> <laughs> hey, who doesn't? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll you out, guys. All right, man. And There's Bear, actually tears in here right now. People look at yeah, yeah, yeah. People are getting all distance, choked like, up. Like, man, There's kind of like oh, tears. I hope in... that's not me in the future. Hold on. Bear is like shaking his head and it looks like you're getting a little teary-eyed. What's no, up? I'm not, you all right? No, I'm all right. And Bear was so all excited right. to come in today. No, it's just that it's funny that, that 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 this contest came up because like five six months ago. Hold on, Bear. I don't want to interrupt you, but Mel Carmerson just walked in. <laughs> I was going to say. I, I hope I hope you don't give Captain Kangaroo the trip. There's no way his story could be worse. There's no. All right, let's find way, out. I don't know. The bad story. There's no way that the skipper from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> hey, 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 George Kennedy. <laughs> Thanks. I couldn't get his face. Thank you. Oh, of course, Midget Fingers got it. That was Rich oh, Moss George. who whispered it to me. That is it. And I stole it. Hey, boss, find yeah, a mic. That's a good one. We ran no out way of somebody that looks like George Kennedy can't get it. George Kennedy. Oh, all right, all right. Boss, get some get close to the mic. <laughs> Sit with the Bunny Ranch girls if you have to. That's Bonnie will understand. Sir? You need a mic. He looks scared. <laughs> all right. Don't go looking at his son. He's scared. Yeah, well, it's yeah. Bunny Ranch. All right, well, uh, all right hold on. Some of your girl hold on, Patrice. Things. Hold on. So we got Joe, Joe C? Joe B. Joe B? Joe B. Joe B. Yeah. All right, Joe B, and that's your dad? Yeah. All right, what's the story, Joe B? First uh, of all, how old are you? I'm 21. 21, that's your dad. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, When I was like eight, eight or nine, I caught my mom cheating on him, and... uh. I came home and told him, let him know, and because of me, he stayed in the house. He kept her in the house. He sleeps on the couch in the other room. So oh. since I'm eight, he's been alone just for my sake. 
you know, to, to keep me happy. To again, keep my mom again happy. the kids. You should have brought your daughters in because this is changing me up. <laughs> yeah. Gee, what God, up? the sacrifices uh, well, some no. people make for Not only that, kids. Yeah. he's she still can't. with her still. Yeah. But well, you got to remember, not, not with, Bear lives uh, with cats. <laughs> but you're 21 yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I guess in girls, well, now, girls now, bring their dad in and say, no, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Everyone's talking. We got to <clears throat> we'll say yeah. that. Go ahead, Joe. Bitch. At the end of all this? At the end of all this now, she's divorcing him and trying to take all his money from him. <laughs> well, that's always oh, a good and thing. this is your right? mother. This is my mother. Oh. Do you live with her? or She lives in the house. She sleeps in the house. Oh, right. You're still all in the same house. That must be a happy situation. Oh. Let's talk to Dad. Yeah. Dad, what's going on? Yeah. It's touch and go. Yeah, touch and go, all right. Mostly go, no touch. Oh, so she's going to file for divorce. She did already, yeah. She did already. And did she drain your bank account? No, she's trying, but, you know. Yeah, good luck with that. Let me tell you, it's a load of laughs. Was she bringing guys Was she bringing guys home the whole time? No. Okay. She no. was she was with one guy for like five years. So how did you catch her cheating on him? Yeah, yeah let's get back to Joe B. Well, Jeez. when I was when I was younger, I used to go to her job with her a lot. Like in the summer, she used to tell me about this guy that worked with her, <clears throat> bring me presents for. Are me you sure she stuff. wasn't working? What? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, and you know, she used to just one day she just came out and told me it, and you know, like since then he's been like the mother and the father. He Why would she everything. tell you? What? Well, By the way, I'm cheating on your like, dad. Oh, she's cheating. Yeah. She was just like, "There's this guy that I see. I see him." Now, and I was a young, I was, you know, a young kid then. I didn't understand. An eight-year-old. She said, "There's this guy that yeah, she sees." You had to understand, like, wow. like strange at eight. No, she probably, he, she probably was saying, "There's a guy that you'll see around," or she was probably trying to set up in case the, the uh, he saw it. She goes, "This is the friend okay. I told you about right, before." Right, right. Yeah, that's gotcha. what it was. And then you went, and, and I went right away. You had some sense and went and ratted out to dad. Yeah, he loves his father too. He got tattoos in the same yeah. places and he loves dad yeah, got, dad i met your they brother got father, father son tats and everything here. oh well, yeah, he has all these new uncles all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> dad your brother looks a little spanish <laughs> oh, meet uncle leroy and, and he it, must tan a lot dad <laughs> and you're here because you're tired of your father's cavalier like just loser attitude. You're trying to get your dad some some, no, some spark, dad, right? He has a good attitude. No, I mean just you want you tired. You want your dad to be yeah. I doing, want him to go out and have his fun, and you don't your, have to worry about me. Guys. Your dad's right. a man. Right. Your dad's a man. Right. He should be able to uh, go out well, uh, and, and and spend some time with a nice uh, young lady as a man. Let's but find and, out and, about uh, dad. Let's talk to dad a little bit. Okay. So, you can tell his attitude, though. Look, are, are, he's just—he's trying to be this cool thing, yeah. but he's just like he did the right thing. Almost too. defeated. He, he did oh, the right no, thing for his that. son, I guess. Yeah. You know? I'm not that old. Oh, okay. No, I mean defeated, <laughs> like kind of like God. I've been in a crappy situation no, for a while. Be, everything comes to an end. You finally yeah. won now, so yeah. You know. have you have you taken care of uh, business on the side or? So, uh, with someone or Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these squares. Yeah, wow. yeah, have you gotten some strange? Have you gotten a, a while? A, a, a AIDS no. scare or something? Anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> they close the senior citizens' home. I'm lost. Oh, oh man, he just. Ouch. Do you like these girls though? Do you think they're attractive? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We have the same hair color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, he doesn't even know where to put his hands. Bear, the bear, <laughs> bear is completely enamored. Bear's like, dude, I'm not even gonna try to be cool. He He's still trying to maintain his coolness from the 60s, like he's <laughs> still in Al's diner and on Happy Days. But he's just like Al's he's the diner. same way. He's he's he, yeah. Bear needs it. He wants it. His son needs his father to have it. He wouldn't mind, but Bear needs it. Yeah, Bear's gonna. Yeah. He lives with cats. But I think this guy cat needs it more man. than you think. Crazy though. cat really? lady. He has a different personality. Yeah, definitely. He needs it more than you think because he's got his hands are folded. They're behind him. He's he he needs it badly as well. He just doesn't want to come off as desperate in front of his son either. Well, we're going to have some questions. He's like, I'll oh, come off desperate. Well, let's talk to the son again for a couple of seconds. Do you, Knowing your dad as well as you do, you guys are very close. <laughs> and looking at these girls, would, is this your dad's type? Yeah. This is anyone's type, right? <laughs> I don't know yeah. you. Yeah. He would like, he would like, he would love to spend some time with these ladies. And right. Joe B gets girls like that all the time. Like the, he, he gets, you got good looking chicks, right? Yeah. 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 Look at this guy. Yeah. He's just like, whatever. Well, Guy's got some out. game, right? Yeah. yeah. Joe, yeah. Joe when, gets when seasoned. Yeah. How Bring, many girls did you like, share oh, with yeah, your dad? You're great. Yeah. Selfish bastard. Joe B, do you at least leave your door open a little bit so dad can take a peek? 
<laughs> well, you're, you're 21 now, so why don't you go out to the bars and bring somebody home with you? You know, bring somebody for you and somebody for dad. Here. Get a cougar. Do me a favor. You, go, you go set, up, set up a Every cougar. Every girl has that friend that you're trying to uh, distract. Every girl goes out with that friend you need to distract so that you can yeah. get her. You I, get her. So give the dad the distraction. Have you ever taken care of yourself to, to your son's activities? His girls. Like you have His a, girls. You have a, meaning you have a peek in and go, I'm going to, I got to no, finish myself. No, when I go up in room, there's usually like a... Uh, <laughs> Pair of thongs hanging from They're, the Al Pacino puzzle. Oh. You know, things like that. <laughs> otherwise. All right, hey, hey picture uh, 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 puzzle. All right, Tony Manero. There's, yeah, you know, <laughs> there's a hole in the Mona Lisa's eye. <laughs> yeah. In the next room. The girl's going, is that eye moving? <laughs> there's a, there's, he has a picture of an eye rock Z, and it's just, the hubcaps cut out, and he's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boss, why would he have a picture of Mona Lisa in his room? It's a 21 year old player. <laughs> and boss has him with a picture. Of the Mona Lisa. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know any band after the Drifters. You really are. Uh, it was almost brilliant. It was almost. like the concept of it was, it was great. great. But, I tried well, to change it to I Rock Z to make it make yeah, sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, hey, what, what we're getting at, Joey, uh, Joe B, you got you got to return the favor for your dad. You got to get him some action on your own. If, yeah. if this doesn't work out today, yeah. you got to bring yeah. an extra girl home or at least keep your your door wide open. Teach so him you how to use peek. the internet. Something. Yeah, you got yeah. something okay. in return. You don't yeah. None of the girls you mess with have sing, uh, uh, single parents. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that. A little weird. <laughs> Have you ever looked into mail order brides? Huh? Mail order brides? Ah, yeah. Mail order brides. Dad even wants that. He's like, bride? He's like, He's, I'm talking sex. I'm not talking marriage. But you know, they're really handy. You can keep them in the closet, bring them out when you need yeah. them. They cook, clean. Yeah. Little, dust, little, little, little dusty serious. Czechoslovakian girl yeah. coming in from. <laughs> hey, Bear's getting nervous over there. The listeners are, are chiming in on the phones and they get feedback like crazy. They're like, oh, don't forget about Bear. Don't forget no, about Bear. I, I still Bear, it, cat. He, Bear, I'm telling you, his his aura. Is he needs it, dude? He's down and out. He is. I can't. I love these this, these guys, but dude, you gotta get bear something. Dude. They're both shaped like the fetal position. That's how much pain they're in. <laughs> you know, you know, it's actually, you know, what it, these guys got going for him is you. You can almost by talking live vicariously through your son's yes. life. A, a little bit. Bear has nothing. He, he, he has nothing. Honey, he's he's, got, to sit, he's then, got to sit something. and listen to uh, about like the twelve-year-old girl stuff. But that's where. But hold on. But hold on. That guy yeah. got cheated on. And also, living through your son is also more frustrating because you see what could be. Yeah. That's frustrating when you watch that a young true. kid bring home really mm. hot chicks. At least Bear just says, ah, my daughters are doing good. I'll focus on this. Yeah, I don't He's think... got to see these hot broads that he knows his son and is And I don't think yeah. Bear's wife cheated on you, right? No. Never. No. I, the okay. cheating thing is, right, the cheating thing is a rough one, man. She's just rough withholding. One. She's cheating on him with nothing, with nobody, is what she's doing. Right. Yeah. Well, at least she knows that. 18 the... pussy cats running around the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 18 yeah. cats. I'm leaning Why toward do you need to come cat. to the cat house? You've got a cat house of your I'm, own. Yeah. I'm leaning toward uh, George Kennedy myself. Are you really? I think so. The it's cheating thing is a rough one. And then she's still a, in the house? He has And then a, he doesn't do anything about it because of his son? That's Opie, rough. I'm t Opie, d d d George Kennedy has a, <laughs> he has a getting some vibe, though. <laughs> See, this is the thing. you got to understand. Women ain't like us. You can talk and personality your way into something, dude. You still practice having a personality. You try to be funny. You still got your thing. You're chewing gum. You're trying. Well, and Bear he's, is... he's getting a divorce, and Bear's, he's staying in it. I he's mean, like, chewing so gum goes on his resume? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he's trying to be, uh, like, he, yeah. he's, he's, he, has a, he has a personality <laughs> that I think can get him something... He can charm his way into something yeah. more than I feel Bear could right this second. I don't know Bear that well, but right this second, George Kennedy got some type of charm. I can yeah, definitely I, see you know him what? getting a hot piece, you know, after the divorce, you know. You know what? Now I'm leaning toward Bear after that explanation. <laughs> it looks like George Kennedy still has a little game in him, is you what you're him, saying. Bear didn't smile once. He's <laughs> right. just... Yeah. Bear would go high and he'll she get the Lamborghini. He can and sit shotgun. Bear, Bear, <laughs> Bear is like the scene, The Vanishing, where Sandra Bullock goes in. I just want to show you something in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, has a, Bear carries a fake cast what you, with him. What are you like? A, what are you a twelve? Size fourteen. About 14. size fourteen. <laughs> Mom, uh, maybe you can help me with this couch. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> All right, listen, we got a break. I so, love that guy. Any other fathers here, or is it down to these two? These two. All right, it's down to these two. Oh, it's either George Kennedy or Bear. 
We don't know what to do. We're going to have the girls ask him some questions, I think, Okay. coming up. And then uh, we'll see who really deserves this trip to the Bunny Ranch Man, for Father's yeah. Day. Can't both, both like, cut down one? No. Of the no. That would be that would just be like Oprah like. All right. <laughs> someone Everyone gets a car. Extra, yeah. On our show someone has to suffer. Even All right. More. <laughs> they do the listeners. <laughs> right. These two should have a Bravo film crew behind them. <laughs> <laughs> thinking, thinking. I don't know. Thinking. thinking. He meant a thinking. reality show. You oh, forget okay. it, guys. Right. I actually didn't know what you meant. Not... No, we weren't even trying to beat you up. I was just oh, trying to get the reference. I actually didn't know what you meant. That's all. Yeah, you psyched for tomorrow there, Rich Voss? I'm looking at yeah. stage. Can't wait, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, what did you drop? Huh? A little lost equilibrium there? <laughs> what happened? You dropped I, them. Did I, she say I, equilibrium? I, what, which one's oh, equilibrium? What? Equilibrium, <laughs> and you're amazed. Wow, she's uh, she she just said equilibrium. It's not as dumb as we think. I know. Something's going on. He's Something's going phonies. on, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're not really hookers. <laughs> For the pretend ones. Oh, I love her. <laughs> We're gonna... You're not tanners either. <laughs> We're going to regroup. All right. So, Bear, you getting nervous over there? What's up? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. You're fidgeting a lot. What's up? He don't want to lose it, dude. <laughs> no, 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 Bear, no, no. there's no, nothing. There's nothing George Kinney's going to say. He, I love him. His son's a good-looking dude. He's a cool dude. I'm not leaving. There's nothing you can say to make me leave bed, dude. Well, really? Well, good. Then I'm nothing. sure Patrice, no, you'll be uh, at the Bunny like Ranch this. ready to help out. Or why don't you go take his wife's place? I'll... <laughs> I don't Come know what I was going to say. Come I'll, on, I'll, right. I'll push Bear's in. booty down. <laughs> <laughs> Is Men vs. Wild Guy here? Uh, not All right, we're going to talk to Men vs. Wild Guy, who's uh, another guy named Bear. We have That'll a lot of bears confusing. in the studio today. Maybe this guy's testosterone will put put some magic in in uh, bear in, in yeah. the bear. All right, we're gonna we're gonna regroup. But uh, tomorrow, Jones Beach, there, Rich. Excited, yeah, man. It's gonna be great. I can't believe it's here again. Nope. I'm just setting up uh, giving away tickets. I don't really care what you think about that tomorrow. Uh, we got a pair of tickets and a meet and greet. Uh, for you and a friend to the Traveling Virus Show tomorrow at Jones Beach, brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. We'll take a random caller right now at 877-212-5762. And in less than an hour after this show, if you can find us, we got, we got what, 100, 100 pairs of tickets to give away? Yep. All right, we're going to do that as well. It's Opie and Anthony. Hear what everyone else is talking about. O&A, uncut and live, continuing the show on XM Satellite Radio, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern. Visit xmradio.com to subscribe. Opie and Anthony. Opie, Anthony. Opie and Dopey. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony. Radio Shop Jock. Opie and Anthony. It's a busy one today. It's Opie and Anthony. Thanks for the support. Thanks for listening to us. Big hi to everyone that's listening to us for the first time in 30 days. We'll get into that a little later on. Uh, and we'll get back to Bear and George Kennedy in a few minutes. We're going to give away that trip to the Bunny Ranch for Father's Day in a few more minutes. George Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, that was the perfect description. And don't forget, tomorrow's the big day, Jones Beach. It's going to be a very, very nice day. So, yep. You can definitely buy tickets day of the show as well. Yes, and we are giving them away if you call in. And if you know the password, you get meet and greet uh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the password is... Uh... We got the tailgating that CBS is sponsoring now. We got uh, the ONA Village and uh, nine comedians from the show. Uh, tickets still available through Ticketmaster. Go to our MySpace account as far as the virus tour goes. It's virus tour, one word on MySpace. Get all the latest articles that are coming out and... Uh, the latest info. We got the bear from Man vs. Wild. Yep. Not to be confused with our own bear who's sitting over there hoping to go to the bunny ranch. No, this guy probably doesn't need any help. He's in this call for what, what happened? 30, 30 to 60 seconds he's in this call. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he on the bowl? <laughs> he's near it. He's, he, <laughs> what is he in there, drinking his own pee? <laughs> <laughs> trying to survive? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Guy's conquered Everest. He's trying to conquer the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I might not live in this building, mate. <laughs> Here he comes, Bear from Man vs. Wild. Yes. Oh, that's Roland. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. The polar opposite of uh, Bear. French Foreign Legion. Hey, Bear. 
Morning. I hope you're not intimidated. Yeah, there's a lot of people today, but we got a busy show. But uh, yeah, I almost tripped over some lady in a very <laughs> scant outfit. You think? Yeah. You, 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 you think you could conquer her? <laughs> no, How do you survive, Dad? Hey, listen, I'm a I'm a dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll I keep could, it. I could win that for Father's Day. Hey, out of bamboo, can you build these two guys a girl? <laughs> <laughs> we we got to start by saying that this man right here, Patrice O'Neill, Bear. He yeah. turned us on to Man vs. Wild. We're all hooked. I love this show. Uh, Thank you. The new season starting what on Discovery? What uh, tonight? Tonight, right? Tonight, okay. And he's going to be in the Everglades swimming with alligators. Alligators. I, I saw the the show. You're you're Yeesh. insane. <laughs> Just when I think you're you're kind of have done everything you'd come up with a it's new It's amazing, trick. dude. Amazing. Thanks, thanks. That you would know how to survive like now, that. Now, what? I've well, seen... I'm quite on the limit now. I think the, the producers for this last season, they thought, okay, you just about coped in this last one. Let's push the boundaries a bit for the locations. Yeah. And, uh, and genuinely, I, I feel I'm quite on the edge now. There's did not you, a huge amount of, Did you, you know, do Compton further. yet? Hey. Yeah. Did you do Compton? Did you jump out of a plane and land in Compton? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? We're, we're doing, for the next season, we're going to do an urban one. Which really? I think will be great, you know, how to <laughs> yeah, get stuck in an elevator or burning buildings oh, okay. and oh, you're you know, really get, mugged, that? get mugged in downtown L.A. <laughs> yeah, so, trying uh, to survive so it. You want to hit Reginald Denny? Just stand on a full book sign. <laughs> I say Lebanon with a yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen uh, people um, try to go into the waters uh, with alligators and stuff, and it just looks very murky, very dark, and you don't know what the hell is down there. I don't even like swimming in water that you can see the bottom in because I always think I'm going to see one of those big monsters that live under there. It, it, you, know, you got to get the heebie-jeebies thinking, you know, if something brushes against your leg... That that it's it's something that's going to take your leg yeah, off. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's not it's not fun. No, I mean, <laughs> there are over a million alligators in in the Everglades, and I did I remember doing one swim across this river where you know I've been seeing alligators all the way down this river, and they could stay under for like 45 minutes. And I had to cross this river, so I stood there 45 minutes, couldn't see any bubbles, and thought, you know, where I'm going for. And I I could kind of justify all the reasons why this should be okay. It's the right time of day. They're not mating. Da -da -da -da. But ultimately, I just had my knife in my hand. I thought, I'm still having this in my hand. You know? Yeah. What's um, what's what's Wait. your name again, dude? I'm sorry. The bear. 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 I'm bear. That's right. Now here's the problem, though. I watch both of you guys. I watch Survivor Man. I did. I'm, of course, that's your competition. And uh, here's the I, problem. I haven't we, seen that. Is you that... haven't seen? Well, Survivor Man is kind of like you, but he's but he's a little uh, he's light in in, in the shorts. Like you're like a dude's yeah. dude. Like oh, this tree. This I'm gonna punch this tree in the face. <laughs> He's like, you know, you got to be careful of the environment. When you're eating a snail, you got to apologize to his mother. And all that. <laughs> but he does what you do. Now, here's I, the thing we had a discussion about. Yeah, but I watched Survivor Man after you told me about him. He's out of shape and he's... Ah. This guy well, took uh, elephant stuff, squeezed it, and drank elephant. Yeah. I, I, that's what I'm saying, but that's here's, here's saying my shape. thing. Survivor <laughs> Man takes... He takes... It seems like he just takes one... He, has, he tells his crew, look, here's where I'm going to be in, in seven days. If I'm not there, come looking for me, okay? You look like you had, like when you're up in a tall tree, it looked like there's another dude in the tall tree, another tree. You got like angles and shots, <laughs> so you got other people with you he brings on a, the shoot. Yeah, he brings a camera crew. But yeah, that's I've what got, I'm saying, got, it's very, Well, he's trying know, to film a TV show. So I, I yeah, love that, the guy, but I'm there, saying there two it's ways like, of you doing know. It. You neither do it on your, completely on your own and film it completely yourself, but what you don't get is the action stuff, because you can't. Kind of film it unless you can do all the action in one hand. So the grizzly man, when he missed a great scene at now, the end. Now, would they help you? Would they help you if you were ever in a in a, a death life or death situation? Yeah, yeah if, if I'm about to die, you know, if if I get bitten by a snake, they got radios, I got anti venom, helicoptered in in ten minutes. But you know, if, if really it's kind of, you know, life or death, I can I can get out of there. And the camera quickly. crew flies out. But there are very strict instructions not to. You know, interfere yeah. unless really is kind of. Like has there ever been that moment where you're like, fellas, I, I'm getting woozy yeah, and think yeah. I'm gonna die? And that's kind of always the premise. That's how it's sort of you know, you know, set up. So, but they're they're great guys. You know, they've become real <laughs> friends this whole year, and, they're, and they, we've and been through an awful lot. And they together. go back to a hotel or something, and he stays in the middle of wherever he is at night, and yeah, then well, they, they come they back the next they day. They set up a like a crew base camp, you know, how many miles away, and, and that's where they'll go in the evenings, give back all the footage, recharge camera batteries, leave me a little camera for the night time. So half the time, I'm filming it on my own. That's it's probably why the footage is great. And you do another show like you're in the French Foreign Legion or something, right? And I did one where I joined the French Foreign Legion with the camera crew, and we just told the story of what it's like for somebody off the street just to join up and... 
There's the really a French him. Foreign Legion? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, thought I thought that, that was, was like <laughs> cartoons, Bugs Bunny. I, I thought right. it was just in a, in a Von Claude, Jean-Claude Van Damme video. Or, Van Damme. Or, or, Van Damme or whatever. But. I tell you what, that, 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 whatever, however bad life gets, guys, don't join the Foreign Legion. Trust really? Me. When the animals hear you talk, do they laugh because of that accent? <laughs> oh, what could he really do to us? And they just, like, pluck you and keep walking? You're so brave. This guy can kill you. Yeah, dude, he's, are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, look, come, what, and, come and sit over here. Yeah. What what degree of what's your what's your specialty, uh, martial arts wise? Um, well, I did karate ever since I was a little little kid, and I'm second dan black belt in that, and I do ninjutsu. A right second now, so. dan black belt. That's even that's almost you can't learn. But no listen, more. I'm I'm a big you're almost Chinese. Cat, really. Wait a second, yeah. dan black belt. What you're is that you're second almost degree? Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> is that second degree? Yeah, yeah. That's high level, man. And uh, he climbed uh, climbed Mount Everest. I want to talk about that a little bit. When you were 23 or something like that, early 20s? Uh, yeah. And on the way down, some of the people that you went up with died? Am I hearing that right? Or was Yeah, it... we, we had four of the guys we were with uh, not come home. You know, Jesus. So, so kind of... But you knew these people? Or was were they, they on were, another... They were guys we were just climbing with. You know, they weren't, they weren't kind of best, best buddies, but, you know, they're... <laughs> yeah, it's a British guy, New Zealand, a Russian, an American. Um, Brilliant. Wow! Great, great climbers, they're you know great climbers, and it just shows how much element of luck actually there is up there. What happened? Uh, was it a storm or, or two? Two fell, and mm. one died of the cold, and and the other died of the cold. Yeah. How long were you on the top for? Uh, we were on the whole mountain about three and a half months, and we were on the very summit for about f ten minutes. That's it. That's all I meant. You just look around and go time. back down. It was 92 right? days of climbing over 12 hours every day. Do you, you need know, oxygen? Low, lower than minus 60 degrees. Can I, can I bring this to racial minutes. for a second? <laughs> yeah. Is this possible? Now, a uh, lot of jokes, a lot of racial jokes, and, 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 and the thing is, black people feel, like you talk to black people, white people do a lot of unnecessary <laughs> this, this kind of stuff so what i'm going to ask you is what is the drive at 23 to go you know i am going to do something that may kill me yeah you understand what i'm saying like That's i have no drive to i go thank you for doing that <laughs> sir so i can know what it's like to do it living through you but what makes you what's that drive what's that thing growing up where you go i'm gonna go in the bushes and Ask the girl that lays under you. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that uh, should have gotten a little bit. <laughs> it, it was something. <laughs> you you like, should have made... Why did you learn how to... Eat? Like, I saw him just bite into a live fish, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, what's the drive to learn and want to just do that, man? I think, yeah, I think a lot of the big sort of full-on life-threatening expeditions and climbing stuff I've done, I think it's much harder to really pinpoint the drive afterwards because so much of it has been spent you know up there you have any but black you have any I black uh, before, counterparts before. peers that do it like you um no but uh, no black guys got, climb mount everest have, is that it there's got to be a black guy that climb mount everest you know, I, I'm not I bet sure. you it's not it's i'm pretty I'm sure, not there is. sure there we have one one black guy with us in the sas and that was even that was pretty rare and yeah. i always wonder because that you're all you know you're such kind of superb athletes naturally really you know, so much stronger and fitter and mm -hmm. bigger. Oh boy, Jimmy Anything Greek kinda, all over again. Yeah, he's no. <laughs> but, you know, it's the same. As, it's the same with rugby. Brit you know, do you ever watch any of the you know British rugby stuff? Rugby like. mm. You know, it's really kind of yeah. full on, full on stuff. And I always think, I wonder why they're not more black guys there. And That's I a big thing really in America in for rugby. us to sit around in a weekend and watch rugby. Rugby's <laughs> if we're not watching cricket, we're watching rugby. <laughs> rugby you want to more black guys sport, there? Yeah, it's just yeah. a totally yeah, sport. I wanted the same thing when I'm playing golf. That's, That's what I'm saying. Black people just don't like nothing as a as a maybe, rule. Maybe as a maybe as a yeah, race. Yeah, I just something. You know what I think it is actually. I think as a remote race, maybe you're less kind of messed up than us. You know, I think you're just happier with kind of your know, life and you you know families are much more important and. I, th I think you need to be a little bit messed up to really, you know, I definitely could do with a bit of therapy. Yeah. I think <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's a crazy element to want to swim with. With crocodiles, you know what I mean? It's just a, it's an element yeah. of why. Maybe because yeah, black people I'm have trying, more dangerous yeah. things growing yeah. up, uh, and, 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 and in city situations, 
uh, and, and white guys typically, and again, typically don't have that, so you have to find adventure. Whereas, you know, if you grew up on uh, yeah, it in the could be an adventure right out your uh, front door. <laughs> you, you know, just walk into the bodega and you, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> and the tour guides don't want to take them to the mountains because they know they're not going to get tipped at the end of the hike. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're laying in a, if you're shot in the gutter, you go, you know, maybe I can survive on a cigarette butt. Yeah. On the... <laughs> well, he does some crazy things to survive. Uh, someone's bringing up the point that you ate a dead zebra. Uh, I did eat a dead zebra. It was an amazing moment. How do you know that it's not? It was about not... 4 a.m. in the morning, and I, I was in, in Kenya in the African savannah. I'd been walking all through the night, and I came across, literally, it was a lion kill, and the zebra probably just stumbled across, you know, pride of lions. They're taking it down. He they're... said zebra. <laughs> zebra. <laughs> zebra. What's wrong with zebra? Sorry, had to bring that up. I've never zebra. heard of it. In stupid America, we say and he, zebra. And he, and he cooked it in some That's aluminium. Like hey, listen, everything's forgivable. And he took his yeah. trousers off. <laughs> anyway, oh, wow. the, the lion you know, drank all the blood, ate all the soft organs. They went off to get something to drink, see if it got so much protein. And literally, it was still, it was like an hour ago it being killed. Ooh. All the meat, most of the meat was on it. I could cut into the net. Eat Wait, so you snuck meat. in and took a lion's dinner while he went in for a beverage? <laughs> the lion went to the ice machine and he went and snuck in and took some throats. That's why this guy's... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hang around long. I was at Damn. a free trip. You cooked it, right? No, of course you cooked it, right? No, no, I just ate it straight off the neck and then was off, you know. And, and then the crew gives you, like, a sandwich or something, right? You're just, <laughs> yeah, taking, you're just, a few bites. You're just taking a bite for the, the show. And then wow. I, I rough it for those three days, but as yeah. soon as it's finished, I'm on a kind of, you know, plane back, nice five yeah. hotel, and it all gets great. A nice cup there. of anti-salmonella and E. coli <laughs> drink. Yeah, you must have to get a lot of shots when you uh, go to these places, huh? Um, uh, yeah, I've had quite a lot of things sort of... Inoculated in me. a See, lot that, of things. Anthony, that question you asked, that's what I'm saying. The point of the show, right, is for just in case I accidentally fall out of a plane... <laughs> <laughs> in a jungle right it's for me to know how to live so if he's taking shots if he's doing things that he he can survive it's pre not the, falling out of a plane it's not the die of jungle. malaria show it's but you know you got he should be dying. Do you understand hey, listen, what I'm saying? I'm really like, I saw a lion so eating, and he goes, "Do you mind if I fly that?" <laughs> I'm not marginalizing this man. I'm just saying it's got like I, I, you, you're supposed to be trying. It, you, if it's in case I I, I get stuck. By mm. chance, on top of Mount Everest, saying, and I need to live. He wouldn't. Hit, he, you're saying that he has certain amenities. Yeah, that you wouldn't. Malaria have. shots. Something. Somebody flies something in. It's. It's like, how do I live in case I'm in that position? I just think it's a cool show to watch. Yeah, it's yeah. a cool <laughs> show to watch. <laughs> you know. But I think he's trying to have a point to the show. I think it's more uh, so to live vicariously through him yeah. than think yes. you're going to be able to, yeah. if you fall I, out of a plane, go. I, let me look at. Let me think back at that TV show and, yeah. and think how I could live through this. I'm going to squeeze elephant poopy so yeah. I can get some. Yes, water I can get some water, side. and then I'm going to steal a lion's well, kill. <laughs> right, well, I'd rather just die. You I mean. squeeze. <laughs> yeah, you squeeze yeah, elephant, elephant dung for water. Yeah. Well, there was no water. Yeah, I couldn't find water anywhere. I'd be following these elephants all day they were pooping everywhere and, and an old ranger taught me when i was doing the anti-poaching stuff about 10 years ago in the army he said you can drink this dung because it's sterile I mean, so who, I just the face it. you make though when that goes into uh, your mouth yeah that one classic. is a little rough you're like oh, Jimmy, you haven't oh, seen that as well but how do you how do you I'm, learn i was squeezing it it was all fine until a bit <laughs> of the actual kind of poop fell off and went in my mouth. That's funny. Oh, my if you only knew how much we uh, have in common. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird not being yelled at in German when that's happening. <laughs> now, did, did you almost stick your middle finger up at when they asked you to do season two? Like, you like, wh why? You know, I did everything. Uh, yeah, almost. Well, uh, almost. one of the most amazing uh, episodes I saw, you were, like, sliding down some kind of glacier or something. Oh. And he had a knife. All, all he had was a knife to slow him down before he went over the <laughs> before he went over the side or something like that. All right, that's a little yeah, crazy. They, he, he, they, Alaska, they, 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 it was Alaska. They, the helicopter dropped him off at the top of some kind of a peak, and he had to get to the bottom to the valley to follow the river out to the water. See, I know the show. Great, he's watching yeah. it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, you follow yeah. rivers, and they lead to something, and then, you know. You watching get, him up live, but, though, that dude, he's... Yeah, but he, all of a sudden he decides, I'm going to slide, and, and the camera crew were not. Uh, were not he, he wasn't doing test runs, <laughs> and he knew he had just a knife to slow him down. Uh, I see, I, I watched it, like, because yeah. I, wow. I watched it because I was... It, it, it was him or Survivor Man. So um, I tried it's Survivor Man. Stuff, after, dude. Nah, it's, it's he's, good. Man. he's more he's more Man exciting, but, but Survivor Man is more like 
he you feel like he might die. Do you have um do you have uh uh survival groupies like they go, Oh my god, he knows what trees to eat. You wouldn't believe the kind of the madness out there. <laughs> oh really? They all have I, hair I, in their I, arms. I just try not to get involved in it. So, <laughs> I'm just I find it quite upsetting sometimes when people are going, you know, when they're rude, you know. I'm just, I, I'm not really used to TV and everyone suddenly knowing everything about your life. And yeah, yeah that must so be. Somebody, somebody just said, listen, don't get involved in, in all that that stuff. You ever, show, you ever show one of those the jungle women your uncircumcised uh, Britishness? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you women. So that's a bit of the rudeness that he was just talking about, Patrice. What do you think? Do you think that's jungle men are cut? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get clipped. <laughs> See, I, oh, I can, I can relate. I can she relate was, to you. She was jungle man. <laughs> right, hold on, Vice got something. No, no, I because I was stuck on Nantucket Island once for like a day. <laughs> yeah, and we we ran out of money. I had to like steal cigarettes and stuff. So it's it, that it's, stuff it gets is, tough uh, out there. Right, Ray. Boss does a lot of risky island hunting. It's Fire Island. <laughs> <laughs> That's risky, all right. What about the? Uh, I saw the episode. I think you're with the icebergs, and and in a boat. And it sank. And it sank, and basically you had, I don't know, a minute before you would freeze to death. It's called the Titanic. That, that was, quite, <laughs> was quite, you know, I was running out of options a bit on that one. Yeah. And I, I had, you know, again, Simon, my camera was with me in a full submersive suit just in case, you know, the boat had gone or whatever. But it just started leaking after about half an hour, and suddenly we were just surrounded by icebergs and everything. It was like, you know, 400 meters to the shore. Yeah. And it just then just went, in about three minutes, whole thing sank. Wow. And it's, yeah, because it's ice sea ice is colder than normal <coughs> ice right it, you know the freezing temperature. now is it possible for oh your my whole god i literally die? arrived and just uh, crawling and shaking at this beach and singing yeah, your body i've got to get a proper job i need a decent what was that the cl was that the closer you came to maybe uh something happening yeah uh, yeah that was quite on the edge i think yeah That'll but i do you spend a lot of the time thinking bear what the hell have you got yourself into here and yeah i definitely need a Day well, job. Well, then, <laughs> a better job. Well, well then he like not gonna kill you. He finds stuff to rub on his skin to keep the mosquitoes away. Like how? How do you? That's you good. Know, uh, yeah, off. The biggest, the biggest Spain of my life this year <laughs> has actually been mosquitoes. You know, and I've been to the jungle a lot with the army. And you, you know, you have all the mosquitoes. Kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I love go, it. You, you never go into a jungle without a mosquito net, hammock, machete, <laughs> basics. You know? yeah. Again. And I, I think I kind of underestimated actually the discomfort. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not the big things, the crocodiles and the snakes that you kind of manage. It's the it's the mosquitoes just day in day out, of the size of your thumb. These things just kind of attacking you. <laughs> yeah, but when uh, we get like bit on the ankle, one or two, we're miserable. How many how many bites have I've, you taken? I'm oh. certain I've certainly had you know a thousand big mosquito bites. Oh. At the same time, <laughs> and all at once, well, or whatever. Over the year, you know, it's been, a, it's been a, a full on. Yeah, but you know, oh. but you rub some kind of bark or something on your <laughs> yeah, arm. That sort of it does you know it does work and you, you burn termite. Crap and stuff and that. You know, but <laughs> how about ultimately uh, is pretty, you know. <laughs> how about ants? You have problems with ants? Ants actually, out of all the things I've eaten, from kind of dung and to sheep's eyeballs to snakes and everything, ants are actually tasty. I didn't mean eaten. I mean like things that are attacking you. Well, that, well, you're right. I mean, the ants <laughs> are why actually, they attack you. You eat ants them. Ants are the attacking. It's just like eating. ants are the kings of the jungle. You know, when, when the ants are on the move, they they clear everything. So they're. Yeah, you want to wash out friends. But how do you, let me ask you, so you, you squeezed elephant dung for, for water, you were taught that, but who was really thirsty enough to go, it's worth a shot? Like, who <laughs> the guy that was ready to die of the, thirst. The original white man oh. who decided to drink elephant dung. Uh, it doesn't water. look like it's a quencher. <laughs> what are you, Seinfeld? Who was that guy? Hey. What was the, what was the worst? <laughs> what was That's the worst? Hold on. What was the worst thing you ate? I think sheep's eyeballs on this last season where, oh. you know, I always thought if you eat an eyeball, it's going to be like a hard-boiled egg, but literally it's like gristle, Crunchy. pus, and yeah. blood, you know, it's just... Oh, blood. God. Man, we had a guy do that on our show. Yeah, there's and, like, and we there's learned like it's, a it's film crunchy. in there or something, like a hard... And there's like a yeah, lens so. that you have to bite through. Exactly. And... It's literally like gristle. It's yeah. really tough. You Why'd know? you eat it? Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> so when you're in, oh, when you're in civilization, when you're, when you're doing the civilized thing, going out to dinner and all that, what, what do, don't you eat? You know, you I really go, make I up. When really I'm back, like I really make up for it. I room service, send it back. Oh. It's not hot enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought he went to a steakhouse, threw the steak on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Step on it a little. I'll be under here, honey. Yeah. <laughs> you were still behind a plan. All right. <laughs> I went for a quiet yeah. dinner on my own last night at some restaurant. All these guys were coming up going, Hey, I 
want to sit with you and eat steak. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I just really want to sit quietly in the corner. And <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Have a sort of salad. Yeah. A lot of sponsorship. A lot of, is All right. It uh, of- it's an amazing show. The, the big plug, Man vs. Wild, starts up again tonight on Discovery. That's great. What can we look forward to uh, this season? We, we know about the alligators. and uh, the Eyeballs. Stuck in the middle of the outback, Australia, 145 degrees, 100% humidity, drinking my own pee for two days out there. Wow. Ice and minus 40 degrees, sleeping inside deer carcasses to avoid freezing to death. So the, whole, you lived whole, in a whole, deer carcass. Wait, he lived in a deer carcass, I believe, for a night or something to keep well, warm? I, it, it was We're basically that? I dropped up on the high mountains in Scotland, and a storm came in, and I just didn't have the clothing, and I planned to get off the mountains pretty quickly. Night came, and I was about to say to the camera guys, listen, we're going to die up here. We need to get proper help. The show stopped, you know. And then we, I found this deer that had fallen down a cliff, died, gutted it, slept inside the carcass. Ah, uh, Han Solo did that day. to a Tauntaun in uh, Star Wars uh, Return. <laughs> but listen, I'm also a very normal guy. I have a normal family, lovely wife, two little boys, you know, so I'm not... Oh, it was Empire. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Very good. Well, that's it's great. When's it starting? Uh, tonight. Cool. Discovery. The second, third season. Uh... Second season? Second season, Second 9 season. o'clock tonight. Yeah. Next six weeks. Fair. It's, uh, nice. We're all fans. It's, oh, uh, it's been a thank pleasure. You. Thanks. Fair from Man vs. Wild, everyone. Take care. Uh, we're going to give away a trip to the Bunny Ranch next. Yep. To one Beep. of these lucky wow. fathers. It's Opie and Anthony. we got a lot of energy today. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Tomorrow, the big day. We're all very excited about the ONA Traveling Virus County Show happening at Jones Beach. You could you could go day of the event and uh, get your tickets. By the way, yes, we got the tailgating, the One Village. Uh, just it's just gonna be an all day thing, and then after the show, I believe we'll be doing a meet and greet and signing, uh, signing and taking pictures, all that fun stuff. Let's say hi to Carol. Carol, what's going on today? I got it. Carol, what's up? You made me laugh so hard. First of all, you got this black guy on named Patrice, yeah. which is a girl's name, <laughs> and he's fighting with Jungle Boy. It was, I, I cried so much, I couldn't put my makeup on. <laughs> is that, is that your wife, Bear? <laughs> no, we got. Oh. All right, well, thank Ouch. you, Carol. Carol's enjoying the show today. Speaking of Bear's wife, we do have her on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this going. Louise. Let's figure this out. Yeah. Where's my microphone? Hi, Louise. Yeah, get a mic on Bear. Hey. Hey, what's up, Louise? Done. We haven't talked to you in about a week. We got Bear in studio. He's looking oh, at you the. Said you can call me back. He never called back. Oh, boy. Well, well, here you are. Uh, Bear is looking at the girls from the Bunny Ranch. They're in studio. They're lovely. Bear's uh, digging them big time, and uh, he's he's the front runner for the big trip to Nevada. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for him. Good for him. Oh, the... And you don't you don't care. Yeah. Go for him when he sends you to, to a hospice in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Why wow, he's enjoying his life. God, I can't wait. Bear, talk to your wife. Hi, honey. <laughs> hey, what's up? Not much. Just uh, having a lot of fun. Nice people up here. Couple of beautiful yeah. girls. And okay. Beautiful girls. Kit Kat so, Club. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Good for you. All good right. For you. How's that? Yeah. Well, oh, go ahead. <laughs> Louise, go ahead. I actually was calling about the tickets for the concert yes, for oh, tomorrow. No. Oh, you want to go to the show tomorrow? Yeah, that's what I was actually calling about. Yeah, I was calling about. <laughs> Doesn't she sound like that girl that Tony Monero danced with <laughs> in Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> uh, you, uh, you know, know I, I bet if you help Cup Bear out, he might get you tickets. I'm, I'm sniffing her out right now. All right. Uh, what, Bear? Ask her, so are you going to take Bear? Are you going to take Bear to the show tomorrow? It's just yeah. about dancing. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One got person. Too many things going on. I, she, let her answer on the phone. Are you going to take Bear to the show? No, I'm taking the kids. Uh, what about your husband? Don't you want to please him and, and tend to those needs that he has? Do you have a husband? No, but I tend to plenty of men's okay. needs. Twelve of them. Yeah. I mean, if I, I don't have Opie, a husband, why are you if I don't have right. a husband, Let's I didn't want to please. Let's put it this way. It's women like Louise that are much. keeping these girls in business. <laughs> yes, That's thank true. you. Thank God That's for women like you. Louise. <laughs> All you do. Or don't do. All right, wait, wait. So, Louise, why are you asking these girls if they have a husband? I'm sorry? Why are you asking these girls if they have a husband? Good question. Because they don't know what it's like until they have one. Do you well, have no, a husband? But I, I mean, I know that several hundred. I know that I'm not going to get married if, unless I want to have sex with the person. Yeah, I got to tell you. Husband? Hey, Louise, I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, we serve husbands every day. Everybody sweetie. is my <laughs> man, baby. Yeah, I got. I got. We're the best wife. All right, enough of you, you parrots. All right, listen. I like these two. They're giving it to us. All right, listen, Louise. Louise. 
Uh, we all have met Bear. He seems like an unbelievable guy and a and a really oh, nice father. <laughs> very a nice, gentleman. very nice father. Okay. Very nice uh, husband. He su uh, supplies uh, the money, I guess, for the family. And uh, you kind of don't uh, give him what you should be giving him. She's abusive. No comment. Yeah. She's a, she calling in trying to act like she wants tickets. She was calling in because he's about to get a drop of self-esteem. So she had to call in to make sure that he, she's going to subjugate his soul again. Did you treat her too good, Bear? She likes being treated like garbage. Louise, her last name should be Fletcher. I'm telling you. You hear her You're silence? A joke. You're a and you joke. see what that's what she came up with? You like to get smacked around, don't you there, Wheezy, yep. or whatever your name is. Dude, Bear, I'ma tell you. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's protective of her. Just get out of that zone, Bear. I'm telling you, dude. Bear finally lost his stutter and she came in yelling and he got it back. Yep. And he and he and he's sitting there, she just subjugate Oh, I want tickets. Oh, you really you call right at when your husband's on the radio for tickets? Why not yesterday? Why not the day before? Did you call? No. Why don't you go pet your cats? And I hope you love you <laughs> Bear, if you hang out with me, dude, you'll forget about you. I'm telling you. Stop what you're doing, dude. She's abusive. Louise, why not a divorce? She's not a. She's not abusive. Oh, okay, okay. Right, let, let Bear protective. talk. Let Bear Bear's talk. protective. Actually, a, she's a. Men she's a. She's. A, she's orgasms could... is healthy, so that is abusive to to withhold that release. That's right. It's not good for the uh, <laughs> prostate. He's, yeah. he's right. the sole provider of her and her cats. Of course, she's not going to going to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. She takes very. She Thank takes you. very good care of the. Ch <laughs> she's very. She's a great mother. All right. And what about I'm you? I'm not trying to sound like oh. a martyr or anything, but. That's what's important is the kids, you know. And what about I gotta come, you? I mean, I know it, it, it sucks that I got to come after the cats, but, you know, that's... Yeah, it does I, you, suck, But you're man. not even coming after the cat. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I actually think I come after the gerbil, I think. I'm not sure. I, I, I might be after the gerbil. I still want to know what happened with these two. And Lu Abuse. Louise seems like she's really pissed off at Bear. Maybe something he did way back in the day or something. Nope. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing That's Louise. why those other two guys... I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt don't here. Don't give her the benefit of the doubt. You can hear it. Her, She's like the, the, the chalk board scratch scene in Jaws all oh, every day. <laughs> Y'all know me. You know how I make a living. I ruin men's lives and their self-esteem. <laughs> yeah. She's a good woman. Man. She's a good mother She's to the chick. She's a good mother to the But it's you. We're talking know, about I'm, you. I'm a big boy. I, I you know, I... Yeah. Oh man! Wow, he's 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 just beating. It's like brainwashed. He's brainwashed. Ooh, yeah. I mean, he That's what happened. I, her. I mean, I can. I, yeah. I she's no, a great I, I gotta. Her role as a she's wife. She's the mother of my kids, and I gotta right. respect but that. But she's also I your wife, to. and should be. Yeah, let me ask you a couple questions, here. Yeah. Louise. Mother of my kids. Louise, <laughs> come on in, <laughs> Louise. <laughs> I'm better than. Me. All right, hold on. Let's talk to Louise for a second. Are you are you ever gonna give it up to Bear again? <laughs> <laughs> What? I can't answer that question. I don't have an answer for you. How do you not have an answer? You're either going to uh, someday uh, give him uh, what, what he's due as a married man or not. I think what she's saying is uh, uh, that sh the answer is no. Yeah. Nope. The answer is no, right? Nope. <laughs> but things could change down the road? No. Huh? Anything is possible. Did you ever Anything get is possible. Drunk? <laughs> Champagne? No, she uh, she don't drink. How about drugs? You no, don't even don't you don't even just think that even if you're not in the mood for sex, you don't even think like this guy's been providing for me and my kids for all these years. I uh, you don't have any sense of obligation to have sex with your husband, like even if, just for him. Ugh, she doesn't. Your obligations, a lot of obligations, a lot of responsibility. You don't, but you I mean, in twelve years, box. you haven't once thought in twelve years. This guy might need this for his right. feeling good and his well-being. Like, are you thinking of yourself that much? Hmm. Obviously. I mean, I'm the least selfish person in the world. What's the, that? I am the least selfish person. Well, no, then, no, 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 you're you're you're, you you no, are see. selfish yeah. because the, you do certain things around the house, work maybe chores that you don't enjoy doing, but you know it's your your you have to do it. It's kind of your responsibility. That you can, should just consider a chore and a responsibility because your husband might enjoy it and just uh, kind of. Put it in those terms. It's your duty. Yeah, you guys should not be married anymore. Is what it comes down to. I hate to, I hate to say that. Yeah, but consummation of a relationship. I Bring can't wait for the bunny ranch. All right, I can't 
Wait, Louise. I don't think Bear can either. All right, let's <laughs> let's let's look into the future here, uh, Louise. So uh, Bear goes to the Bunny Ranch in Nevada. He comes home after a wonderful weekend out there. What happens? Nothing changes. She's gonna put him oh, down. Are She's you gonna, gonna probably? Yeah. Go, you I know. I didn't know. Satisfy the prostitutes. You can't even satisfy your prostitute, can you, Bear? <laughs> oh, I can't wait till you right. smash it, Bear. I can't wait. <laughs> when right, you see go. what's out there, Bear, baby. Big old Bear growling on those. Mmm, delicious. Right, okay. So she's saying nothing will change after a weekend at the Bunny Ranch. I, I, I'm i starting to lean toward George Kennedy again. <laughs> nothing will change. No, I want, I want someone's life ruined because of what we're doing today. Oh, it's going to be ruined. <laughs> what she wants. Well, of course she's going to say nothing's yes, going to change. Yep, of course she's yes. going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm fine with it. When I mean, maybe it's just that she feels that she's lacking in her skills, which is why she's not providing yeah. for him. You could come, too. Uh, I, I wonder she's if she's going to ask how his date went and want details. Uh, are you going to, Louise? We'll make her a tape for training. Louise, Louise are you going to ask specific questions to Bear? Oh. Phone my little crap touch. Jesus. Louise. I'm here. Are you going to ask Bear questions about his date specifics? Of course. It'll be a good story. Something else to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Bear so, yeah, is... A good story. Bear is... What's going on over there? You're gritting your teeth. You're like you're moving your hand real fast. You're you're really mad over there. What's up? No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What it's it? just it's frustrating. I th I know yes. what's going on here. Oh, Bear is Bear is I'm still frustrated. It's a little much. Depressing. Bear is still in love with Louise. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious. No, it's in, obvious. No, I can see it in, in your eyes, with, bro. No, I, in, in all honesty, I'm not. No, we're not in love. All right. He's oh, loyal to an I ideology. That's what yeah. they, they're both loyal. There you go. To a to an idea. Right. An idea of family, and they're loyal to that. But that, but bear, you're you're just dying. You understand? You're hey, I'm trying to go sit on that couch. That's, that's what I'm dying that's for. What, look at and get over and, there. Go sit. Go, go sit. sit. And listen to this. This is your husband getting up, Louise, oh, and damn. sitting next to hotness yeah, between them. He's going to go sit in your past. <laughs> <laughs> I, the story better say how far. Oh it went. my God! So now oh, bear there he goes. The girls in the bunny ride. Now he's got oh, his God. arms around both of them. Oh, now he looks oh, comfy. God. Oh, hand on now the leg. Now he looks comfortable. Don't worry, Luis. What, are you, what you're lagging, we'll take care of him. We'll make sure. Oh. Oh. Look at him, Abby. He's, he's remembering that. how to touch a woman now. Look yeah, yeah. He came back like riding a hobo. Now. <laughs> <laughs> opened up. I can guarantee you we're up. a better ride than any bicycle you yeah. made. We'll take notes for you, Luis. Look at, look at Bear's face. It's yeah. beat red, man. Oh, look the at him. Look at his like, lips. You remember oh, this. He head. remembers how sexy he was. Look, look at you, Bear. Look at this Bear. Come on. I got I got to ask Bear, I got to ask Bear, what it, when was the last time you actually touched a woman's arm like that, like her shoulder and stuff? How long? A long time. A long time, and really, it's exciting, isn't it? You're damn right it is. Isn't that, look, he's got, now look, uh, her thigh, what does that feel like, nice and smooth? Get a yeah. shot, get a rub shot. Rub your hand, like, rub yeah. your hand right on her thigh butt area section. there. What's that, nice, right? Tell the other bear to climb that. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's good stuff, right? Oh, Bear, I noticed you cross your legs. Is that for comfort or embarrassment? Uh, <laughs> we're so happy for him. What's she doing? Yeah. Is she still there? Yeah, Louise is still on the line. I guys, I guys, and ladies, he's not a bad-looking guy, right? Louise, bad. Louise. Thank you, Louise. Go thank do you, the laundry. Yeah. Go, go do cat. your laundry go and clean pet the your cat. cat. <laughs> Feed your cat. Go clean the cat box. Yeah. Feed your cats. Go do the laundry and then clean up after your kids. Your husband's here touching an ass. Go, go get your... That's right. Go, and I'm sitting in front of one. Go to, <laughs> Rich Boss, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, go to BJ's and buy a, a, a 75 giant, a 75 gallon bag of lump litter and, <laughs> and some Tide, and go do yeah. something while your husband, your husband touches soft, young, supple skin. That's right. Oh, look at him! Look at go find a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Wrinkle free. <laughs> Wrinkle free. That, Is that slow the, clap. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Bear, everybody. You go, Bear. You go, Bear. You go, Bear. Wait, look at, look Wait a minute. George Kennedy over I there. Oh, damn. Oh, George I Kennedy. I like forgot George about Kennedy, him. Man. Wait a minute. With a tear under his eye, you think he's a Latin king. We can't, we can't leave this guy out in the cold. As much as I feel for Bear and as much as his wife is the picture of emasculation. <laughs> yes. At least this... 
this abuse victim that he's married to never cheated on him. This guy's wife cheated on him, and the kid told him. So at eight he, years old, the kid told at his eight father. Eight years old. So he should just go out and cheat on her. It's pretty also, much my logic right, in the whole well, situation. Well, well, he could get a he could get a free omelet from the Hard Rock. What can I tell you? Uh, right, there you go. Hey, if you heat it up and roll it the right <laughs> way. <laughs> I'm bored. I mean, Bear's stuck in this. Uh, <laughs> I love George Kennedy too. Lifer. I don't I want really to yeah. do, but I, I don't want to see George. Hey, George the Kennedy, Kennedy, the food's free. Have as much as you want. <laughs> Bear's gonna be eating something else. You, you enjoy the omelet. <laughs> oh man, I'm so George. I'm so wait. I, I, you, you can enjoy things uh, compliments of the Hard Rock, and he'll do something that kind of sounds like that. <laughs> I don't think that we should. I don't like leaving him out in the cold like that. He had a real story. I, I, yeah. He had a real story. What is his story? You no, 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 but I mean, he, you he, hear the ghost of Christmas everything. She's awful. Ruining his life. <laughs> uh, his story, we just don't have the wife with him. Like, we have his son, who's like a good looking guy, tells the story well, but you can't see his his awful pain as much but as you can with But let's be honest, his wife has, is freeing him. Yeah. His wife is saying, yeah. all right, I, I had my fun with well, you. He's still you Jimmy Jimmy right now. I mean, let's be honest, Bear has no hope, but at least George Kennedy has a little hope through his son bringing home some broads I stuff. totally see George Kennedy in a Lambo, you know, after the divorce, he'll get the yeah, Lambo. Yeah, I'm telling you, they see the same thing. They don't see, yeah. they stay feel for Bear. You don't feel hey, uh, George Kennedy can get I a girl. Gotta, hold on, His hold on. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Bear's wife hung up. Is that going to be a problem? Yeah. I, ah. I want you to go. No. There you go. What? She honestly doesn't care. Yeah, whatever. They do deep inside. What? Oh, Ever. Yeah. She, well, you, know what? you know what? She does care. Maybe this is my first step now to doing what I got to do. Hey, hey, nice. Hey, hey, hey. This is a reality check <laughs> yep. that she got to put out. This is damn good. Because all of a sudden, damn you're you're good. sitting here, two beautiful girls. You got your arms around. You're kind of feeling new new flesh yeah. on your uh, the palms of your hand. And your wife was listening to that. And she's like, yeah, I don't care. And then she thought about it more, I think. <laughs> and she's starting to think... You know, it might. You guys are gonna, you know, go out on a little date, and and things can happen. You know, more touching, whatever, whatever. He's but better, I'm just saying that sinking, uh, that's sinking into our head. That's sinking into our head. He's better looking at every character on The Sopranos except for uh, Michael. <laughs> right now, his wife is back at the house making words at a catch her like alphabet soup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, I don't want to leave George Kennedy out in the cold. Well, we're definitely. Gonna... I don't either. Hey, but you know he's, something he's not though? Two, and I'm not going against Bear. I just won't. I can't. I can't go against Bear either. When Louise I don't is like leaving him out in the when cold. When Louise is vacuuming the uh, floor, she could think of uh, the girls from the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> I know, and he can walk home, and hopefully it'll be like uh, the Nicholson movie, <laughs> the vacuum running, the skew askew, slightly askew. <laughs> All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give uh, Bear. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, man. George, oh, George <laughs> Kennedy. Uh, George Let's Kennedy. talk to George Kennedy well, for a minute wanna... here. <laughs> I'm telling you. Have you have one last shot at this, George. To the show tomorrow, what, right? what... <laughs> You have one last shot at this. Why should we give you uh, a trip to the Bunny Ranch? Sell your case. Let's go. Age. <laughs> oh, age. How old are you? 63. 63? Oh, that's um, we, st we, we have men. Well, I'm saying, but he's got, years older than he can go to Bunny Ranch <laughs> next year. Oh, how, how, how old are you there, uh, Bear? 46. 46, and he's 63, so. But, you know, he's got the rest of his life to find a young, hot, like, 21-year-old. Chippy. Who George Kennedy? The older men, he, yes. Hey, look at George Kennedy. got a tan. The rest of his life, he's got 20 minutes. <laughs> well, no, I mean, the light is at the end of the tunnel for him. He's getting a divorce. He's a free man. He has a tan. He has, like, a... He, he, yeah. he's, that's right. He's, he's outdoors. Picked, why would he be in the house? No one will sleep with him. He just stands outside <laughs> yelling at God all day. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, horrible people. I, I don't like leaving them out in the cold, man. Will these, yeah. will these guys go together? Same plane and everything? Wow. Did you talk to Bear at all, George? We don't even know your real name. You're George Kennedy oh, for now Joe. on. <laughs> Joe. All right, Joe. Oh, you having to change a heart out? I would like to see well, that. Well, if man. we, only two if of them we could send them both out, that would be yeah. really fantastic. All yeah, right. I would like to do that. You man. don't have to, you know, One go out on your d dates together <laughs> unless, just, just you know, you become out. good friends on the yeah, plane. Yeah, we have separate rooms. Wouldn't it be hysterical they really get to know each other on the plane 
figure they're gay yeah. and just hook up. <laughs> 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 well, well, we should ask Dennis if if he would do that because uh, Dennis would do that. Dennis, I think would. Dennis, Dennis is, would do Dennis that. is a giver. He's not selfish when it comes to the. Well, yeah, of course, it's not his uh, property. <laughs> hey, man, are we allowed to, to give away two trips? I don't even know. I, I would like to ask Dennis if it's possible. Unfortunately, he's call not him. here. I thought that was a father son thing. Call him on the phone. Call, call him right him. now. All right, yeah, call him. We, we gotta hurry. Cause Dennis is a generous guy. The ranch can handle. Well, we're talking about uh, a weekend at the Bunny Ranch a in weekend. Nevada. Oh, a weekend, yeah. a Friday, Saturday night. And don't and forget Sunday about afternoon. Cat House, which is on Saturday nights at 11:30 on HBO. What do, what do they get at the Bunny Ranch? They get the VI, uh, the VIP treatment, basically. Is, hold on. Airfare. We pick them up in a limo with um, either me or Brooke with them and a bottle of champagne or both. Whoa. Hold on. And I, I see something in the in the rules here. Airfare for a father and son. So we oh. blow off Joey B, and we go father, father. Joey can't go. And then I think it, it's go. well within the rules that Dennis Hoff gave us that we could give away two trips here. That's you can be a Thumbs up. up. Thumbs up. George Kennedy's, George going, Kennedy's to going to the Bunny Ranch. Hey. George Kennedy's going to the Bunny Ranch. Nice. Or maybe his father's son will just say that. I'm happy about that, George. <laughs> Isn't that great? Wait, technically this could be a father-son if yes, George got uh, started a little earlier no. than he did. You say that Bear is the father and he just looks like crap. He's, <laughs> <laughs> just say he's 19 and really frightened. He has progeria. He's a progeria kid. <laughs> Progeria with a pituitary problem. <laughs> a big progeria kid. He's just a big <laughs> world's, uh, world's largest <laughs> progeria kid going to the funny ranch. <laughs> this is my 11-year-old. He was in the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? Bear goes. George Kennedy goes. Oh, fantastic. For Father's Day. Thank you. For Father's Day. Day. Great Thank Father's you. Day. Two married Thank fathers going to have some special dates at the Bunny Ranch out there yep. in the bottom. Uh, Watch Thank Dennis, Dennis say Hoff. no, and we get a bill for forty thousand falling. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Find out what he's into. Hey, Dennis. Good morning. Hey, Good Dennis. Morning. Dennis. Hi, Dennis. I hope you don't mind. We just gave away two trips to your fine uh, bunny ranch. Whoa, that's great. You know, I don't know if the girls told you, but just recently Hefner did a fundraiser at the mansion. This same trip went for fourteen thousand dollars. Okay, nice. which two of them would be twenty eight thousand. So we we had two fathers here, Dennis. Both had genuine stories. We could not decide. We leaned towards one guy, but the other guy is sixty three, and his son brought him in. It was it's a real story. The son can't go, so we figured that uh, the the, the guys could take the son's airfare, so the two of the guys could go together because he really had a genuine story. His wife was awful. She cheated on him, and we wanted to send them both out. We couldn't decide who. Wow, that's great! I, you know what? I get that. You guys are so generous with my money. I love well, that. Yeah, let me tell you, Dennis. We couldn't get you on the phone earlier. You are a giving, giving man, and this will yes, be a is. fine Father's Day for these two. He yeah. is a well, giver. You know what? what the, the gift? They won't have. No, they're not going to have to worry about re returning that on Monday because it doesn't fit. Well, that's for sure. All right. Absolutely. Oh, my God. That is funny. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> good point, Dennis. They good point. Fit. Uh, here's what you get. All right, yeah, we got to wrap you up. You get a, here. It's your airfare for the father and son, which in, in this case is uh, Bear and George Kennedy. Your car service uh, to and from the Reno Airport. Uh, you get uh, VIP suites at the Bunny Ranch for two nights, three days. Uh, you get food and drinks. You get monogrammed robes and t-shirts. They t -shirts live at the Bunny Ranch. Yes. Right. For two and days. They get, How uh, cool is that? Right. With VIP passes. Uh, they get an. It's an amazing weekend in the ranch with a bunch of really smoking mm. chicks. It's all legal, regular, uh, fun dates. It's you are gonna. Great. Go home from this and just be a new man. You are going to tell Louise to just shut up, right? And, just shut and, up. And look at Tom and Piasano. After, wait, 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 and after what he smells like, those cats are going to like you now. <laughs> <laughs> he'll wake up, there'll be 13 on his face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Dennis, by the way, Bear has already uh, started with your yeah. with your lady. Yeah. I just want to let you know. Yeah. Right. You might want to bill us for uh, the, the meat is cleaning. running. <laughs> right. Girls looking pretty today? Yeah, they look yeah. fantastic. Oh, they're, beautiful. They're amazing. Beautiful girls. But they're girls. acting a little right. too smart, Dennis. I don't like that. All right, listen, uh, <laughs> we, we got to get off the air here. We're on our new HBO show on, uh, tomorrow night, you guys. BunnyRanch.com. Check it out. But you know what? Tell Tom. Tom needs a trip to the Bunny Ranch. Yes, he oh. does. Oh. Yeah, look at Tom. There He's shaking his head no, no. but his pants there. are saying yes. Tell the girls to rub up on Tom a little bit, and uh, we're going we're to put him in the Father's Day package. Ty, uh, Tom did take his tie off today. Oh, yeah, I know. He's that's got the casual look today. I wonder what the that's girls about. Casual Friday. Hey, guys, ask him for a raise, too.
All right, buddy. We got to run because we're yeah. actually over time. Right, but Dennis, you're the best. Thank you, man. And uh, the Bunny Ranch, we we're got both guys going. We're very happy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> bye, bye, girls. Take oh, care. Oh, look Take there. care of Ho and A. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. Bye, Daddy. Thank you, Dennis. I, I, I Dennis, hop, everybody. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch uh, what? what uh, Bunny Ranch on HBO. Cat House. Cat House. 1130 on HBO. Daddy. All right. We got to thank the 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 Cleveland girls. Yes. Yes. The Hard Rock Cafe. Right yeah. there in Please Times girls. Square. Yes. Also, Patrice O'Neill, Rich Voss, and we didn't get Otto uh, on yet, but Otto's going to join us at the other joint. Otto and George are also playing tomorrow night at Jones Beach. Tickets yeah. still available. Bono. You can just walk up to the venue and get your tickets tomorrow, and, and you can join all the fun we're going to have. It's going to obviously vibe. be a great, great show tomorrow night. We're going to be down on uh, 57th uh, in a few minutes. Yeah, we got 100 tickets to give away yep. right on the side. 100 tomorrow, tickets so. to give away. All right. Plug my podcast, patriceoneal.com. Patriceoneal.com. Wow. You podcast? Nice. Okay. Yeah, Kalamazoo next week. Yes, Rich Ross. podcast. Hey, uh, the final tech. word to the girls. Anything? Fair? I'm speechless. They're beautiful. Yeah. I'm looking forward to How it. How about a thank you? I don't thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. We'll see you soon. How many more hints you need? Around the bunny ranch, this, it's not thank you, it's thank you. This yeah. sure beats a t-shirt and a bumper sticker. Yeah. Another station we get. What's yeah. your favorite radio show? <laughs> George Kennedy, oh, are you yes. happy? Yes, very. Thank yes, you. George right. Kennedy. All right, now we're just babbling. Right. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow night at Jones Beach for the ONA Happy Father's Day. Father's Day. You had to Indeed. Say now, now I'm sad. Thanks. Yeah, happy Father's Day to my dead father. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> we'll give last <laughs> pair of tickets to the ONA Travel Virus Comedy Show at Jones Beach to, to what? Uh, Joe Big? Joe Big? Yep. And, and his father. All right. Uh, you guys get a pair of tickets for tomorrow night's show and the meet and greet. Sponsored by Bud Light. Always worth it, guys. If you're not joining us over at the other joint, have a great uh, weekend, actually. Right. We're waiting for Opie. Uh, it's me and uh, Norton and Ant. We're waiting for Opie to come down. He's yeah. on the bowl right now. <laughs> he has a sour stomach. Looking at all the cameras. Is he nervous? Yeah, he's a little frightened. Does he have sour stomach? Yeah, he'll be down shortly. Wow, a lot of uh, fans down here. Amazing. Yes. Fantastic. This is like a little welcome back for us, isn't it? Yeah, and Steve has tickets for the Hard Rock, uh, which we're uh, the Hard Rock for the uh, Traffic Virus Tour. Yep. Uh, for Jones Beach uh, tomorrow night, which we're going to be handing out. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, mister. I love Jimmy Norton. It's my yeah, birthday. 100, 100 tickets? How many we got? They're, they're all paired off. Ooh. They're all paired yeah. off. Steve's going to be handing them yes. out to people. Unfortunately, it looks like we actually have uh, more people than uh, tickets this time yeah. around. Yeah, we're, nice. to, we're used to having a uh, 100 of something and three people. And, uh... We're gonna get out of here and get some good reception in a second. You wanna, wanna let's walk out a little bit. You wanna walk out? No, into, no, just to get up in here. The peeps. They, just because they cannot walk uh, out into the masses. Oh my God, is this fantastic? Look, all oh, happy typing girls. Oh, so lovely, to lovely. See you. Everybody, look with the signs. Sir, please. Oh, stalker Patty has made it for our victorious uh, return. Through the satellite airwaves. Man, you know what sucks? I was kind of getting used to sleeping in a little. Uh, All right, here comes. After the, the 9 o'clock was pretty much bedtime. Look, Opie, today. everybody! It's Opie! He's made it. How was your dump, Opie? Opie, 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 Opie. What's going on down here? Well, it was uh, a huge ovation yeah, yeah. from the crowd, uh, welcoming us back to the satellite airwaves, where we have been absent for about 30 days. There we spent 30 days in the hole. Uh, I told them how I was kind of getting used to going to sleep at 9.30 again. Yeah. It was very nice to sleep in. But uh, now we got to squeak out uh, an extra two hours of mediocre radio. No, no, it's great. I, I, I see things haven't changed in 30 days. My my microphone sucks. The, yeah. the batteries are dead. <laughs> what the f? I I thought fuck. they would have this figured out by now. You can say fuck. Oh yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> I uh, I personally want to thank everyone that's out on the sidewalk for supporting the Opie and Anthony show. Thank you guys. I know. From the bottom of my heart, if it wasn't for you guys, we probably would have been fired. And I, I have to say that. So thank you to the fans. <laughs> Proving that you can save a show when controversy arises. So thank you so much, guys. And we do have uh, tickets to the virus show. 
Saturday. All right. Tomorrow, how are we going to give yeah. these away? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow at Jones Beach. Hey, what we're going to do with the tickets, we're going to throw them up in the air, and we want you to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Are we walking or what? Let's walk. Yeah, let's walk we'll and take uh, a little stroll. Hand these savages. This will be a happy stroll, unlike the last time we strolled and a camera crew followed us. Oh wait! Turn all phones off. Turn all phones off. No fake phone calls this time, Opie. Uh, no fake phone calls. I wish I could hear you, but this this thing is yeah, crap. Is yeah, crap out. So, oh wait a minute. Let's do Times Square. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Hey, Con Ed! Con Ed! Con Ed guys saying hi. Why are we excited about uh, a truck filled with liquid shit and we're happy to see them? <laughs> it's so odd to curse again. It really I, I is. I don't think I've even dropped a, an F-bomb or anything yet. It's, it's just the oddest thing to... Uh, to curse again. Well, a lot of people are wondering if we're going to be censored on XM, Anthony. Yes, that uh, was a big question. Well, the company has uh, told us that it's business as usual. We're allowed to do the show that we know and love, that the fans know and love. Yeah. So, so we'll see. They've also said that when uh, when controversy arises again, they they will uh, be there to support us. So. Uh, I guess we could say that much. But they have given yeah. no content restriction. Uh, XM really, uh, they really do stand by being uncensored. No. I'm not giving the company line. That's the fact. They as said a, no content fact, restrictions. I'll say right now. Look at the. T <laughs> 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 oh, that was good. Oh, was that dumped out of? Damn it. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm teasing, of course. Wow. Uh, could that guy have fucking gayer shoes on? Those <laughs> sleeve stack slippers are really annoying me on that reporter. Those are horrible. That's great. What, what are, are those, sir? I don't know. That looks wow. like what Zero is wearing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he's an outdoorsman. He's going to climb a cock. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, well, well, much happier than our last stroll down uh, 57 Street. Also, there's controversy why we were suspended. We should get yes. that out of the way. They swear the company suspended us because uh, uh, we weren't taking an apology we did on the air serious. Yes. We weren't taking the whole situation that got us in trouble serious. And I got to tell you, flat out, we completely disagreed with that. Completely. Yes. But yeah. they, uh, they did what they had to do. We certainly disagreed with it. We've had some meetings. And we're going to try to move forward. We did our time. Yeah, it's kind of like, I feel like Paris Hilton getting out of jail Do you? on a DUI yeah, does, charge. Does your asshole hurt? <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. I was able to say a bad word. That's fun, isn't it? Hey, who's, Anthony said asshole, everyone! Who's, who's the intern? Who's the intern pushing the um, be remote Pat cart? There we have. He's going to be sterile by two blocks. <laughs> yeah, right? Do you see that friggin' microwave setup he's got? Oh, the girls are out here. Right. His balls are shriveling up to raisins as we speak. <laughs> Wow, this is really wow, uh, wow, wow, what a, wow. Yep. What a nice walk this is this compared is to a awesome. stupid month ago. So much different. Hey, where's that stupid uh, CNN reporter asking questions that didn't exist? Where, where is she today? Yeah. Yeah, now we'll talk. Yeah. yeah. I got something to say. Look at these guys. Wow, we. How you doing? Hey, Great. guys, you shouldn't be taking our pictures. You should be taking pictures of the girls with their cleavage. Cleavage is in this summer. Yeah. That's what they say. Wow, Dude. Stephen Colbert is taking photos. <laughs> what a freak this guy is. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's going to take the worst pictures of you. Oh, he's <laughs> awful. He's just going to take the awful pictures. These guys get you in the end. I know. They know how to take the pictures. Uh -huh. Why do you think Hillary's... Right, Hillary's we got to give out tickets right here. Both open. All right, we got to give away tickets. Uh, yeah, what is, we how do we do this? Do we throw them up in the air and make a fight for it no. like last time? Yeah. Yeah, they want, you want to fight for your tickets or what? That's gonna kill something. You're gonna kill people. I say we way. put them in our pants and make them fish them out with their teeth. All right. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Kenny, where are the tickets? How are we gonna do this? Here he's come. Who needs tickets to the ONH? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. What the fuck? Do you buy tickets anymore or what? Yeah. All right, he, all right, he's, he's admitting he does cheap. not need a ticket. He does not need so a ticket. Thank you for that. All right, Kenny, how do we do this? How about we just start handing them out, because then it'll be a wild photograph that they can take. Oh, that's oh, good. No, 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 let's just hand them out like fish food. Walk through the crowd and start handing yeah, them out Yeah, give me some randomly. tickets. Give me some tickets. There, there we go. go. 
Give us some tickets. There, this is what you do. Here we go. Hold this. All right, we're going to start getting the same people. He's got them. He's got them. He's got them. He's got them. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Hey, have a good time. All right, buddy. All right. There you go. That's how it works. Oh, hold on. We got anybody else? Hey, my wallet's gone. There you go. Who's that's, that's the photo they're going to use. Somebody, somebody took my Timex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I get a pick? Yeah, come here. All right. All right, this is quite a wow. Is that it? That was good. I was like moshing. All right, now get lost. We got a show to do. Beat it, you fuckers. Scram. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Yes. Wow. Nice. Well, it's been quite a. Are we going to have a, a studio audience come up? <laughs> yeah, I think we should. That out well. It well out. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have to actually prove they have a residence. <laughs> <laughs> if you're homeless, you're not allowed up yeah. today. Show something with an address, we'll have you come up. <laughs> Where are they? I saw uh, I saw Francine. Yeah, where is Francine? Francine? She needed tickets. Francine. 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 Where's Francine? There she is. Francine. Come here, Francine. You got tickets? Yeah, we're we're hooking Francine up with tickets. You got tickets? Come on. Have you been? Girl? We're hooking you up with uh, tickets. Ah. Oh. Anthony, my Oh yeah. My girl. Hi, Opie. She my ebony princess. Good. Uh, Hi, Jimmy. I don't like the fact they get hugged and I get a wave. It really hurts. <laughs> it really hurts my esteem as a man. All right, well, should we go upstairs uh, or what? Yeah, let's head, head upstairs. Uh, Jimmy, I hope your favorite doorman is still employed here and is uh, working at the Pat front the desk. I, I've actually made amends with him. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you fucking pussy. <laughs> I had to. I needed to come up. I didn't have my ID, so I just uh, stroked over. Really? Yeah. By the way, uh, is Bear still with us? Yeah, he's right there. Behind is you. the Bunny Ranch girl yeah, still Actually, with us? two bears talking together. <laughs> yeah, did the Bunny Ranch girls leave? I don't know. They might have had to. They, they left. left. What have they got to do? Fuck. They left as soon as you guys came out. Really? What happened? Nah. What uh, they left as they soon left as we came as out. As soon as we came out. Oh, all right. All, all right. right. Why, don't we, uh, why don't we go upstairs? Hey, all Pat. Right. How you doing, Pat yeah. from Monaki? I pack you come up. Huh? What? Somebody uh, has something uh, for you real quick. Opie and Anthony Hold and on. little Jimmy Norton. Hey, Bruce Willis is in the Thank middle you. of this somewhere. Nothing? Oh, wow. Thank you. Shout out. Many of them. Yeah, we're always in trouble. Where'd you get this? The, wow. What is that? Oh, it's the guy who works for my... my, my for the, oh, my, oh, wow. That's your book cover? Oh, that's my book cover. Ew. Uh, what? That's sexy. <laughs> the guy who printed it, actually. That's my cover, and that's the back cover. Do you know how many gay men are going to jerk off to the back? <laughs> yeah, I know. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Uh, well, he actually wow, works for printing nice. All right, let's head upstairs. Thanks, man. A few special people, I guess, Thank can you. come up. Uh, Kenny will let them up. And, uh, wow, back into the building. Oh, when was the last time uh, you walked uh, in here? About, uh, These hallowed halls. Get the, list, get the listeners behind us. Yes. What Again, uh, guys, we want to thank you as we make our uh, return here. Uh, thank you, you for standing by the show. A lot of credit, man. You helped thank us out a lot. All right, let's go oh. upstairs. Thank okay. you, guys. Mr. Whipple, the pederast. Get up. <laughs> God, I hate Ready, that guy. <laughs> All right. And there's our pal. Hey, we're back. We're back. You, you think that all this time somebody would have wiped that? That's some of the cat shit from Bear's house. <laughs> it piled up. How you doing, sir? Die. Good to see you again. Your hair's getting long. Look at that. Now we're back in the elevator. I don't think the mic is working. Hmm. No, it's broken up. We'll see you upstairs. Opie and Anthony. Bad boy. Well, you, you want to tell people or just let them speculate as yeah, to why that is? Let them speculate. Yeah, this wow. is the last show we're doing from, uh, from this from uh, studio. So. Yep. Uh, That's depressing. It's kind of it's kind of weird to be here. I'm, I'm yeah, amazed. I'm amazed we got through that. I'm yeah. amazed we just got through the last 30 days. It, um... 
I don't think any radio show has ever had uh, that much controversy and actually made it through. And and yes, in this day, especially we, in this day and age, squeaked by. What, what, when, what the hell is going on? Is, we have a mic out there. Yeah, there's a live mic out there. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind the the noises. Well, they're banging a ladder around. I mean, they could I can see if they can whispering. But are they already like doing construction out there? Is that what it is? I've seen yeah. holes in the walls and yeah. Hey, Bobby Kelly. Hey Bobby, we what got you doing, man? What's up, man? Oh, you're in one headphone and an echo, and you're. Uh, you're, you're, you're I'm you're, so glad nothing has changed in 30 days. <laughs> no, not at all. Like you don't have the mic set up. No one can hear anybody. <laughs> like I said when I, I we left the other joint, they hand me the uh, the wireless mic and headset for the first time in 30 days, and it's like a, an old battery, and it was feeding back. Like ah, great. Welcome home, boys. <laughs> hey, can I? Have you a can't use that mic. It's like echoing and way yeah, in the distance. Yeah, yeah, share. Uh, Share Vosses. Dr. Steve sent me some food. Thank you, Steve. For our return to XM, he welcomed us back with food. All right. How about that, Mike? There's some kind of echo. Sorry. Uh, what's that? What's up, Kenny? Uh-oh. What happened? Uh-oh. Whenever there's a whisper, it's never, it's never good news. Uh-oh. What are you saying, Kenny? Uh, Channel 2 News is here. Do we want them upstairs? Yeah, bring him in the studio. That's how we talk. Yeah. I like I like on the air. Absolutely. Kind of a on the air thing. But they're late for the party. Fuck them. Bring them in. Bring them right into the studio. Is there a reporter or just a crew? I'll check it out. I was just yes. We want their credentials. If there's a reporter, make sure it's a hot dame. We only talk yeah. to hot dames. We exactly. like the broads. Bring in a broad reporter. <laughs> broad. Wow. Okay, how's Something that? being that back, ain't it? A uh, table full of Santa's broken toys. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, we got the we got uh, one, two, three, four. F we got five out of the nine performers tomorrow night. We got in studio Patrice O'Neill, of course Jim Norton, Rich Voss, Bob Kelly, and Otto from Otto and George. Bob Saget's calling. He's flying out in a few hours for the show tomorrow at Jones Beach. And that's the kind of uh, what's been a bummer. Like the last thirty days, we haven't been able to promote the. Um, the comedy show to the hardcore fans no. out there, man. No. <laughs> All the hardcore fans uh, sitting there, and uh, we couldn't even promote the show, so. Well, tickets still available for tomorrow night at Jones Beach. We're all looking forward to it. Yes. And uh, you can just walk up tomorrow and get your tickets. And and really good seats still available, by the way. But it's, yep. so, it's sold actually better than I thought it would, considering the fact that our main promotion vehicle was gone for 30 days. We've actually done much better there than I expected us to do. I thought we were going to be stuck in wind by this point. Yeah. So we got uh, Happy Typing Girl out there. Yeah. Who's now a media darling. She certainly is. <laughs> what? Yeah, boy, what, yeah. What, things have changed since we've been uh, off and then back. The, she is now the official spokesperson for freedom of speech. I remember the day she used to come up to me and try to get a picture. I want to get a picture with her now. Yeah, yeah she's, she's like, the one that's in the news all the time. <laughs> like, it went, and it just goes to show you, and believe me, this is not nothing, like, I'm not uh, making any light of anything that you do. You do. You've worked very hard to do this, but it just goes to show you how the media works. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a girl that was sitting around folding her laundry on her bed on a pal talk camera. And then she puts up a website, starts uh, sending out some emails on websites and stuff, and then contacting news organizations. And then the news automatically assumes that she is the spokesperson a person for free freedom of speech. So they, like CNN and Fox and stuff, have her on. And then after a couple of times of doing that, they then automatically go to her whenever something story, a story like this breaks, and she is now the official spokesperson when a freedom of speech issue comes up. It's easy to do. It takes a lot of work, but relatively speaking, to become an expert on anything, piece of cake. So now she's the one. She's the go-to gal. Yes, I'm having Hi. Of Congrats. Parties. Well, the, it's Debbie now. I mean, we can't even call her Happy Typing Girl. De Debra. It's Debra. I'd call I wanna, her Debra. I Debra Wolf. Thank Debbie, you. Thank you to Debbie, to, Wolf, thank you no to Debra. Debbie for, uh, for, for doing everything. I mean, I know it was about a bigger picture than just the Opie and Anthony show, but thank you for doing all that stuff for the People Against Censorship website. Thank, oh, she has no headphones. But uh, I got to tell you one thing. How about she walks in? Yeah, come in. Oh, that's a good one. She now that she's, she's like a she's celebrity in her, in her own right, she's allowed to hang out with us. She's debating Keep the rest people of the animals out she, there. She's having yeah. debates. <laughs> You know, <laughs> she's debating people on on CNN, yeah, yeah. Fox News. Look, and, just, and she was just like, you know, we were trying to get her to take her shirt off on Pal Talk. Yeah. Look, I just got excited. I'm like, oh my god, that's the that's one that the was girl. Yeah. I, I know her. I've seen her on TV. <laughs> oh. She's uh, the spokesperson. 
It's she's amazing. Changed, though. She's changed a little bit. Her new her new screen name is Happy Typing Woman. She woman. Won't be called yeah. Happy I Typing woman. Girl. Hear me roar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, yeah. don't let the camera crew just bust in here. We'll yeah. we'll tell them when we're good and ready. Yeah, for our close up. One thing, Deb, Deb <laughs> you, you did you did a great job. Uh, great job. Uh, you sounded very intelligent, informed, which was good. Um, Thank you. Uh, unlike. Our own Patrice O'Neill, yes. <laughs> but but one of my favorite no. interviews I ever saw Patrice. was Patrice O'Neill uh, laying out what a donkey punch was <laughs> <laughs> on a national news. Who show. was that? Gibson, Charlie Gibson show. Well, because we then had to get John, on the next day. John, is it John Gibson? Is I it John? John? I was on later that night. Oh, like, excuse me. Like you know, that, I, I'm <laughs> sorry. Players in the media. You know, they're uh, <laughs> Ms. Ms. Wolf. I'm not, I don't know all the players' names in the media. Ms. Wolf. Well, no, because that, that guy, he was he was tough. I mean, yeah. he really. John Gibson was. Oh yeah, he was hostile. Was he? Time, but yeah. at least you're you're welcome back. Uh, welcome back. Uh, the Patrice isn't allowed to go back there. Yeah, he isn't allowed to go back. And actually, uh, he had to apologize. Not not Patrice, <laughs> but uh, uh, what's Charlie? Charlie Gibson? John? John Gibson? I couldn't remember. I don't his even name know his fucking name. It's John. That Gibson guy. There's yeah. another Gibson that's Charlie, but it's, he this had is to John apologize. Yeah. Why had to apologize? For what Patrice said <laughs> uh, on his show. And also shows how this type of thing could happen very easily when you're just, like, you know, going with the flow. Patrice described the angry pirate on the fucking news. Can we be honest, though, if you yeah. remember? I know it was, it was a while ago, but thanks. The lady actually started. She goes, Patrice goes on describing how a woman gets... Doggy style. I yeah. I was trying to be clinical. It was from now. The woman was yeah, from uh, now. Was, I tried to explain it as a, a guy ejaculates. I was being all scientific. Yeah, it's, scientific. It's coming in your eye and kicking your leg. That's what the fuck it is. It's goofy. <laughs> but, and that you heard the camera people laugh. Patrice spins around and goes, "And hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You know and, how fucked up you have to be for the Fox News to say we're sorry for his comments. <laughs> <laughs> they interview white supremacists. Yeah. <laughs> they interview fucking Hamas. Yeah. They never. <laughs> Apologize. It's saying Israel must end. He does a, a, a load in the eye joke, and they're ready to fucking yank him off the air. Yeah. Oh, it was so classic. I haven't been back since. Wait, it, is, no. it was a wrap. My Fox career is over. That horse shit. That bridge is still burning. <laughs> that mic still doesn't work. You know. That mic still oh, that mic work either. either. The the mic's on? Oh. Now the mic might be on. I, I'm glad things that haven't is. changed. Welcome back. Right. Is it work? Is it work? Yeah, now it works. Wait, talk. Seriously. Yeah, there it is. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. You know, that, that type of thing we expect on the Opie and Andy show, not the Opie and Anthony Opie show. Opie and Andy, thank you for the website. Uh, welcome back. Here. Anyway, go ahead. What were you saying? Well, he, told, he told the lady from now, uh, someone said, well, what is Al Sharpton in charge of? He goes, nappy-headed hose. And then she said, what? He goes, well, you're just in charge of the regular hose. <laughs> yeah. The head lady of now. Wow. And she laughed. She's in charge of the holes. He, he, he said, why, why isn't Al Sharpton involved in this? Mm -hmm. I said, because, and, th and, 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 and your thing. I said, because it doesn't concern him. It's, it's not anybody black going on. And, and, he, and no one counts Condoleezza as a, like a black lady. She's fucking down with the president. So I'm like, he's in charge of the nappy-headed part, and you're in charge of the whole part. Oh God! Wow. She, she did not. She did not appreciate that. Oh man. whatever, whatever. She hated me anyway because she tried to bring that goddamn uh, that bullshit at the thing. She's just unfunny, motherfucker. Just unfucking funny. Well, that's what you you hit her with right when uh you you got on the air with her. The first thing you said is, "You are not funny." <laughs> you, he looked right at her and goes, "You know nothing about funny." People, people. Let me tell you something. You can be funny and not be a funny person. Mm -hmm. Like, you could just want funny in your fucking life. Yeah. I just want to try to laugh, even though it's like, dude, you are you stink. <laughs> like, Voss is a funny dude, but he always is bombing. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, now, why wait. would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm never, not why bombing would you on stage. No, wait, wait. Not bombing on stage, but like Voss is such a machine. Like we was Bobby was he was just attacking Bobby in the elevator, and I said Voss is like, it, it's those what's those yeah. the pendulum things on somebody's desk where they click clack. Yeah, yeah, the little metal If he doesn't keep balls. just talking and trashing you, he'll just slow down and just stop. <laughs> so Voss has to just keep the momentum yeah, going. It's not funny. But he's a funny dude, man. He's just a funny dude, whether he's funny or not. All of us. So she don't know about even trying to fucking be funny. It's, it's everything impossible. in her life is serious. Everything is all fired. Oh, I didn't say that because we couldn't talk about it. Uh -huh. Before the show came on air, John goes, so, uh, Sonia, what do you think uh, they should do? She goes, without problem, 
while she's just looking at her little papers, I think they should be fired. Oh. I said, this fucking asshole. <laughs> just like, you should be fired. <clears throat> I'm like, she don't even fucking care. Where was yeah. now during the Clinton administration? Now is nothing but a, a branch of the Democratic Party. And they why have nothing. The, wait, women why the don't fuck, need. Why the fuck would. Oh, boy. Women why don't need. No, oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Why would Condoleezza Rice and the president's wife need help from now? All I know is whenever Voss's little hand goes up and he tries to make a point, it makes me sad too. <laughs> <laughs> whenever that stiff hand starts shaking, that means poignancy is being hey, attempted. Let's get a branch of the Democratic Party. Party. Let's get back to uh, Miss Wolf here. Yeah. Yes. So I I, I want to acknowledge her her Ms. brand new organization, Miss Wolf. I just got the ribbon. Hey, uh, and what? and you got a lot of people listening right now. So how do they join PAC? P A C. Unfortunately, they have to wait till next week. We've had we've had a problem with our website that's oh, just boy. been an uh, embarrassment. It, it, conspiracy. The with, uh, what happened? Conspiracy. Uh, people are asking if we've been sued by XM. You know what's going on? The website's been down for two weeks. It's a problem with the German server. We we never expected German to grow. German server. German server. Uh -oh. I'll talk to the guy I get my porn from. We never expected <laughs> it. to grow from 500 people to 13,000 people in a couple of days. So we had a server that could handle 500 people. But then, they, they probably can't understand. Why there's no pictures of people eating dog shit on it? Boss is slow. They needed their bandwidth to get the dog shit yeah. videos up there. Yeah. So well, so they kind of hijacked our site, and uh, not, they're not letting go of our of our uh, I guess DNS until the 16th. Oh wow! But we'll be back Why after that. Why are they letting that. go of it? It's complicated. It's not, you know, my area. I'm okay. not. I'm are they not, being scumbags? They're being complete. Scumbags. What a shock! Hey, a lot wow. of people. A lot of people want answers to Did questions. You? I can, I yeah. can, I can answer I this question. Yeah, she's kind of. Oh yeah, you got her in there, skin. Oh yeah, did you? Really? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Can't tell you how many times I had to say, "Hey, I, had, I have nothing to do Look, with this." Look, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know her that well. I right. just whacked off looking at her on Pal Talk. <laughs> I can't speak for her. I hope it helped in a good way. But I can tell you, without a doubt, you got under their skin. I'm telling you that for the first time now. See? Oh yeah. See, we had no contact uh, in the last thirty days. You with, got a boyfriend, uh, Miss Wolf? No. I got to meet a few of them. I got to meet the spokesperson. That I'm afraid Patrice is going to ask me how I want to be defined. And yeah. all morning I realized I wouldn't have an answer for that. She looks good. But I got to tell you, sexy. you know, uh, as as we move forward, it's important we have a group like that yep. uh, watching yeah. our back because, you know, there's, there's special interest groups that could get a show fired. Well, and watching should, everybody's there back, There should be really. special interest yeah. groups that could keep a show on the air as well. Well, you, you know, guys you guys were behind uh, supporting uh, JV and Elvis also. Yep, and Imus. And uh, Imus and, and any I other show. And I hate to tell that. you, even Al Roker, if it would come down to it. I mean, yeah. I, I'd be the first to point out that oh, we don't he think was he should, a hypocrite. Yeah, but. we don't think he should be fired, but uh, he should he oh. should probably resign if, if, yes. if, if he follows his own uh, we, advice. We there. were just wondering was, why the media didn't pick up on it as right. much and because they're all asshole buddies with each other is the reason why they don't they don't jump on other media people. They protect them. Well, the the view yesterday. I don't know if you saw it. They were talking about this a little bit, and uh, they they mentioned I miss with a scowly face, and you know the other guys with a scowly face. But when someone brings up Al Roker, Barbara said, "Oh well, he's he's not he's not a bad guy." Oh, he's I not a shock black, jock. I wish somebody like like a real like a like a black black station would get in trouble so I can defend them. Yeah, and I was just defending middle aged white guys for that whole time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. should save white people's jobs. <laughs> oh Lordy, you got. To Keep white people working. I'm like, can a black dude fuck up so I can keep his job, nigga? I, 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 I'm sitting there like, oh, white men got to have a job. I enjoy you on Henning and Combs where you're like, come on, Sean, help me out here. I got to still go back to the neighborhood. Like, Sean's yeah. like, Patrice, we love you. Come here, give me a kiss. I'm like, nigga, I can't like you. <laughs> you right wing Republican ass. Look out of here. Even though he's not even that, he yeah. comes in nah, whistling. No. Yay, hey, hey. Listen, got to break in here for a second. We got Bob Saget. He's going to be at uh, Jones Beach tomorrow night with all of us as well. Yes. Bob, what's up? I'm very happy you guys are back. Hi, Bob. So are we, Bob. Hard for me to see this morning. My eyes are full of my own semen. <laughs> Again? Yeah, and I, I also covered my head with some Condoleezza rice. It's converted. Oh, no. Oh, boy. You know, these are the puns that you do when you sit <laughs> on the phone for fucking 90 minutes. <laughs> Waiting to get on. I'm sorry. Hey, when are you flying out? I'm flying out. I'm actually going to Denver tonight. I'm at the uh, Paramount Theater tonight. And then I come to you guys tomorrow first thing. 
How excited are you, man? I mean, Bob really, Saget, out of everyone, I think, really enjoyed himself backstage more than more than anyone in this room. Bob well, was got, out of his I mind. One of the first comments that was so many comedians. Yeah, that was Saget Sagatisms. Yeah. Huh? He's, Bob, he's yeah. getting blowjobs from all the comedians. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Norton, though. Jim Norton just gave me no. a can, Duke. Yeah. <laughs> how are you, Jimmy? I'm good, buddy. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm looking forward, man. It's going to be crazy tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'm, really, I'm very psyched. I mean, we're all here. We got Patrice, myself. We got uh, Voss, we got Otto, we got Otto. Bobby Kelly, Otto, Otto. Uh, and Bob Saget. And we're just missing Lynch and a couple other guys. You know, I'm really glad you guys faked this whole this radio thing so that we could get a fucking big turnout tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. It's it was so good for the virus tour. People were saying something like, because uh, yesterday, I guess, Opie on the air said, uh, oh, what are they doing? One of those fake suspensions? Because they're remodeling? Yeah. And <laughs> and all this all this speculation on the websites. What did it mean when Opie said fake suspension? Now Does you got to figure out every second of what you say. Exactly. Now, every word is oh. ripped apart. It just is, it's just the, I just can't believe freedom of speech is so unfree right now. And I, I wow, was in, man. I was in Greece, and I just got back, and everybody's getting Who did you play, Kanicki? Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was country. in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I was in the show. That was a damn good one. You said I was in Greece, and Anthony said, who'd you play, Kanicki? That was yeah, a good that, line. I did, I did the same joke, but I was talking about getting fucked in the ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean to cut off the whole dinner theater vibe. <laughs> exactly. What's great about Bob? Bob, you're the only relevant guy left from the original Make Me Laugh. You know that Holy was, shit! Was, uh, well, you know, With, uh, uh, Gary Mule Deer, come on. No. <laughs> you know, Sh Shanley was on it, and Howie Mandel. He was, uh, um, I, well, he was one of the majors, but it was it was you. I would say Franklin the is not even relevant right now. In Australia, he's very popular, he's and if you like stir crazy, Bruce Baum. What about old Vic Dunlap? Old Puddinhead Bobby that, Van. That hurt Vic Dunlap. You know he he had diabetes, so they did some work on one of his legs. Who? Vic Dunlop, he was a sick man, and he's still out doing stuff. But uh, he was, he got yeah. hurt. Oh wow! Yeah, but Bobby was on Bobby, Bobby, Bobby right. Van was the host, and I think uh, yeah, he died. And his good-looking yeah, wife. Tumor. It was all. It yeah, was he all had old, old uh, pudding head. <laughs> Wait, what did he die of, Bob? He died of a brain tumor from lack of freedom of speech. How much of it? It was having to listen to so many awful fucking jokes. <laughs> and, and they were so bad that you couldn't even sit through a minute of them. <laughs> it was in one minute. It should be make me bite your fucking face off because you watch those people and they would sit there sometimes completely straight faced and just watch a comic going on and, and not being funny. I watched that when I was three. Bob was like my my favorite dude on yeah. there, man. He yeah. was, I loved him, man. Well, that's the, you know what was interesting about it? one day I came out dressed in toilet paper and that guy Mr. Whipple that did the Charmin ad. Yeah. I walked up to him and I said, "Squeeze me, Mr. Whipple," and he just sat there staring at me, but he kept looking like at my dick because I think he was that kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was weird. He didn't laugh because I think I was like turning him on because I was like wrapped in something he could wipe his ass with. That guy's a creep, and he's now the super of our building, and he stands outside and fucking fun blocks every time we try to have a laugh. He, he fun blocked today. Of course he did. Yep. Just trying to hustle people through. Really? With his weak chin. Yeah, he's yeah. awful. There's media from true? like all over the world that he's like, ah, ah, ah. Come you on, can't block any entrance. Move, get move, move. Mr. Whipple is your fucking. Yes. Well, I don't know, I'm not. Oh, a dude. Oh, that, 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 <laughs> he, looks, he looks just like that. Jimmy goes, yes. Yeah. Wow, it's such a small world. All right. Hey, Bob, so uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we'll, we'll blow it up. How many how many people are in that place? Uh, I don't know. we got to get a ticket count from Pete today. We were doing actually really well. Yeah, we're doing very well. We're, we're closing in on 10,000, I believe. Well, i got to tell you, I really support you. What's the, you know what's the record do. for the comedy tour? We do, uh, what, 11 in Philly? I want to say Jersey. No, yeah, Philly but 11 was in 10. Philly outside in Camden. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're pushing, uh, you know, we're up there. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm just really glad you guys are back. I really was fucked up. And, uh, Thanks, Bob. I'm hey, Bob. glad you're back. And tomorrow night we'll go crazy and let's kill a girl or a man. Well, how much, uh, how much coke do you need? I, I just I'm taking orders right now. I fill my entire head with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can't do coke anymore unless I'm snorting it off of an illegal hooker's anus. <laughs> Who can? Right, am I right? Yeah, well, Absolutely. Well, I'm really looking forward to it, really, really. So thank you, guys. All right, All right. Bob. We'll see you tomorrow night, man. Thanks, uh, Bob. Have a safe flight. And, and, and plug Denver again. we got some listeners in Denver. Yeah, Denver tonight in the, at the Paramount Theater. It, it should be a, a crazy fun thing because I'm going to take out what's left of my dick. All right, very good. Bye, <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you.
All right, we'll take a, a break, I guess. Yeah, I want to talk to Otto. We haven't heard from Otto yes. yet. Yes. Yeah, oh, Otto's, hey, Otto's going to speak next. No, He's a no, great father. No, one, no one ever hears from Otto. Yeah. <laughs> from we only hear from George. He didn't bring George today. Why? No. George is home. That's creepy. <laughs> I, I was working in um, Staten Island last night at a place called Illusions. <laughs> And uh, Adolf Hitler was at the bar. I said, what are you doing? He goes, I'm, I'm going to kill six million Jews and five circus clowns. I said, five circus clowns. He goes, see, nobody cares about the Jews. <laughs> hey, Otto. <laughs> Otto. Otto, is there any ventriloquist? Hold on. Hold on. I just want to hear Voss trying to say ventriloquist again. Oh, no. <laughs> what is a ventriloquist? <laughs> a guy with a fucking talking fucking... Oh, I, oh, I stopped it. I stopped it. I stopped it. I was gonna say talking bands. I'm not good. Can I ever tell you the greatest, uh, the greatest Jewish joke I ever heard in my life? Oh, I got one. What? Told by uh, Roger Witten Rittenhouse with the hook on his hand. Can we make this perfectly clear? It's a joke. As, it's a joke. As, oh, it's Jesus. a joke. All of media is listening great first, to us right now. Great first day back. You don't got to no, be shaking it's a, it's it up, a, you motherfuckers. But, but listen, it's a joke. <laughs> I, I give Roger Rittenhouse the credit. The dude with the hook on his hand. I, I heard him years ago. You're about to hear a joke. This is a <laughs> joke. Should I not do it? It's not <laughs> an anti- It's going to have to add <laughs> it again. Uh, you know what? Again and again I don't want to be the uh, Paul Michael McCurry. Wait, 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 Patrice. I won't do wait, it. Patrice, as a Jew, I'd like to hear it. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Good no, but you don't count. Jews work? reject you because you're <laughs> yeah. stupid. And, and you got tattooed. You're Jews tattooed. Do not Jews. acknowledge yeah. you. You've gone against uh, part of their religion uh, by getting your body marked hey, up with so tattoos. So is every Jew that has plastic Hold surgery. On, is, is Miss Wolf Jewish? I'm a Jew. And so is Otto. I know it's yeah. Jewish. I, yeah. I've never had a problem. So the joke Wait, was funny. So, it's, it basically, right. it was when Schindler's List came out. Oh, when no. The movie oh, came that's got to be a scream. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, let me get my when finger Schindler's back. When Schindler's List huh? came out, right, the guy goes, he goes, hey, you know what? This Schindler's List is going to be a big movie because Steven Spielberg, I heard they're doing a deal with McDonald's. That they're gonna promote the <laughs> promote the movie. He said, "I can't wait to collect all six million cups." That's pretty oh, funny. Oh, oh, that's okay. a great yeah. joke, man. That's a great joke. That's, a great joke, man. <laughs> that's funny. Here's a Jew joke. <laughs> no, 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 through the summer. All right, <laughs> one day. Yeah, I'd like the to make summer. It, I'd like to make it through Jones Beach. <laughs> yeah, I would like to make it. To noon today. I yeah. think that was in the same tone as that. Yeah, I know. I know. One yeah. day. I think you, you got to understand we're a bit nervous right now. I, I we're trying, why it. the fuck did we invite so many people into the yeah. studio today? Why a bunch of conics. I know. It of should all have the been. people who know, never know what not should, to say. It shouldn't even have been Jim. It should have been me and Opie. Yeah. Opie and Andy, just yeah. like the website said. Andy. Fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking just me with a few records. That's it. Maybe I'll call in. <laughs> Opie's <laughs> mid-morning attitude. <laughs> hey, we got the our first show. The virus is now WSKO. Oh. Yes. Yes, all the time. <laughs> we, we got our first show. The virus is Yes, we do. No. Oh, no. Come Why, on. The whole media is listening. Let, let's let them hear your George Burns impression. Shut up. 1994. <laughs> Shut up. It's a good setup. We got a, an unofficial roast about to happen. No. Oh, like oh, man. I like it. Oh. We'll decide. I don't know. Oh, but, my uh, God. What are all these creeps? Debbie, uh -huh. thank you. Wow. <laughs> Debbie Wolf, everybody. Thank you so Thank much. You, I didn't say the website, so let me say it real quick sure. before every message board yells at me. It will be peopleagainstcensorship.com. Next week, we'll be back better than ever. And we will Thank promote you. that for hey, you, too. I Thank have you. a new favorite fan site, too. What? Yeah? Yeah. What Which is? is? Sweetie. Say. Go oh, ahead. Not going to promote it. <laughs> okay. Deb, can I get a good look? What? Good luck. We'll turn around. Oh. Turn around. She's now she a, a spokesperson. She's ahead of the news now. She's, 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 she's a pundit. She's out in a second. You yeah, you gotta get up and if you want to see her ass later. She doesn't Debbie never sees my ass. Debbie, on never, pal pal Debbie know, never yeah. even showed her bra. It would disgust me. You'll she, see her in a towel. She though. was very aggravating to watch when you first met her because you'd see her and you'd watch her for like three hours mm -hmm. and she'd do nothing. She wouldn't even slip with a skirt on. No. She would just sit like she was riding a horse the side saddle. Two dimensional really cock tease. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Get Bye, out of here Debbie. So Thank you for your ass. Ass. All right. Look. There oh, you go. There you go. Lovely. I like that. In a skirt. Yeah. Debbie's lovely. She she did a lot for us. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's got to be acknowledged. And, and the whole and all the fans have been, man. It's it's very appreciated. All the ones that were involved with the sites yeah. that showed up. You know what? Because special interest groups that that complain never have a counterbalance of people going, wait a minute, you fucking, this is not wrong yeah. to say, you leave know, these people alone. And, and Jimmy, it was nice to have that. To add to that, we don't trust uh, any company at this point to stick up to special interest groups. So what you got to do is you got to like create your own special interest yeah. group yeah. and fight special interest group uh, against themselves. Right. Yeah, and it's not your a group a, against a, theirs. It's I not XM or CBS. It's every company. It's movie company. I don't trust anybody either. Television people, none of them. Yeah. So your only hope is to have your own special interest group and, and fight uh, the people trying to get you in trouble. Oh, yeah. Crossed the legs. Could see her yeah. when she crossed the legs. Did you have a serious conversation really? about... Uh, what? You have a serious conversation and Patrice is just trying to see her panties. Yeah. Patrice doesn't give a shit if we're here, if we're, if we're fired. <laughs> hey, he was on shows you, defending us with the donkey mind? punch and the care. fucking pirate. They call me a tap dancing nigger because I'm sitting there <laughs> saving white guy trying to... Oh, Lord, and that, that, that old... Oh, that master, master Imus, he didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Napping head and holes. Why don't those little nigglets just get over it? <laughs> All, right. All right, so maybe you do care. You <laughs> fucking asshole. Motherfuckers call me a sellout every five fucking minutes because only white people know I am. Who's this? Who's this nigga with a woman's name defending these practices? You, you had a dilemma, though, because you were getting some, some sweet TV time. You really were. Nigga, I, I took a real L. I took an L having a point. I should have just went on there and go, uh, PatriceO'Neal.com. Yeah, I've been plugs. Like, trying to be serious, but I was trying to make a point with uh -huh. these fucking goddamn white guys and Sean Hannity. That motherfucker was like, uh, good, thanks for John, because you know John stole me from Sean. Oh, right, right. Because he comes on like four hours early, and John's yeah. like, get this dude in here. I want to steal him just because he... Yeah, well, you, that blew up in his fucking face. Uh-huh. <laughs> when, when you said kick her in the shin and ejaculate in her eye, it, it was just... I was watching going like, he didn't fucking just say that. <laughs> You can't say that on the radio. You can't say that on fucking news. Sorry, the head of a woman's league. Yeah. yeah. With now, oh, yeah, now woman head. sitting right next to her. Oh. Yeah. So uh, isn't uh, right next to her. He, pr he proved our point, though. When you're just flying by the city of your yeah, pants, you're just happens. talking. And everybody in the studio is cracking the fuck up. Girls, yeah. everybody. <laughs> and he was laughing. Because he, yeah. he knew. And he's like, I like to apologize for what came out of his fucking yeah. mouth. Yeah. Jesus Stop. Christ. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a break. We got, wow, how many people are out There's there? There's a lot. There's a lot of people, man. And Looks no like the fucking Hamas takeover. <laughs> <laughs> See? Make it topical. <laughs> Jones Beach tomorrow night. That's uh, that's yep. what we want to really yes. uh, push today. With all these guys and a few others that are not in studio today. Today. It's like the Take white side of a prison out there. Wait, is that, is that, uh, <laughs> what, what? Where's, where's the CBS news crew? Uh, we told them to get lost. Oh, I was going to get lost. They were going to get a lovely little white man's ass. Show us Scram. Scram. Hey, oh, that would have been nice. Yeah, I would have stood up and let him take out a good peek. Good All morning. Right. Well, uh, is that me? Yeah. All right, let's take right. a break. Yeah. And, um, wait, because she's... No. Who's that guy? <laughs> Just get us out of here. This is an emergency broadcast. The unpleasant noise you are about to hear coming from your radio is not a mistake. Opie and Anthony. All right, we're back. Patrice O'Neill, Jim Hope Norton, can I Rich Voss, Bob Kelly, Otto from Otto and George. Two, four, five out of the nine comedians that you'll see tomorrow night at Jones Beach you, out there on Long Island. What? I just want to apologize. For what? For if almost getting any, us fired already? If I say anything that offended anybody, <laughs> I just was repeating a joke that a guy said that I heard, and I was not in any way trying to oh. say anything fucked up, and I'm trying to be as contrite as possible. And I just, do apologize. We're just a little nervous. <laughs> a little nervous. It's been a like weird three days. I understand. You know, you do understand. But you know what, too? But we got to be honest, fellas. We, we, it's, it's a lot of built up. We're, we're like the bear. We're like, you're right. There's a lot of built up just testosterone, radio testosterone, yep. um, you know, that uh, we'll be blurting out, you know? Yeah. And then, and so, you know, we don't want to get anybody in trouble. No, but we want to we want to have a good time. But I, I don't want to get no white men fired. <laughs> I want a George Burns impression. <laughs> Shut up. I want to hear. Talk, you know, oh, we got to hear it, dude. Stop the bullshit. I want to hear a George Burns impression. I hate this the is idea. This anniversary show. That Come on, everyone man. is here. Why? You're a little and eager. I love it. It's sweet, Anthony. Le I, uh, let me let me explain something. Andy, Andy, let <laughs> I was it. in construction for my uh, entire working life. 
I just started getting into radio because I had uh, done an O.J. Simpson song parody. Opie uh, played it on his show when he was doing radio at WBAB out on Long Island. And uh, the, uh, the crowd, uh, uh, his audience thought it was very good. <coughs> Opie invited me, my brother, to come down and perform it live. <laughs> when we did this... I was in this disclaimer. I, I used to like this. Give me the fucking I, impression. I was drinking <laughs> heavily. Put a cigar in your mouth and just say it. I was <laughs> shut up. I was drinking on, pretty good. God. I was drinking pretty good to you know <laughs> calm down a little bit. And and the fact is I hadn't done a radio mm. like that. But I was so eager to be good and to... I'm trying to explain myself, oh, you yes. motherfucker. Oh, oh this is not going to go well. It's going to be fun. This I is, like it. Shut up, Jimmy, you motherfucker. You are the worst. When this fucking tape gets played every time, you are the worst. Why? Because you you sit there with this fake... No, it was good. It was you know, really good. I like to hear... No one's being a judge of it. It's so listen? bad. You know I what? can't fucking... I'm too happy. Like... Everything is <laughs> like I'm too happy to be there. You know what, and that was embarrassing. You know what's amazing about this whole thing? I have a note here. The last time we attempted to play this <laughs> was in February, and we got through like seven minutes. And we have an and hour. It was, Can it, you oh, please? it was so Can I hear fucking a drop hard. Put it in. Yes. Just a little bit. It is a little. So I don't have to hear this horseshit. Now, what happened was I my he, toilet broke. Anthony, that day. Does, Anthony I, doesn't like uh, letting his guard down. Oh, you I gotta understand hate it. It is like 13, 14 years ago. At least you have an excuse. I was already doing radio for 10 years. You two. <laughs> we, you know what? Motherfuckers know less about these two motherfuckers than you'll ever know. Like, I know, I know. I know more about myself. Yeah. Yes. Hey, we're not stupid. Since I've I was like, I'm sitting there going, I, I was like, wow, I didn't know that about me on this motherfucker show. I told people I fucked the sink. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> these suckers won't reveal anything. Yeah, do the, do the I, impression. I, 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 I brought up showering uh, when, when my father made us all shower at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking embarrassing. What? That was a trade off to get the car keys. <laughs> what happened? My father was teaching me and my brother how to shower. <laughs> you're afraid, to, you're afraid at, to wipe your ass and get at, some shit on it at, <laughs> at 27? <laughs> He was teaching us when, I don't know, I guess I was about six or something, uh, and my brother was probably seven, <laughs> and he thought, it, you know, bath time was what over. What you doing, George Burns, so he stopped <laughs> No, I wasn't doing George, George Burns. Hey, come on. That's how it started. He goes, hey, kid, smoke this cigar. <laughs> Why you that Try to say goodnight, Gracie. <laughs> say goodnight, Daddy. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> and, and I was petrified because he was standing under the the water from the shower and I was standing me and my brother were standing on the back like wall where there where wasn't water and the water was running down his body and you know how when off you shower the water runs off the head right. it runs right off the head of your cock <laughs> and I kept he, oh, he was like he was like come here and I'll show you how to shampoo your hair and stuff and I'm like no Ooh. you're going pee pee because it looks like he was taking a leak I thought he just made you and your brother take it he got in with oh, you yeah he was in the shower so and, it's, and it's to a show. kid to a kid because I'm like you know he's my dad his Cock did looked he, like it was like uh, two feet uh, long. Did he teach you how to sleep together too? No, Daddy, what's that? What it's you a finger, and you know where that's going. <laughs> no, it was there was nothing sexual Don't about it. Yeah. No. Wait a minute, you, you just said water, you just, water going down your father's wow. body, down his cock, into your mouth. What's no, not sexual about that, mouth. homo? It wasn't you had a homemade super soaker going there, right in your eye. Was there a lot of woo noises? No, every time. Every time you go past the fountain, you get a hard on now. Did he teach you how to lie to a counselor, too? No. No. What are those, what are those no. little Cuban no. sounds with no. the water's coming out the dick? Come on, you like, oh, oh, I thought, oh, look at Atlas. Look at Atlas in his face. He doesn't throw change in it. He throws himself in it and starts sucking its cock. Oh, look at that statue of Hercules. It, was, it wasn't... It it wasn't as sexual. He was teaching his sons how to shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? They, they were saying they taught Ed Norton how to shower in American history. Did he, when he was done, did he trade you to the Aryan Brotherhood? No. I didn't know that lifting up your left.
left butt cheek was part of shower. <laughs> Daddy, is that, is that a hard lupus? <laughs> oh, quiet, kid. <laughs> no. It was, a, it was a father teaching his kid yeah. how to shower. But I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go near him because what? the water was running oh, off and it what? looked like he was taking a leak. Oh, what, what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of rag is that, Daddy? <laughs> it had nothing Stop to do with that. Hold on, that motherfucker just sexy to get more drugs from a fucking... <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at him sticking up. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, I'm trying to defend Andy. Yeah. Andy. Okay. And Andy okay. stopped All right. acting like hey, hey, hold on, wait a minute. Hey, hold on, me. hold on, son. Let me smack this soap on your ass <laughs> cheek. It wasn't like that. Let me put it. Come on, come on, come on. If anybody, yeah. knows, if anybody knows the queer, it'd be fucking Vaughn. <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. It wasn't you, Jimmy. anything Jimmy, like Jimmy. that. Oh, yeah. You've you yeah. lost Jimmy. No. You've lost me and Anthony. Well, why you, against four. Why are you attacking go. me? Let's go. You brought it up. You're only defending him because of your skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bathtub experiences, okay? You? okay I'm attacking you. His brother almost drowned show. trying to give himself a blowjob in the bathtub. Get <laughs> 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 the heat off me, motherfucker. He's not throwing his brother under the bus. Yeah, his brother <laughs> tried to blow himself in the shower? In the bathtub. Yeah, the story on the show. And he was oh, underwater. Bad. His face was underwater, and he, like, had a snorkel in his mouth. No, no, no. But it was his dick, and his mother walked in. Oh, like, well, my mom on. walked in because she was knocking on the door, didn't hear anything, and she was always paranoid that we were dying. So she walks in, and he's under the water blowing himself. He pops out of the water. <laughs> like she a bro- Navy SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> she ran down the hall screaming for my dad, going, Freddy, Brett's gay! Is that and what happened with you, Hold Anthony? Hold on, and then no. Brett ran after him soaking wet with a heart on going mom i'm not gay because i uh, i was give i was I, getting it i wasn't giving it something like that yeah i wanted to get one i didn't want to uh, give one that's or, what happened with anthony know. His dad caught him doing it, and he goes, son, if you're going to practice, let me show you a real one. <laughs> no. There's nothing wrong with that. There was so nothing right. like that at all. It was just this fear that he was urinating, and I wanted him to finish before he showed me how to right, shampoo so Where was hair. he? Was, were you and your brother? He was, you're acting like you had a walk-in shower. No, it was your basic Long Island tub oh, and shower. You, you couldn't be like nine feet away. I was against like the wall. You were uh, like an inch away. They were playing and, Ring Around and, the Rosie. And he was standing <laughs> under the water facing the back wall of the shower, and we were against the back wall facing him. So he's... <laughs> and those good things about the shower, they can't see the tears coming out of your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he's killing you. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> because, because all I have to work with is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. Hey, hey fucker. <laughs> was, it weird? <laughs> was it weird when you saw white shower water coming off of Daddy's penis? <laughs> <laughs> wow. There wasn't any. Yeah, liquid. Stop it. Daddy, I don't want to have a watch in the I don't want to drink this smoothie while Daddy. I'm telling this story. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, they didn't even invent liquid soap yet. <laughs> it looked Daddy. like conditioner. What Daddy. The hell? Daddy, did you bring eggs into the shower? <laughs> Bobby, brings it, Bobby brings it right to food. <laughs> <laughs> right to food. All right, see, we have enough material. We don't have to play this. No, 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 no. Put that shit on, dude. You got to. I want Voss to hey, wipe he, his mustache off. Did he dip you? Did he dip you in one foot? No, he didn't dip me. I wouldn't wow. even go near Are him. Are you playing wow. any games like Duck Duck Fag? I just. I just fag, you're it! <laughs> and you're always going to be it! I just tried. To, I stayed away, so it yeah. didn't work oh, out. I, I, it, the, the whole showering, learning thing didn't work out. It ended with me crying because oh, I didn't did. want to go. Well, because I didn't want to go near him while I thought he was urinating. Did he paint duck ears on it? <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, shit. <laughs> you are the worst. Oh, it had shit. nothing to do with it. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Tell that to child off. services. Uh, I am better off with the George did he Burns have a loo- audio. A loofah right. sponge hang? No, <laughs> he didn't have a loofah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, oh, I know this much. We'll we'll never get past a minute. <laughs> I know. So that's okay. I know. Let's hear we a little bit. We, we, we don't want to. See I will now. Na- you will now see me. Put my head down and not look at anyone until this is done. I don't. Dude, <laughs> until we, the water gets turned off. <laughs> Shut up, boss. <laughs> 
Killing you. At least it was my own it's dad, not a fucking crack dealer. Ooh, oh, <laughs> now there's true. hostility. It's not my fault. At I least, didn't bring it up. I didn't even know the, the guy, story. At least they were taking a shower, boss. <laughs> yeah. The guy at least it was clean. Yeah, so they could wash the guilt off of the each guy, other. If you want to dress sexy to get more drugs That's from a right. drug dealer, yeah. and you're killing my pal little over little here. cute Anthony wasn't trying you to get what? heads. Opie really is annoyed. <laughs> I know. This is, <laughs> yes. if he's getting always trying to bring it back to your crackness. How did he get the upper hand? Wait, oh, you know what? Oh, oh, you know five what? years. I finally. I okay. I have a couple come back. I'm sorry that I've taken loads for five years from you, fucking two jackasses. All right. All right. I didn't even slobber until I started doing this fucking show. Okay. Fuck you guys. I talked right before I came here. That's why bosses like he is because his dad. He wouldn't shower. Bob was in the shower. And go, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Boss <laughs> had perfect fit before he started doing this show. Fucking <laughs> fucking okay, man. Fucking boss used to have perfect diction. I know. You stammered. You didn't draw. Uh, it was never a problem. Fucking okay, Joe is taking everything I've built up throughout life out of me. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, you can hear this comedy tomorrow night at Jones Beach. You guys are fucking okay, brutal. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then we got to sit now through this fucking... Uh, uh, oh, uh, audio of that first show. And that, do you guys ever have a family reunion, like a shower type thing? <laughs> hey, no. We're, we're going to, uh, I've never had a family yeah, reunion. Hey, Rich, uh, Rich, way to bring it up two days before Father's Day. Yeah, you know, my father's dead, thank you. What, you want to, uh, you know, uh, freaking dig up his corpse and get him in the shower? Oh, oh, you know? Him and his What's big, fat you? Italian <laughs> cock are gone. <laughs> Just right down the drain. <laughs> Dear old dad right down the drain. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I just remember it being like one of those big V8 cans. <laughs> so when your mom... When you're your mom saying that. He wants everyone to know he has a big cock. When, when your mom it. started... I bet you this fucking does, too. Oh, you know he does. <laughs> when your mom started dating, you didn't say, we don't have to take a shower with him, too, do we? Yes, that was it. Yeah, that's <laughs> me and Sal. <laughs> Ro, oh. your son's in the shower with me, Ro. <laughs> oh. Got a nice cock, Ro. He misses his father. Ro, I'm teaching him how to shower. You know what? Come and think of it. I think Anthony only does impressions of people with big dicks. He does a great Milton Berle, too. You ever hear I once made Nancy limp for a week. Yes. All right, well. Did your treehouse have a shower in it? All right, you know what? I say we give it a couple Anthony, of minutes. Anthony oh. had all the showers removed from the house. <laughs> yeah. This is a, this disc is an hour. I I guarantee we don't get uh, past two minutes. Two minutes at most. At most. Actually, I can't fucking dude, listen to it's this. It's actually not bad. We shut you. the fuck up, but Jimmy. It's actually not. You're I'm, lying. No, I'm not. You're lying, sack of shit. My old stuff is humiliating. Yours is just while you were a construction guy, a little over eager. I mean, that, it's not bad. a little it's charming. Play it. I am you know, giggling. Charming. At everything, I'm I'm too loud. I'm t it's so embarrassing. Want to float a bond before we play? It? <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. My my problem it's, is I'm, I'm awful. My problem is I'm still happy to do radio at this point. <laughs> I got that. You're not happy miserable boy? yet. No. would be great. Oh, the, your voice too is 18 octaves too high. Uh, yeah. All right. Well. Let's go, nah, baby. I and I know we Let's ain't making it, it up to. I, I know we ain't making it up to boo boo boo. <laughs> Let's get it going. <laughs> we have to stick together on this. I one. know we do. I'll help fight, man. No problem. <laughs> I'll take these fuckers on. Dude, it's Two over. Fuckers, <laughs> it's <laughs> over. To make me sick with your fucking top secret horseshit. Put that on you. Two radio hacks when you were thirteen. <laughs> going woo, making noises and get the fuck this, this shit off. It's what? gonna be like the 300. <laughs> Let's remind everyone. We're gonna ru remind. Look at this disclaimer. Do they do this shit with anybody? It's just like we're gonna remind I'm people there, that this is this is from 1994. Okay. Right. No one cares. <laughs> yeah, well, we care. No one cares. This I is 18 years old. <laughs> bring your own sound effects Saturday. Mm. All right. We'll bring. Well, well you, you can bring the cricket. <laughs> I got this one. <laughs>
<laughs> you motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe they all stalling their asses off yeah, playing really. this. Hey, we just play had mine. to go 11, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Put this thing on. I got to hear it. Why don't we just, let's just be supportive. And, and <laughs> right, we promise. All right, you know what, Jimmy, you're right. Who's Jimmy, buying Jimmy, this shit? Jimmy, you, he's right. I, no, let's just enjoy it. Enjoy we'll, it. Enjoy it. it. Well, it's, it's an to... older work, and it turned into... Because you know what? We, we might, up, you know what, Bob? We might really like it. Well, I oh, like Anthony. Yeah. First yeah, of all, like, Anthony, honestly, God, I, out of all the people that yeah. do impressions, you're one of the best. Oh, thank you. Wait, 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 and wait till you hear George Burns. Oh, wait, when you start to show... Did you watch that show with Jeff Ross at all? No, I didn't. Hey, Bob, why didn't you do that show and show up as Brando in Apocalypse Now? <laughs> hey Anthony, when, when they start to tape, can you turn around like an impressionist yes. and fix your hair? And then I'll turn around and be George Burns. Listen, no, Danny Gaines. Oh. <laughs> you know what? He is one of the best impressionists ever. He's very good. These two guys, both of you, man, you can't be that yeah. bad. I bet you it's good because you're it one of the greatest so radio uh, I'll tell you this acts much. ever in history. I'll man. tell you this much. Let's this just was, enjoy. Oh. This was the demo tape that got us our. Uh, there you go. There you go. It was something. Shows you how bad radio was oh. back in '94. God. Who was deaf fucking listening to it? All right, let's let's just enjoy it. I'm ready to listen to it. I'm ready to listen to it. I love George Burns. All right. All right. All right. What happened to my sunglasses? Throw it in. Oh, you can't see? You don't want to look. What happened? They're around. It won't be a shame. You don't want to look at anybody. Fucking Kenny took them. I got to hide my eyes. You don't. All right, here we go. Brother. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Have fun. I'm not going to look. I'm going to cover. Fans pointing out the button. Who's heard this? Jimmy's I mean, heard a little bit. It's actually, Patrice has never I wish heard it. it was worse. Jimmy, Bob? shut up. It is Sir, worse. I, I wish it was worse. I, I think we were going to try to do it one day. Yeah, we here. try to do this yes. every, like, six months. I, I listened to it. I was in a car once listening to it, and then I had to pull over and... You heard it? I guess yeah, a little it. bit of it, yeah. Oh, a little bit. shit. I right. shut it off. But it wasn't that bad. Oh, I thought you no, made... it's so bad. No, it was, wasn't that bad. E-Rock, you want to make fun of us? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> if E-Rock makes fun of me, I'll have to kill him. Oh. 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 <laughs> no, you, got you don't even want to get into because you know on, it's man. coming. Come it's Opie. It. It's Opie no, no. back selling no, a song. No one's saying that we, we just want to. Like, it's Opie, yeah. the rock jock, back selling a song, and he doesn't want. Uh, I, I know exactly what you're feeling here. It's radio. It's, it's a, yeah. yeah, dude. What, was All that right. heart? Was that heart? Who was that? I think that was uh, Soul Asylum. Oh, I, was it? Oh no. You know, and I had it. Oh no, this I, is I so make, bad. I had to make believe they were cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Let's hear it. <laughs> oh fuck, this is awful. How do we get in this shit? Oh no. Holy shit. Long Island's best rock, WBAB Soul Asylum. Black Gold, Steve Miller, and the latest from... They're already laughing. Uh, uh, shit. <laughs> Look at both. <laughs> Look at fucking both, that cocksucker. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, he pointed to somebody, too. Soul us up. Wow, you're getting a so. standing ovation out there. <laughs> Holy shit. It's fucking... So here's he why everybody's laughing. Soul. It's just weird to hear you, oh you, 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 you back song as well. Oh, my God. Oh, shut up. But it's true. Uh, that, that, that's not bad no, to say that was they're soul. laughing. Oh, my God. I haven't been <laughs> under the bus in a long time. Oh, God. Oh on his hands. <laughs> you should drink that. <laughs> oh. This is... Oh. I never thought I'd wish for another 30-day suspension. <laughs> I'd like one to start immediately. <laughs> I want to hear Anthony Chime. Can you introduce Shut Anthony? Shut up! I got you dirt know. on all you motherfuckers, and I'll, I'll take it right to the, Dude, the you bad can, part. I oh. agree. <laughs> nice. Let's go, let's go. Black Gold, Steve Miller, and the latest from REM. What's the frequency, Kenneth, as you do the nighttime attitude? It's over your board. Thanks for checking out the program tonight. And we got another fine show planned for you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you just say horrible. fine? Yeah, it's what? Things were fine. There's nothing guy. left in this cup that he's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is, he's fucking eating his cup. This motherfucker's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> when he, I'm going I'm to take a fake phone call. <laughs> Here's how you know it was an old show, because yeah. you said the word planned. Like, 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 like show prep done. <laughs> you know, he had like, like, like a brown show. bag with a sandwich that oh, somebody yeah. prepared oh. for him. Yeah, you. Oh, oh, yo, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I'm, I was enjoying him. Shut the fuck up. Actually, you were, you were actually kind of smooth. Yeah. Very smooth. Don't make me bring um, up the glass dildos and, the, and we had a moment. I already brought it up, nigga. No. I want to 
moment. We had a moment, so I was like, Patrice, what are you doing? I, I know. I, I've had a lot of problems that, you know what, that this show right, has helped here. me with, and, and, right, and I love, I there's fucking nothing, love this, man. Go there's ahead. nothing that could be brought up, though, that is as bad as hearing old audio. Like, no, I'm sure really. all you motherfuckers have shit from years ago that you're like, Oh, God, I can't even listen right. to it. Here comes the... Uh... Oh, stop it, Bobby. No, you were, I, I, oh, you were fucking great forever. No, Bobby, I wasn't I, sucking I, my I, dad's I, cock. If I, I did that. not either. <laughs> that would have been more dignified than most of your material. We lost your mic. That would be more noble. We lost your mic. That would be more noble. Then your marshmallow yo my jokes. You, you're talking about fucking uh, sexual positions, you asshole. It's cold out there, but warm in the belly. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking re-break your leg. <laughs> Talk box. I know. Let him eat. Let him eat each other. I know. Bobby, Bobby couldn't listen to a tape from seven days ago. I know. Jesus Christ. After, after tour gas, and he canceled HBO. <laughs> Oh, my joke, man. That's our only saving grace, though, is they can't be around each other without laying into each other. Yeah, we really are fucking penis. Oh, you are. We were, we were actually eating the fucking gazelle. Yeah. We started feeding each other. Hey, assholes, there's enough to go around. You don't get back to dick sucker and high pitch Henry. <laughs> Thank you. You guys, got a rare, focus, you guys got a rare opportunity. Oh, like, God. Uh, yeah, Praying like, mantis, <laughs> like eating each other. <laughs> All right, Dale. Oh, shit. checking out the program tonight, and we got another fine show planned for you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. We got my pals Joe oh, and Anthony from Rotgut live in the studio. Is there a black girl at all? Doing, man? Good man. You have a black co-host. You don't know who you are. You have a black woman co-host. Did somebody just go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, honey. <laughs> now that we got ourselves a show, baby. <laughs> What? That was cool. Like, you agreed with him. Why shouldn't you agree with him? Jimmy, I'm sorry. I am going to fucking smack you. And leave Lord a hand. Have mercy. And I will leave a hand. I will leave a handprint. <laughs> were you and Joe you practicing in the car as you were driving there together? Of course we were. Sha na 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 <laughs> oh, is this awful. Really try, but this is classic oh, high school it, shit. Oh, right, where when you're on it, you gotta push it on to somebody else and try. Here we go. Here I'm focused. Here we go. I'm with you. Oh, We're 32 fuck. seconds in. How you doing, man? Good, man. Uh, just in case people don't know who you are, yeah. Well, oh, <laughs> just in case. The famous, the, the famous authors of uh, Gun Electric Shock OJ, which mm -hmm. you're gonna do live on the show tonight. That's right. And you're gonna do other uh, ditties. Huh. Yeah, other wacky, kooky stuff over here. <laughs> We're a little crazy. Crazy. All right. Okay. Who's that? Who is that? Right. stranger that walked in the studio? I have to leave. Why? I have to leave. <laughs> Who was you that? Had Wait. Wait. You Wait. had Casey Kingdom already? Wait. 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 On your resume, it says, I do ditties. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he was going to do some wacky, kooky stuff. But he was trying to describe what was happening. <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. Jimmy. Look. <laughs> do you do Batman, too? <laughs> Is, this is so fucking awful to listen to. I can't fucking listen to this. I know. I'm going to have to leave. Hey, can it's we, good. Can we, we listen to that black it's good. Can we listen to that black guy again? Uh, you know he can went home. Can we listen home. to that sassy black chick one more no, time? There's oh. No, there's no rewinding. There's no rewinding. You don't, you don't oh. like it now, but you know that right when you left the studio, you called your girlfriend. How was I? Did it yeah. good? Was it good? Was it good? Hey, Bob, is Wait, right. let, let's, I want to hear some more. Wait, but the intro should have been, you might recognize this guy if you had your heater fixed last week. <laughs> okay? Not, how, you might recognize this guy if you called the fucking Culligan if man. If, okay? your, <laughs> if, 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 if your bedroom is nice
facing cool and comfortable, you may recognize this guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob's a little angry. Oh, oh, fucking boss. Boss is Mount St. Helens. Yeah. It's been <laughs> fucking building up and building up. I just spit out a filling. <laughs> <laughs> Why did a Buick pop yeah. out of his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh sorry, man. I'm well, there you guys go. go. No, oh, I'll be a little bit more. I don't want to miss wacky, kooky stuff if we're coming up. <laughs> they, were they were titties. They were titties. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me let me try to do it. Some wacky, kooky. Oh, <laughs> you, oh, it's second nature. It's right there. All right, let's go back to the tape that's uh, 13 years old. All right. Right. <laughs> oh, God, help me. Oh, bitter, we gave Eddie Vedder the idea to do that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. What's, what someone was just your say? brother you dressed as a Pearl trans version of sitting on the dock? Huh? He sounded... Yeah, you keep talking. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Voss, yeah. Voss, yeah. Voss, keep yeah. chiming yeah. in, my yeah. friend. All right. I got no problems with Voss uh, yeah. talking you today. You talk whenever you want. Yes. Yeah. We only have to go to 11. You're sweating. <laughs> That's what someone just said. You know, they heard Pearl Jam's version of Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, and they were expecting uh, to hear the OJ version. <laughs> oh, this is sad. He <laughs> sounded like he was heavily sedated. <laughs> <Right. up>. yeah. <laughs> All right, I need a ruling. I started no, no, a new no, bid no, yesterday. No, 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 no. No, no, someone needs oh, a ruling. Oh, we no. can vote. Oh, no. We can, we can vote. <laughs> Look at Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's so enthusiastic about this whole thing, because you're a fucking cunt. <laughs> Jimmy, you suck. I've never Why? seen him enthusiastic to do a ruling. I know. I oh, mean, look, we can vote. Oh, I like voting. <laughs> Audience participation. I like to vote. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, this, uh, it is so... Cause, you know why? Because we know it's coming, and, and it's just... It's, it's so, so fucking hacky. bad. I think it's not so that bad so far. I, it's, it's, very, I don't it's, mind it. it's almost, it's kind of entertaining. We're I know it's we're not. We're fucking with you because we think we have to, but this is actually pretty no, good. No, no. Oh, stop, stop it. it. It actually is. <laughs> and then Patrice puts on his poker face. <laughs> Honestly, like, like, you're fucking sitting on pocket aces. <laughs> oh, shit, I got aces. You guys oh. had a connection right off the bat. You can see it. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Yeah. All right, I need a ruling. I started oh, a new bit yesterday. Oh, celebrity death one. Right? Yep. All right, you might have been, you might have heard this. Yeah. Right. Monday, Jessica Tandy, the old broad from uh, <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy, died. Yeah. Hey, I'll take that contract. How old was she? <laughs> it's 85. Oh, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know about you, but I've always been under the... Uh, I, I, celebrities die in threes, basically. Always. Always, right? So it's the Celebrity Death Watch. I guarantee two more prominent celebrities will die before October 1st. So we're just waiting and watching. George Burns in the hospital the it other day. It was a day. close call. But, Very close call. But he got out of it. Yeah. 98 years old. He has, like, his brain is swelling. He, he pulled out. And he pulled out of it. I was like, darn. I always wanted to see. Oh, Jesus George Christ. <laughs> Did the FCC come after you? <laughs> <laughs> darn. I think you got 30 days. I know. <laughs> you if, you two, if you two were famous back then, you would have been two and three. <laughs> no, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be two and three. It'd be two and three. 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 Gee, Willikers, Robert. Gee. <laughs> Darn. I, <laughs> celebrities die in three. I can't Woo! fucking deal. Woo! Anthony is hiding Anthony. behind the mic. <laughs> I'm, I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm laughing at every little yeah. fucking thing. Why? It why? doesn't matter. What because no you know why his... He feels how much of an excited asshole yes. he was. Just I was yeah. so happy Not to be there. To talk, just Dude, this yay. was my this was my ticket out of construction. You know what and I thought if I did there? good, he, he, he was, was in the fucking studio with his hands up. Uh -huh. like he was on a roller coaster. Yeah. That was, <laughs> he was wheelchair. I, I he thought went to, he ran the Kinkos the next day and got a resume. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> One day listening to you do. Or early radio is like watching Voss act. <laughs> no, 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 no disrespect. Uh, okay, but I mean just like yeah, okay, yeah. I'm it. so over fucking zeal. I'm, I like wanted to be there. I was happy to be there. I was so excited that this could lead to me doing radio and, I was and not doing I didn't have work to spin anymore. Records anymore. And, and and listening to this, I wonder how it ever yeah. fucking happened. But I I can't fucking listen to it. It is so painful. You know what? Oh. All right, we get it, you uh, stalling motherfucker. I know. Put that stuff back. <laughs> Fuck up. You know what? Why don't we play the rest of the tape on stage at Jones Beach tomorrow night? I no. would think we should uh, <laughs> probably play it. Uh, wow. But how come time is going so fucking but you slow? Can go, you, yeah. can nice go, slow you can go over time here. It doesn't matter. No, 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 there's new rules in place here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> out of it. I was like, darn. I always wanted to see oh, no, I didn't. George Burns singing um, no, I didn't. that, that oh, extreme song. Oh, no. If you don't oh, like Jesus. what you see here... Get the funk out, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but he never does that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Maybe now after he's bopped on the head. But I need a ruling. I got an obituary. Oh, Patrick O'Neill, 66. Mm. People are going, Patrick, Patrick who? Now, I said it has to be a prominent celebrity. This guy was in Stepford Wives, 1975. Ooh. What do you think? Don't look at me like that, It's on the fence. Is he prominent Let me, let me see, Joe. What do you think? I, 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 I rule man. No. 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 All right. So it's still one with two celebrities one. to go two weeks from now. Two to go. <laughs> two to go. All right. Well, we're going to debut real fast a, uh, a who song the from Who fuck was guy. doing talk radio back then? <laughs> Like just children it, or it's y'all are so awful. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't even. You should have been on three hours before y'all come on now, and y'all should be trashing First of you. All, this <laughs> <laughs> who are these two assholes? And who's this George Burns happy motherfucker? Why? So yeah, you always wonder what it would be like if George Burns sang a song and then damn it, he did. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Turn that song off, you <laughs> douchebag. Oh, oh, right this now. is God. so God. awful. Fired. Do it right now. Jesus. What? All right. I don't know when the vocals cut kicking. If you don't like. <laughs> I think he wants to do it again. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to it. take the heat off. Hey, we were yeah, on in the middle of the night. Stuff. Huh? We were, we were on in the middle of the night. Right. Even. What and is, and it the band with four? Motherfucker had to fly a pterodactyl yeah. to get that station. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, fly that phone. Uh, uh, it ain't uh, yeah, uh, George Burns, there it is. This is horrible. <laughs> Stand on your roof with aluminum bat and your ass away from an electrical storm. <laughs> Face it to the left. <laughs> Broadcasting from Elm to Oak Street. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I think I got it. Darn. <laughs> You're listening to Opie and Anthony on 72.8. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we're gonna do hey, real Anthony, fast. Do you have any uh, plugs? Yeah, I'll be fixing Tom's air conditioning on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be shiny at the appliance store. I got a fucking nice oh, boss is not, he is He's slaying. on fire. Uh, That's right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> This is all built up over the years, and he can finally unload. Someone said traveling virus back then. You said there must be mold in the heating. Yeah. I guess you're gonna tell me to make my own egg sandwiches. Right? I just played a tape. <laughs> well, we're gonna debut real fast a uh, a song from Rod Gut yeah, about yeah. the uh, Cuban refugees. Right? There was a, a Billy Joel made a tribute to the Bayman. Right. Oh, and we figured, you know, why not go to why the other southern half of the states and make a little tribute to the Cuban boat people. Let's check it out on the Nighttime Attitude. You guys don't get to hear that, really. Or yeah. maybe part of it, I think. It was classic. Parodies were my forte. It was topical. I'm leaving Cuba like my oh, <laughs> The whole audience is waving their arms off the outside. I see lighters being lit. Yeah. Yes, the burning studio you please please please. <laughs> <laughs> He likes to make a donation. Now I sail on the cheese enchilada. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really goddamn bad. <laughs> yeah, from, from the night, nighttime attitude. This is an angry out of morning madness. Oh, this is why Christy Brinkley oh, left forever. Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Christy Brinkley? Who's Christy? Just say the chick. Yeah, say the blonde chick, Christy. Christy Brinkley. Right after the song, he drove his car into a house. That's my... Oh, Christy Green Donuts. Good recovery. That was good, boss. You were really a needing a job, mother... I, you know, that I will never disagree Dude, with. Dude, he was a fucking machine. I Dance needed everything. I wanted... I wanted a fucking you job like in Joseph, <laughs> <laughs> When you were driving home, did you throw the clippers out the window? <laughs> I thought that was it. I'm like, I'm in. I got a gig. We're done. We're done. That's good. Oh, we have a few minutes. Old. We have a few you, minutes. Did you ever do like a... Uh, Is a cashing up first welfare check? Yeah, of course. 
We're leaving all right, is it going to go on all day? Yes. We're just embarrassed by El Presidente's beard. That hairy matted mess, you know he must have lice. My mother's beard's long, but at least she keeps it nice. Now I'm still on a half eating pizza. This, this Hold is on. so touching. I feel like I'm in a shower at your house. As much as I'll tease you, and I might even be sarcastic, a guy who does ra- uh, 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 fucking heating. I'm okay. sorry, what did you say? Man? I said it's so touching. I feel like I'm in a shower at his house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you play the part where, where you go, well, that was fantastic. It's coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> it's up. Oh, that Lou. was a great Bubba. fucking thing you just said See, there. It buddy. was, uh, you know, the Cuban uh, boat people. So, Bob Lou. Uh, Rick Bob Lou. The, the, um, yeah. That's yeah, the Bob least. Lou. That's the least Bob, offensive. Why? He wasn't was, a comic, though. Yeah, it was a fucking. Oh, thanks. But I'm saying you wasn't a singer guy. either. <laughs> hey. I gotta be accurate. He was, he was an air conditioning guy. Did a song parody. That, that's that's the most forgivable thing on this god awfulness. Sure. Are you, let me ask you a question. While you were doing that, Bobby was practicing fucking chairs on stage. Oh, okay. Ooh, let me ask you a on, question. Oh, no, let oh. that sit. You get greedy, you ass. <laughs> you just had an applause break. You really, they really don't even like you, but now you got them on your side, and that's why they hate you again. You know, like slurring asshole. Can I ask you a question? Did you give him any like? Did you did you coach him in radio in any way? Fuck no. Well. I taught I him, to learn by watching. I taught him all the bullshit stuff that yeah. would, that happened, I guess. Yeah. yeah, but but apparently back then this was good. <laughs> I don't know why. I have no idea radio. why. What were they doing in radio? Well, let's hear, well, I want to hear the that, end of the Bob because that song's over. The song's done. Like that tape went out right. and, and uh, they it. loved it. In Boston. Yeah. Gotta love that. Oh, Rod on the nighttime attitude. And on the eighth day, St. John's. You really yes. were a fucking serious dude at trying to not fix shit no more. In the background, you heard a faint. Yes, it was the uh, Ricky Ricardo laugh. It, it was a faint mixing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Lucy. Right. And he added his own echo because he couldn't afford an echo machine. So he went, <laughs> I just I recorded it in a duck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, is Kenny still around? I gotta change shirts. <laughs> yeah, I was getting a little wet. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Uh, well, the song's over. Oh, it must be go. time for Ope to intro a song or something. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's been on much too much on me. Push that button, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Let's go, baby. The Vincentian community in 1870. Long Island's best rock, WBAB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're live. 102.3 WBAB. Long Island. It's Opie in the nighttime attitude. Squeeze, of course, and tempted. Sending that out to Sally in Levittown, faithful listener of the program. Yeah, my choice. You should have said the listener of the program. Fuck it, Fuck you. Thank you, God damn. Sally calling in again today. <laughs> Sally's request for the day is. I hope you're enjoying your last. Uh, <laughs> your last time on the show. Oh, uh, why are you bringing Sally in? <laughs> Oh, well, hey, I hope Sally can do the Starbucks tour. Hey, hey Sally, what's going on tonight? 
nothing. <laughs> that was Sally calling in. What you guys doing? <laughs> nothing, Sally. What are you doing? Can I hear some screams? <laughs> I love screams. <laughs> <laughs> he turned me. He turned. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> my choice, though. I'm out of my mind tonight because I got Joe and Anthony from Rotgut, and these guys are you guys are yes. you guys are mental. That's I know. right. But he, thanks for stopping on by. I appreciate it. No Any time. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Me wait. They're not me they're mediocre at best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he said <laughs> crazy. Don't agree with anything. Oh, Whoa. oh it's what? Gabe Kaplan coming. Watch out. He's a fucking loon. I'm out of my mind. Whoa. Sally's on the show. Here comes, here comes Henry Ford. Here comes, I mean, uh, what's that? I never thought it could be that bad. Henry Fonda. Watch out. Henry Fonda on the show. Whoa. You fucking maniac. You're a doodly crazy dandy doodly doodly. I never fucking thought it could be this bad. I knew it was going to be this bad when this day came. You are mental. But this is so bad. We got a crazy mental nutty show tonight. George Burns is going to stop by. George Burns is singing extreme songs. Hey, Sally. Hey, Sally, what's going on? Hold on, I got another call. You guys still there? Yes, we're still here, Sally. I got to call you back. All right, Sally. <laughs> Too much energy in the room for me tonight. Oh, shit. The phone line is lit up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <Must> shit. <laughs> Sally. <laughs> oh, my God. This should have fucking been erased. <laughs> I am so. Wow. I'm not even kidding. Isn't it really hot? Oh, it is so oh, fucking hot. Oh, get the Thorzine. He's mental. Where's Watch. the Haldol? Watch out, baby. <laughs> Let's get back to the madness. Oh. You, know hey, you, know you know what that car crash was? It was a car crash really happening. <laughs> Well, this show stinks. What's going on outside? Someone's dying. <laughs> Holy shit, Sally! <laughs> Jesus, Sally, are you okay? I'm all right. Oh, you're all right. This is Opie. Are you all right, Sally? I'm okay. Nothing happened. <laughs> as, as I just chuckle and laugh through the whole thing. Uh, can you imagine if George Burns was driving that car? Hey, look as, out. In your, in, your, in your bio, did you say mental? <laughs> I, I was called mental back in the day. And then before you got the job, that's what you do. Oh, when you just go fix oh, air conditioners. He yeah. uses those phrases now. Hey man, your Freon is working. Your shit's gonna work. This fucking mental. It's gonna be it's so gonna be fucking. Some... Crazily Mental cold, cold air coming out of here. Oh. Well, oh. I would, I think, I, I would love oh. to get back a little bit more. We, we're almost out of time. Oh. Uh, minutes. Five minutes. Um, yeah. Uh, Let's get uh, mental, dude. Push it. We're yeah. glad to do it. Pizza Deluso, Comac. Oh, geez, uh, no. that would be that would be Cliff. Yeah, no, that would be Cliff, oh, Joe, and Greg. On, Joe. All we have to do is say it ten times, and we get this a free pizza. Are you serious? They, it, they deliver it. They're gonna deliver it right here. All right, do it real fast, right, right, guys. That would be pizza deluso, pizza deluso, pizza deluso, pizza deluso, pizza deluso. That's five, six. Pizza deluso, seven. I said it too. Pizza deluso. Oh, so that's we're up to twelve. That's a point and a half. All right. So you did have plugs. So you did have plugs that day. Yeah. And now he reads them like. Oh boy! Right. Well, let's yeah. get through. Yeah, this Vegas. Shit. And, 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 oh yeah, shit! He had a, this wow, motherfucker right. had a pocket full of taps that he just banged around his shoes, <laughs> <laughs> and they wore out every show. Stop! Stop. Hey, Stop. Stop. He had a pocket full of sand <laughs> put on it's the console. Soft shoe. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> it sure looked lovely, Mick Shirley. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Over eager fucking whore. Poland Springs. Hey, Poland hey. Springs. Poland Springs. <laughs> let's uh. Uh, let's get a listener in uh, Hi, here. Sally's calling. Uh, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> in Jersey. Pat, what's up? Hey, I love you. Love you. Love the show. And yeah. my mouth just went retarded. Perfect. Um, I was wondering if you guys ever realized the uh, excitement in Opie's voice sounds really, really close to the Susan Waldman excitement. <laughs> oh, my God. George Burns is singing extreme. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> This is pretty interesting from Jeremy in uh, Jersey. Jeremy. 
What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, Opie, how do you like Point last Friday now? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck point, you, Jeremy. Point left Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> I hate it. Hey, it's not fun being on this side. <laughs> oh, here we go. And a half. So all right, John, all right. Cliff, Cliff, get in your van and start down here. I want one with everything on it. Great. Thank you. My boss is going to love that one. That was that was about a thousand dollars worth of advertising. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Your show. All right. Hey, hey, we have Sam Pearson in the studio you tonight. You just gave away a dollar thirty worth of advertising. I know. <laughs> Those fuckers are laughing too hard. Up there. Oh shit. Oh, Our boy. fifth caller. Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, your call is one through six. <laughs> and now for a free call. Oh, win. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, you're only the third caller. All right, I'll call back in about three minutes. I'll be the fifth. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, I think we have Sal Lee on the phone again. <laughs> fuck her, Voss. <laughs> the beauty of Voss, I'll oh. get the call after the show. You know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're not mad, are you? <laughs> I'm gonna tear down some walls right now. <laughs> you know hey, I figured I'd join it because the rest of the guys are going match up pretty hard. Hey, you guys, right? you're good now. <laughs> oh. See, Jimmy knows. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, this fucking oh. worm. He'll be on the phone before he fucking pulls out of the parking garage. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, nervous. Okay. And, I'll, and I'll get the same call. Uh, He's not uh, mad. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll okay, turn right? on the radio and hopefully hear some rock gut. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. Still, and Voss is going to sell is CDs not after this. Fucking bad for you to do this. Right. Hey, you cannot bring in what he's going to fucking do after this. I know, really. Yes, you Jesus. can. He's going to start with me first because he thinks we're both in the same trouble. And I'm like, like oh, oh, I'm in trouble all of a sudden. <laughs> he's going to load it, Jesus. I said we were joking. You think it was then bad? He's gonna, then he's going to go up to the show. <laughs> Sam, you think he's going to they're going to take me off the tour. <laughs> That's was, it, was it bad that I sold my DVDs? I mean, I, they wanted them. They were, they were asking. You. You're not supposed to go with That's, That is just... He switched with a juggler van. That was the I right move, though. Oh, I learned a trick or two. <laughs> you got to deflect, man. That's what this thing is going to do, you fucking puppy. <laughs> this is bad. We're going to tap out. We're going to tap out. Oh, listen to who's talking. The guy that gets bombs and fires on the road, he he does damage control before he gets home. You know what happened to me in Ohio? <laughs> I, so how the fuck would I know what happened to you in Ohio? I don't, I don't call them and say, listen, as I'm getting fired right now, did I do wrong? Well, how did this turn on me? We got a good take oh, going. I, I, you I, fucking... That's, 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 that's why on, I, on. I knew you was going to do it. Just in case anyone's wondering out there, this is the brilliance of me. Thank you. I, took <laughs> I, I, I just came in the last minute. Oh, that's why I got so mad at you, because you've got to talk ahead. about Perfect what a fucking little worm you are. Fucking pussy. Erase this number so you can't call an apology. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh man, that was so fucking wrong. No, he'll do. He'll walk to the elevator and go. Oh, that was fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh look. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right. Fucking slave eye motherfucker. Just <laughs> <laughs> say your jokes and you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. That was Jesus. fucking wrong. Jesus. I got him under control now. I got him under control now. Nigga, that's the techniques. This is legitimately fucking angry. Nigga, I've been this doing this for douchebag. fucking years before comedy. That was DEF CON 12. <laughs> that was Mushroom Cloud. He said, this is going to stop right now. You're going to have to call me later and apologize. <laughs> and then what that does is scare us into thinking any like little pussy ass shit that we all do like hey Ope, you know I, yeah. <laughs> am I still gonna be on the radio <laughs> now we gotta slow down <laughs> cause now Obi can look at you fucking cause of you Obi can give, give the eye like uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of shit that you did too there, Patrice, old buddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've had some heart to heart. Right, don't let go. me. Uh, <laughs> now that, fucking boss. Now that we calmed you fuckers down, oh, I'm going to push oh, play. Yeah. Oh, feeding oh, frenzy. You better keep it going too, you punk motherfucker. Yeah. Play that horse shit from 1994. Oh, I hope I'm as good as Dennis Wolfberg. <laughs> <laughs> you play it. <laughs> hey, you really haven't come very far. Fifteen years ago, it was rot gut. Now it's fat gut. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, shit. Point left, right, eh? Oh, feel free to point to Patrice. He's pointing? What? He's pointing. Please, oh, if I had two heads, I, I would have been looking at you, too. Alex, <laughs> he's fatter than me. That's why I'm pointing. No, I'm he's not. also taller than you. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you put the relative size, you're four foot eight. Well, first yeah. of all, six foot four. Both is. We're reversed. First of all, first of all, at least at one point. Uh, first of all, fryer listen, hack. Never <laughs> been in shape and always been a shape. I was, I had abs at one point. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you yeah. Have it's abs. called a fetus. Now you're all abs. Wait, now you're all abs. You're absolutely fat. <laughs> <laughs> Abundance. <laughs> you know, Voss can't come up with a fucking no, idiot. He can't. There's no. He'll say something with AP. <laughs> Adaption. <laughs> what? Oh fuck! Oh, oh like, Jesus! <laughs> Norton lost a little weight, and all of a sudden he's a fucking a a an exercise expert. Uh -oh. <laughs> He still has a little fat stomach too, and I don't like it. Wow, you're fuck, you're uh, you're opening your seltzer. It's exploding all over your face. Remind you of those showers? <laughs> Everybody drinks seltzer. Yes. Obi, why do you shake it so hard? <laughs> and who opens it right next to their eye? <laughs> why do you have soap and drink seltzer at the same time? <laughs> Oh, you motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Are you oh, leaning man. over? Is that how you're shaped? <laughs> oh, he's shaped like a lean. He's shaped like a, in a parenthesis. <laughs> no one even knows. You sound like a fucking a comma, you fucking dumbass. You are dumbass. such a shithead. <laughs> a a parenthesis. A parenthesis. <laughs> fucking idiot. Uh, Don't try punctuation jokes. Absolutely. Please. Keep going, boys. Stay Stay out of this. Keep going, oh. boys. <laughs> <laughs> They're eating each other. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Uh, 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 Fighting over the carcass themselves. and they forget about the carcass. He's so boring. What did you, you got a carcass in front of you when you're out of eating each other's legs. <laughs> you fuckers oh. are fucked in. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. All right, right. I guess we've done it. Now, oh, let's, let's, let's hear a little bit. I said a couple more minutes oh. just to get the XM or something. <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> hey, we have Sam Kinison in the studio tonight, oh, too. Oh, my God. I agree, Oh. And now How big are you guys? Why? Wow, look, it's Dude. five after. I didn't know you Sam knew Kinnison. That's amazing. How'd you get him in the uh, studio? Absolutely. <laughs> and how did you get his body? I know. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, tried oh, anything. It wasn't that know. good. It wasn't that good. <laughs> it wasn't that good. <laughs> All right, well. This, um, I want to hear Kinnison. If Kinnison was uh, in the studio. We're going to have to hide again. All right, I'm Why? fine. Why? Not us. to hide again because oh, no, it's okay. awful. Because first of all. Sam's in the studio. Let me say another thing. I I have another thing I have to preface. I had been out at a gig uh, the night before, so I was singing, and um, uh, my voice was shot, uh, okay. so I couldn't really do a good impression you didn't uh, have that to. day. Like, he was in the studio. You had another person was, come in. That the heat's off you. I did a much better uh, Kinnison impression on Howard's show. <laughs> oh, hey. oh. This I one. See oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Painful. Unless you can shut the sun okay, off, your hiding. embarrassment isn't going away. <laughs> right. Unless you can shut uh, the sun off. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. it. All right. Hey, hey, we have Sam Kinison in the studio tonight, too. Sam. Hey, old man. How you doing, bud? Pretty good. Oh. Yeah, we're hanging out with the guys tonight, having a good time. From Rodcut? Yeah, I'm hoping that pizza comes down. I'm losing a little weight being dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Hey, Sam, what, what? do you think of O.J. Simpson? Oh, uh, guilty as sin. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Nicole uh -huh. and her waiter friend. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, she said he came up, looked pretty angry, stuck a knife in her. You know, the whole oh, deal. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Wait. Oh, speaking oh, of which, I think it's time oh, to do... Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, 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 you suck. <laughs> <laughs> that was so incredibly bad. What? That was just... Oh, but I can't oh, even come out. Oh, it made me sick. Oh, 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 oh. oh how you get a job at that? 
<laughs> my my voice was shot. That was a that was a great one. like like who Bud Dwyer. <laughs> that was a good impression of, of Fred Kinison. That was just, <laughs> his cousin. <laughs> that, that was awful. Oh, this is a nice oh, hot topic. <laughs> oh, I can't come out. I can't come out yet. Why? I have to Sam, stay why not? Oh man! Come on, Sam. Who said that? Come on, Sam. 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 you took a, holy. You took the gas out of Greg after that one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I understand. I couldn't do that part because I, my voice was very. Uh, so you could hear it when I'm talking. It's cracking a lot. I'll do it for yeah. you. Oh, can I get a job? Oh, oh me! I need a job. Oh. All right. Here yeah, we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here we oh, go. Please. <laughs> Speaking over. of which, I think it's time to do uh, get electric shock OJ live on the nighttime oh, attitude. It's God. Rod Gut. Check this out. That whistle better than any better. But... Bravo. Wow. No, nighttime I think you attitude. Did you, wanted out. God. you wanted out. You really I wanted. You really out. did. You, Fuck you, me. I've never nip. heard that. Like he hey, wanted <laughs> out. Oh, fucking Nipsey Russell. God, I really didn't want to work. God bless Opie for getting this motherfucker out. How bad I was your day job? Was your boss just rape you in the end? Made him take shower. <laughs> That's why he did air conditioning, not plumbing. Giving <laughs> me to shower. Hey, since tour gassing, what do you miss most except your neck? <laughs> Uh, this guy's like a save, that one. Uh, I actually think he has it on the paper. <laughs> the fuck did that come from? Oh, Slurping G. Oh, my God. Look, he gets nervous. He picks up food. That's the problem. Bobby, don't put that, don't put that apple in your mouth. They'll Why? think we're roasting you. <laughs> Let him go, man. Let him go. Continue, boys. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> wow, we really do oh, turn on each other. Oh, oh, they oh, really just a bunch of savages. Damn. Oh, it's just bad. It is, man. It's just bad. There's not one friend in here. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, back Joe, to, I think back you to Sam. Bobby, you're listening to Daytime <laughs> Attitude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's gonna get just, greedy, don't just let him, It was kind of funny there, Orson Welles. <laughs> <laughs> let, let him go. Let him just go. <laughs> he is like those click clacks. <laughs> and you look like one. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, you got you gotta, you're lucky you got the laugh. Hey, uh, everyone knows that Voss is hilarious, but I've never heard him slay with such with such confidence on the radio. Voss oh yeah, and, and and you hey, tried hey, to take it been... away. Oh, oh yeah, man. <laughs> Jesus! I something about you today, motherfucker. Evil Opie, the oh, fucking comedy block. That was a mushroom. <laughs> your, car yeah. your career started off as a comedy block. <laughs> you wanted to bring it right back. Oh. That was a mushroom. Yeah, he really... launched the nuclear missile. Oh, man. he really did. I I think it that was, was an oof. IED, nigga. <laughs> it was called for. It was called for. Yeah, yeah. It was acceptable. Thank you, Jimmy. Because it gave us a chance to attack him a little bit, his worminess, which had to come out sooner or later. Yeah, you it had to be addressed. You really are. Yeah, here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> We're hanging out with Rod Gutt on the Nighttime Attitude. They got a song about the guy that crashed into the, into the White House. You know what? Oh, you gonna... name the things they didn't have songs for. <laughs> Could happen. We sing about it. <laughs> you are so fucking right. <laughs> Oh, we, got, we got a song about the crocodile hunter. We got a song about the space shuttle. If I hadn't gotten a job, there, there, there would have been songs about that shit. We had, we had Amy Fisher, Joey Buttafuoco songs, fucking John Wayne Bobbitt songs. you got to realize it was all the time all that shit was happening. Anything that would happen, I'd write a fucking song parody about it and send it out to radio stations <laughs> they, hoping to get the fuck out of it. You were the motherfucker that... He's the they, one. They even did a Judge Ito song. Yes, I had a Judge Ito <laughs> fucking song. A Judge a Clarence Ito song. Thomas song, too? No, no, Mike Tyson, little, Buster Douglas. That song? was a little before that. Mike Tyson got punched in the mouth, <laughs> and he fell and looked like he was down south. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awful motherfucker. <laughs> and then in the back, he'll be like, ah, "Absolutely, doing a Mike Tyson fadeaway." Oh, oh, Jesus he, Christ! He rhymes like a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. Oh, Mr. Rusty Knuckles, the old blues time Rusty Knuckles. 
here on Nighttime. Rusty nighttime Knuckles. Attitude with Rusty Knuckles. <laughs> the night before, talking. did your mom go, come on, guys, quit practicing. It's time for dinner. <laughs> they were like you were down in your basement. No, they, they were Rupert, in the shower. Fucking Rupert Anthony. He was practicing in the shower Please. using his, his father's cock as a microphone. <laughs> Wait, we're getting away from the point at hand I here. I said you notice that you lose one sock <laughs> in the dryer. Oh, shit, that's... Wow. <laughs> you do this well. Did you work the door at his studio then? <laughs> yeah, here we are uh, practicing. Yeah. Mom! I'm not going to lower I have to do this now. Mom, please stop calling me. <laughs> I, oh, I ain't going to lie to you. All of this shit. That you can hear. It's not desperation. It's he uh, wants out. <laughs> he wants that a fucker new life. wanted. You had a plan, nigga, to get yeah, the I, fuck out. I had to, All right. or I would be homeless. I, guess, I couldn't I work. Guess we anymore. should stop right here. I huh? say give him a couple more minutes just for the satellite fans who stuck by us. <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. Yeah, that is true. I, I say, Jimmy doesn't have a point. Uh, you got to give him a little more. Look at a the month. Whole studio. Nah, see, they, they want to go home. They, they want to start their. Do you guys want to go home, or you want more? Another couple of minutes. Look at the nodding friendly heads. Thing. Look at the hey, when you got to look work. Look at the C Kyle's When you got to there. somebody's house, did you slide in with your tool belt like Tom Cruise <laughs> <laughs> and start breaking? <laughs> Fucking Vox. Uh, uh, where have you been for a year? <laughs> don't fuck. Don't fuck. I always. I don't fucking tell. Don't no, Don't fucking take away eight years of me slamming and killing fuckers in here. No. 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 Don't fuck. You know what? And they'll, keep, and, and they'll keep on adding on years, so all of a sudden I'm in that studio in Long Island with you. Where have you been for 10 years? And Obi just pulled out. I know. I know. I know. I didn't realize. I never caught because we never smashed him. I know. motherfucker got a, a tool belt full of acid. Oh, Jesus. When his back is in the corner, it's over. It's fucking over. Fuck that motherfucker's a survivor. It's either that or I need a shower. <laughs> I'm scratching claw. Hello, Anthony. We have the good rats on the phone right now. <laughs> I say we do a couple more minutes, man. I say uh, for what? I say for these people, they deserve they deserve a show. What an over eager hey, hey, Sally, fucking Sally's ass. listening, can you call? Sally, what do you mean? If, <laughs> she has to be, or they wouldn't be on the air. I fuck it. I hate the over eagerness, the want, the need. To I would fucking, too. I, I hear it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Like I everything Ope said, I just had a laugh. Like you could be uh, intro and a record, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 you, now you know how we. Feel. No. <laughs> yeah, no, they need to smell you. <laughs> Don't these motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow, no. did he fucking nail Opie. Oh, that? my God. I, didn't even, I, didn't I, hear, I said I didn't. everything Opie said. I felt like I had a laugh at him. He goes, now you know how we feel. <laughs> Don't say we. Don't say we, not brave. Wait, and that's the way. Don't love all of us. You see that one? That's the one. What he's gonna call an apology. <laughs> I didn't really mean that. Oh Jesus! I, I, this is gonna cost me another round of golf. Fuck you! Get fucking He does feel guilty, and he play, he uh, pays for the golf. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. He came time. out to my course. That's what you do. That's called. <laughs> It's like a wedding gift. It's like you give a gift. These guys keep bringing gonna... up the eager thing. They have no idea they went through the eager stage on this fucking show with <laughs> with you and I. Oh, that's true. I say we guys went through remember, the eager but stage. But they had already been, you know, pros on, yeah. on, on, on no, we could Now, of... some of us were still roofing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> E-Rock should find the, the first time you fucked I killed the first time. I remember the lady was standing there with electric. your voice. Uh, no, that fucking lady was standing with electric. When did it change? The did light. And I yeah, smashed no a guy from Brazil. The first time in your studio, wait, wait, this guy wait, from wait, Brazil. I remember the days I would, I would go, okay, this, now you can talk. This validation <laughs> yeah. eating motherfucker. No, I was, I'm just saying I remember the first time. I, was, I walked you in, bitch, the first time you came here. When he walked, he walked, he walked, he tried to walk me in like it was the scene in Goodfellas when you go through the kitchen. Yeah. Like, hey, 
Meet the new nigger I found. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you, I go, I introduced him as a doorman. I go, this guy see? can see the motherfucker like nobody else sees him. See? He loves Dennis Wolfberg, so don't trash Dennis. See, I know how these guys think. Oh, I know. See? It was you like that, it was like that Pepsi right movie except with Voss, it was dumb fellas. <laughs> oh. All right, back to the okay. All right. You guys only get another minute. All right. That kook. That we're going to debut was... in, a, in a few that you're going to love. That's and if you got quarter. something to add to the program tonight, give us a call. 955-WBA-B. Hell, sometimes it's going to make oh, it. Shit. Oh, no. Not this oh, another parody. Uh, for real 102% Long Island. We're WBAB Babylon, <laughs> WHFM Southampton. Thanking wow. everyone in Hop Hog for showing the world they love <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> These you motherfuckers want it? this OP back. <laughs> <laughs> He's ripping Long Island, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm slipping in the house, wait, bitches. When he said hot pot, did you jump over your brother to get to your dad's cock? <laughs> 2%. Uh, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100%. 0% dignity. Why didn't, why didn't you just go Captain's Log? <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Dave from Manhattan, 10 more minutes in Boston. We'll be, we'll be buying Opie a trip to the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> If, you're, if you buy the Elmhurst tanks right now. Shut up. 102%. That, did, you do, did you do one of the yeah. fists on your chest like, I'm Long Island, wrong. bitch. Strong, strong Island. All, all, strong the way, Island. <laughs> all the way from Bay Shore to Patchock. <laughs> Looks like you've done a lot of hacking right now. Yeah. My friend. This is W-I-R-O-C radio. <laughs> Oh. Dude, it's 100% is good. 102% is even yeah. that much better. Oh. Yo, and everyone that, that is was actually Park. That was that, Long that, Island, bitches. The 2% was actually Anthony when he was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the milk you should start drinking. <laughs> He hit you like the punching bag you shake like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, this is vicious. Oh, this man. Is vicious. <laughs> you know what happens? When one guy, tur when one guy turns, you guys all <laughs> slip back. <laughs> he, he, would have gave, he almost gave you an uppercut, but there was no chin to hit. <laughs> Leave Kate hey. from Batman alone. Uppercut to Bobby. Uh, uppercut to Bobby is, is, uh, uppercut to Bobby is a good cut of steak. <laughs> <laughs> a bad, what's a bad cut of steak? That's like without the eyes. <laughs> This changes in a fucking second, doesn't it? I had you right in a fucking a triangle choke and you swept right out. We should end it before some real shit sword play. Well, fuck you, motherfucker. What about you eating shit? Jesus. Monday through Friday. You can get E. coli from that shit all serious. Everybody gets serious. Why is he so safe all of a sudden? Who? Jimmy hasn't taken a punch yet. No. I yeah, but I take him. I, He's uh, humble yeah, and lovable. Him all, yeah. We give it to him all. Yeah, he gets I mean, a lot. We were smashing yeah, his stomach on the, the other night and help us out a little bit. Well, Jesus. It, because it's, Bobby is much Because better. there's a bigger plate of mashed potatoes here <laughs> than him. Okay? All right. He came with butter and bread. <laughs> <laughs> and the history. Right. He's, he's saying it without <laughs> spitting. Can we try that? Right. Sure. But his pronunciation is perfect. Today. <laughs> you, you should, hey, you should change your name to Carb Kelly. <laughs> Carb Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hot one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot one. Push that fucking button open. <laughs> Sally? Oh, wait, wait, Sally? what was that noise again? <laughs> That's the sound a car make when Bob gets in it. <laughs> Sorry, Bob, but I have a job to protect. <laughs> I have a mortgage to pay. Oh, I mean, geez. I'm taking you out to dinner. It's the same thing. <laughs> Holy
Holy shit! I want to leave because the turn is vicious. It's a bad every time. I'm gonna wait it out though because I know Voss is gonna be the one to fuck it up. I'm not gonna fuck it up. You will every time he walks in the room, he he, he hits bonus. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you were gonna do it. You greedy asshole. You got too excited. Yeah, you are. Uh, up on every t- 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 time. Calm down. You don't stutter when you eat, do you? <laughs> and he's right back in. <laughs> oh, he's right back in. Uh, this, this boss ruthless. does not stop. <laughs> fucking ruthless. I, right, on Bobby's watch, there's no numbers. There's pictures of food. <laughs> No. And no. he's right back out. That's, that's, no. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. No. No. What, no. Time is it? No. what time is it? Ten after pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're back. Ten after All right. Uh, We're back. Here we go. Uh, what time is it? Uh, chicken. <laughs> 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 fucking motherfucker with stretch marks on his titty. His All right, I'll his meet fucking... you at half past ten for a night. His cocks. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh. What, do, what, do, what, do, what doors Evil. take the most oil to get in? <laughs> <laughs> that was alright. Any ones your hair goes through. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, I guess we, we've, we've done our job today. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did, wait, wait, I did, wait a minute. Drift. I just fucking realized, Otto, you're right. I didn't, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> I didn't even know he was here. We all did. You're sitting in front of him, Tasso. <laughs> We thought you were his dummy, but his dummy's in shape. We fuck his dummy. Uh, you guys fucking go on, asshole. No, you should go on tour together, oh, Otto and oh, Jupiter. Oh, <laughs> Otto and Jupiter. Otto and Jupiter. You know what? I, I really want you to fight me. back, but it's not. You guys are on fire. It's not because I can see it in your eyes. You got like five more in the back just waiting to come out like automatic weapons. Oh, this is good. Vicious on you, motherfucker. I like how you fucking do cocks and quiet right up, didn't you? Oh, it was your two percent, you douchebag. <laughs> all you did was throw two. Ne- all he did was drop two mushrooms, and it was done. Right. That's it. it was fucking That's done. It. Wow. All fucking right. Lord of the Flies, well, with you motherfuckers. We should end up end on an up note. So we'll I say yeah. so. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Yo, B A B. Hey, kiddo, how you doing? Nicky J. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we should end before. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to get Nicky J. Nicky J. No, 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 no. We got to hear that. No, 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 no. That sounds fun. We should hear it. What I'm about to say will be 20 minutes. Sounds mental. Let's hear it. I heard it. It's not. Sounds like it's going to be crazy and just nuts. And don't forget, Monday, Sally will be in studio. Sally. I say you want to go. Uh, yeah, I, I, know, I know that comes in. I rest any goddamn uh, way. You ha- you I know that comes into play. I say a second. You let it go. Any leverage I gained? <laughs> oh, I say it's worth it. I am done. I think you're right. Let's end on an up note. Bobby's weight. <laughs> oh. You notice this room is tilted to this side. You know what? <laughs> Some of these chuggy basses, they can only take so much of the fat jokes themselves. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It does look like a whiz Waldo of Bobby Kelly's out there. <laughs> I know. It's like it, <laughs> where's Walrus? If they were making them, <laughs> it's like a casting call for the Bobby Kelly story. You motherfuckers! Well, we did Camden. The aquarium came back for him. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ! Wow. That wasn't bad. Was Listen to me, Sally. That wasn't bad. You want to sing for Sally? Jack Parr? Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> oh fuck! All right, well, I say we give it another couple minutes and we go. We, we wrap it up. EJ. Yeah, what's the, happening? The mayor of Montauk. How are you, bro? Oh, oh uh, you're doing political. What do you think about the OJ now, man? The DNA came in and said his blood is true. His blood is true. Yeah, it's what, his blood. What do you mean his blood is true? Well, they said with the DNA. Right. They said it's his blood that was on the path of his house there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you better find some good drugs, OJ. <laughs> Don't pull yourself boys phone. going up your poop too. <laughs> Wait, what was that line again? <laughs> Don't fool yourself boys going up your poop too. <laughs> hey, tell Rocco, send me a piece of uh, pizza when he comes out this weekend. <laughs> Who's Rocco? <laughs> your buddy's there, right? They ordered the pizza. Hey, it's Rocco's pizza. Well, that would be Rod Gut, but close enough, bro. <laughs> you want to sing a song tonight, Andy. buddy? Well, how about a little Zeppelin? Rodko wants to play while you sing. Okay, go, man, go. All right, uh, which one do you want to sing? Good times, bad times? Yeah, there you go. All right, whenever you're ready, bro. Okay, go, man, go. When the woman comes around again, I don't seem to care. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Woo! J. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I don't know. Something. Mickey, used to I want to hear a little more. That. Nah, you would just say that when he called wow. it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wait, he would say it. <clears throat> Was that you? Was what that an way? instigator. Oh, no, that, was, that, was, that was Mickey J. Oh, I've, had, an instigator. I've had this whole demo recut. I'm not stupid. Oh, <laughs> oh he cut no, out no, all no, of his no, boo boo I say another sec. <clears throat> he cut his what out? Mickey J was a... Uh, uh, no, he cut just, out his boo boo No, I didn't. I didn't. Why does Steve like Lott Betty Davis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What? We've been making fun of him for a week and we didn't, we didn't come up with the Betty and Davis a, line. And wait a minute. Spe speaking of people that should cut out boo boo boos, where's Danny? <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he decided to cut his. I don't know. He, he went to he, trim his eyebrows and the trimmer wasn't set right. Holy so he Jesus. Cut it off. Yeah, I whacked my whole eye. I whacked one eyebrow off because I wasn't paying attention to how low the trimmer was set and then the other one was full, and then I had no eyebrow and a full eyebrow, so I just whacked the other one off. Is that what made you wear a high-water shirt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeez, it's almost a fucking blouse. <laughs> well, I do have a history of wearing blouses. <laughs> it's all, it's all, uh, it's all off the top. You know what? Hold on, boss. Hey, Anthony, write a parody about his eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> do it as Sam Kinison. <laughs> he got some eyebrows. <laughs> And now he don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're coming back in. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're they're really gradually. Not. Bob, oh, God. Mm -mm. That All was right. brutal. I said one more second. Turn. One more? Yeah, one more second. I said Mickey J was uh, drunk from Montauk when he ended up dying. Drowning, yeah. He, that guy's dead now. He's, right. dead. He's dead. Hope you're W you know what, this is... Uh, Jethro Tull. I don't think we've ever made it this far. Do no, you? I think this is officially think, the furthest we've gotten I think, I think. into this, I think. We've tried like six or seven times before this. WBAB, the 70s best rock. I should start talking like a DJ, man. <laughs> Jethro you Tull. You have been doing it. Just started talking like a DJ. You've been doing it for six years. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, what do you mean? I a, a DJ, you, you mean boss, a dumb Jew? <laughs> <laughs> you should have just been successful in that statement. <laughs> oh, has been like 112, wow, attitude. <laughs> Otto, what are you doing? Dreaming of fucking George? What? You, what the, what, he's just looking in the distance like I miss George. I wonder what he's, what kind of sandwiches he's eating without me. <laughs> fucking, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you bring George? You were scared Bobby would eat him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anthony would try to fucking suck his cock. <laughs> Come on, George, let's go to the sink. I'm gonna teach you what my dad taught me, son. Wait, it's coming it's in. called the fountain. It's coming in too many times. Everyone's uh, saying that uh, we miss Boss saying uh, altar top. Oh, <laughs> I said that. Did you? Don't <laughs> might have, I don't know. Oh, might have. Oh. Well, the H is uh, silent. So, no, yeah, sure. <laughs> How did that? This, this was weird. Right. It's, yeah. oh, it's Opie in the nighttime attitude. Just want to remind you quickly, tomorrow is Friday, and we're still looking for your suggestions for the perfect lunch hour, oh. the Friday thematic perfect lunch hour. Uh, tomorrow's... 
topic, songs about school. You can fax your suggestions at 422-1023. <laughs> okay, Sally. He's, he's, just shorten, I mean, he's, just, he's just shorten that whole speech to help. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, help. Any listeners out there, uh, help? Fax your help to, uh... Fax your help to... Uh, oh, shit. You can call in your help, uh... Oh, look. And, and don't forget, tomorrow we have landscapers coming in <laughs> that do magic tricks. <laughs> and don't forget, Subway Worker Friday. <laughs> Next week we'll have a juggling painter. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby, why did you have to mention Subway? I know. <laughs> yeah, the one a... thing you can't get on. <laughs> what? What? Why, why can't he, what does that mean? You're too big. The right, subway. Oh, can we end this before? <laughs> There's no Sally. They're telling us. They're telling us we have to go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who is yeah. it? Who's I telling you? Sally. Sally? A good show. Just the imaginary person has told us we have to get out of here. Uh, yeah. And don't Why forget, this I, weekend I mean, we'll be at the. So this weekend we'll be at the Rainy Night House. <laughs> what? Those are all Long Island clubs. Nobody and in the studio that. live tonight, I mean, they've been doing so much cool stuff for my show, I thought I owed it to them to bring them in live. It's uh, Rotka. Thank you very much. <laughs> we got a... Uh, uh, someone called in before and requested a reggae song. We don't know many. All right. We know, we know one <laughs> reggae song. It's it's a pale reggae song. Well, it's very pale. Ooh, let's, give, it, give it a whirl. Let's uh, check it out. Then we have to leave. And Tuesday, Bob, and Tuesday, Bob Nelson will be calling in. <laughs> it's a story of a lovely lady who was bringing the crowd. <laughs> the crowd <laughs> There was such a lovely girl. All of them had hair. Just like her mama, the youngest one in Dreadnought. The story of a man named Brady, who was busy with three boats. Sound like Peter Tong and Dream Dreamboat. Shot. Dreamboat. Very busy Dreamboat, there were four men oh, living like a, all together. All right. Like a Jamaican with a hearing problem. And they all get stoned. Oh. The Brady Blunt. A little far to go. Oh, oh, the Brady Blunt. Doctor, the yeah. way you know. we became the Brady Blunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeff, Jeff oh. Norris was in the car yeah. going, Beautiful. I could do this. Hey, if you got something to add to the program tonight, 955-WBAD. <laughs> 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 We're going to end this show in style again, tonight. That's all I can say because someone else just called us. Anything at all. all, all right, the cat anybody out there? Help. Help. All right, that's good. That's a very good hint, by the way. Jeez. Help. Uh, by the Brady Blunts. If, if anything Shut up, has. Jimmy. Go with the Brady Blunts. Shut the up. Un funny cunts. He wow. really wow. did. Wow. wow. He that really was did. Have. Was that, oh, that, was, that was the apology call, too. We'll also apologize for that one as it just went. Jimmy, what was the uh, a chunky monkey ice cream flavor that you had? Oh, what? Well, um, when I was uh, just starting out, I, was yeah. th I said that in uh, Connecticut <laughs> that they were very ritzy and they wouldn't eat chunky monkey; they would eat obese primate. <laughs> and, and, then, and then you said, I just to and feel how it felt. No, and then you man. said, Mr. Levy, can I give you a ride home now? <laughs> Wait a that, Wait was, a that was Wait the Levy was the beginning of Norton's evolution of I'll hold on to him God, career. Was, <laughs> if you had hands that worked, you would too. <laughs> Get those turtle feet away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doll hands. <laughs> All right, let's. It really does have spider monkey hands. <laughs> Give a tape of Mike to his little stupid hands. <laughs> Those hands should be throwing his shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. At least my hands knew how to wash my own body when I was a kid. That's, true. That's, That's it. At least no one had to teach my hands how to wash myself. Now, when are okay. they, now, now when are they going to learn to write? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, we we really do have to go. Nice throat hurts from laughing. We have to go. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna shut us off. They're we gonna play go. about okay. twenty minutes yeah. of commercials and then start up Ron and Fez. Uh, that was All right. <laughs> right? Eleven forty. We have to be off the air. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Wow, what a great uh, first show. Hopefully we can uh, Jimmy, keep it up a little something. for another day. Oh, Jimmy's gonna show his ass. They're liking your ass, Jimmy. Yeah. Who doesn't? So hairless.
Uh, well, Auntie Sore's ass and wants to take a shower. <laughs> no, I know what Dad saw. <laughs> a hairless little ass like Jimmy has. <laughs> guys, thank you for the support. Yeah, we thank really you guys appreciate very it. much. We'll see everyone at Jones Beach. All these guys that just killed oh, the yeah. last uh, fuck since 6 o'clock this morning. Yep. We'll be at Jones Beach tomorrow. Tickets still available. Yes. You can walk up and get a ticket tomorrow, definitely. That it's going to start fun. with the tailgating, the owner. You know the deal. I mean, we're talking to the faithful listeners now. They get They, they understand. Thanks, guys. Also, Thank next week, guys. I'm in Kalamazoo at the Laughing Post. Oh, all right. Uh, Kalamazoo. <laughs> Kalamazoo, Michigan, next week. Oh, cool. All right. Everyone, they're leaving. We're leaving. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Great. All right. Take care, guys. Yes. Yeah, cool. See Thank you, you, sir. What a great uh, welcome gift. back from the fans. Cool. Coming in here. I'm, thing, I'm fucking though. exhausted from laughing so Dude, hard. That, that was like the, the that you guys would seem to be oh. reborn. That yeah, was, that, was, that was. It was like a little baptism. Little, that was yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. that's officially while. now behind me. Yeah. I've I've dreaded that moment for so many years having all you Dude, guys. We only did. Oh, I know. Shut up. All right. Shut we, only, up. we only did a quarter of the team. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Jesus, man. And, yeah. and we ain't doing it anytime soon. Well, Fuck you. <laughs> I got to go. Uh, oh, Voss. The, my phone is already uh, ringing from Voss. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Voss is text right. messaging from the other room. <laughs> right. Okay. I do laugh with the stuff you say. Yeah, we got to go. I know. Fans all freaking out. Shut up, you big poker Thanks, winner. <laughs> Bobby. Rich, yeah, Otto, all you guys, Jimmy. fantastic. Thanks Bob Saget again, for calling and uh, boss. Stephen Lynch is tomorrow. Boss was on fire, and now I hope someone sets him on fire outside. You fuck. I gotta play for. I, I gotta pay for golf now. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow night at Jones Beach, and then back on the radio on Monday. Stay tuned for Ron and Fez.